lalo sa ano sa scrims tsaka sa RJ para ano mga champion niya salamat sa sumasuporta sa Blacklist International tsaka ano sana supportan niyo pa rin kami kahit anong maging result sa ano sa MLC
every boundary and chain Ain't nothing can stop or restrain We are a force to be reckoned with Destiny, kingdom, and match Battle like Atlas, winning with madness Count us to practice, that is his match Just be the heroes here to slay Never back down, never a strength menjadi tahun bersejarah saat Onyx Esports menjadi tim Indonesia pertama yang menjuarai MSC. Tangguh, itulah satu kata yang tepat untuk menggambarkan Onyx Esports. Pada MPL Indonesia Season 11 babak playoff, Onyx tak terkalahkan satu game pun. Secara dua tahun beruntun, MPL ini menjadi panggungnya Onyx Esports dengan mengalahkan Blacklist Internasional di 2021 dan Geek Fam di 2022. Menemani Onyx Esports, Eforce Legends mendapatkan julukan The King of Comeback pada MPL Indonesia Season 11. Sang Harimau Biru telah menjadi tim Indonesia dan dunia pertama yang menjuarai M-Series. Mereka juga membawa nama Indonesia melambung tinggi di IESF 2022 dengan mengalahkan Filipina. Catatan sejarah telah diraih kedua tim Indonesia. Dan kini, Onyx Esports bersama EVOS Legends siap untuk bertarung untuk mengukir sejarah baru di panggung internasional MSC 2023. Berikan dukungan terbaik kalian untuk tim Indonesia.
here from MBL Malaysia. It's Mirko from Indonesia. Here from California. It's North America's favorite caster here. San Diablo for IGIG. Hi, Sue Echi. Majak Patet Lao. Sky TV from Echo Philippines. I'm Yawi from Echo Philippines. I am Raime from Pine Esports. I am from Myanmar. I'm Chma, one of the junglers in Cambodia. السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته جمهور موبايل ليجند الكريم منورين أحلى عيل وأحلى جمهور في الدنيا. And I just want to tell you guys all to get hyped and to get excited for MSC 2023. All the underdogs are coming from across the world to go and compete against the pros, against the favorites. With that being said, hashtag see the world and hashtag roar for MSC. Roar for MSC. Dan kotoda buat betul-betul dan langgar semua tu betul-betul, alright? Hashtag Rob for MNC Hashtag See the World Kau kamu cari di sini Roll for MNC and See the World Hashtag Roll for MNC Hashtag See the World GG RG Roll for MNC and See the World And Shark, I know you're hungry for first place Outplay them, outclass them, outstyle them Let's go get them boys Tiket şampiyonu sen güzel bir şekilde kazandık Umarım MNC de güzel şeyler yapacağız See the world roll for MSC. Don't forget to watch us in MSC. I hope you support us on MSC. See the world and roar for MSC. It's time to roar for MSC and hashtag see the world. My name is John Marwilla Luna. I am the team captain and the tank support of Blacklist International. Uh, my favorite MLB hero would be Estes. And I think, um, alam naman na ng karamihan yun. And favorite ko siya kasi ano, ever since talaga na naging into gaming ako, sobrang hili ko na talaga yung mga support heroes, yung mga utility heroes. And parang sobrang fit kasi siya talaga sa, ano, sa playstyle na meron ako. Yeah, of course, kung hindi iba ba ng kalaban. Uh, siguro kung magkakaroon ako ng superpowers, yung katulad na lang din siguro ng favorite hero ko na si Estes para mahil ko lahat ng mga broken hearted. Uh, my real life hero would be my mother. Kasi ever since na bata pa lang ako, grabe na talaga yung uh, mga sacrifice niya para supportan ako. Hindi lang ako actually, kundi yung uh, buong pamilya, buong pamilya ko. Talagang ginagawa niya lahat para mabigay yung mga pangangailangan namin pang araw-araw. And actually, kaya sobrang inspired din ako gawin yung mga na-achieve ko ngayon dahil talaga sa kanya. Kasi hindi marami siyang value na naituro sa akin na ayun yung ina-apply ko ngayon. Uh, biggest rival in MSC. Uh, for me, pili ko lahat naman biggest rival eh. Kasi this is battle of champions eh. Kumbaga battle of the best. Pero kung merong isang team siguro, it would be Echo. Kasi ilang beses na kami nilang dinurog eh. So parang magandang mabawian sila sa Grand Finals. And siguro para magawa namin yun, kailangan talaga namin double, hindi lang basta doblehan, kundi triplehan yung ginagawa namin uh, pagpa-practice. Yes, yeah, sila na sumusuporta sa Blacklist International, sa Blacklist Asians, sa Viva Spam, and maraming maraming salamat sa walang sawang suporta nyo. And sana padali nyo pa rin kami suportahan yan kahit anong mangyari. And maraming maraming salamat.
we bound to reach. Ain't nothing can stop our restraint. We are a force to be reckoned with. Destiny, kingdom, and might. Shining like Atlas, winning with madness. Count us to practice. That is the match. Just we are the heroes here to slay. Never back down. Never retreat. Greetings everyone! From June 5 to June 17, the MSC Guest event will be available in the eSports channel in-game. Just log into the game and cheer for your team. Once you've made a guest correctly, you will gain a lot of MSC coins as a reward. You can use the MSC coins to redeem a brand new Atlas Rune Sentinel Epic skin, a MSC exclusive avatar border, emotes and past MPL skins like Jawhead, Space Explorer, and Blood Earth's Mightiest. Uh, don't wait, join the event now. How are the matches, everyone? From the 5th to 10th of June, the MC Guest event will be in full swing in-game. Join the event and you can make your guesses on who will emerge the victorious as champion team. If your guess is correct, you will be handsomely rewarded with 1,000 MC coins. You can exchange the coins for the brand new Epic Atlas skin, Rune Sentinel. A 2023 MS exclusive avatar border, emotes, and past MPL skins like Jawhead, Space Explorer, and Claude Earth's Mightiest. More rewards are waiting for you. Don't hesitate. Don't hesitate. It's time to get them. That's right, everyone. From June 17 to June 18, as long as you log into the game, you can claim MSC Banner of Morale and the corresponding MSC Coin Rewards. Use the coins you have to redeem brand new Epic Skin Atlas Rune Sentinel, a 2023 MSC exclusive avatar border, emotes, and past MPO skins like Jod, Space Explorer, and Claude Earth Mightiest. There will be other rich rewards waiting for you to claim. So what are you waiting for? Join the MSC Carnival and enjoy the event now. Join the MSC Carnival and enjoy the event now. I'm Danavid James Del Rosario, also known as Wise, and I'm the jungler of Blacklist International. Ang favorite Mobile Legends hero ko is si Sanshin, and kasi ano eh, Korean ano siya, general. Tapos yung kit niya sa paglalaro, sa yung passive niya, yung skills niya overall. Tingin ko medyo 50-50 yung paggamit ko sa kanya sa MSC 2023 kasi yung meta ngayon hindi masyadong pabor kay YSS so mahirap siya ipasok sa ano sa game lalo pag ang kalaban mo is mga pro player din and yung mga best of the best tulad ng mga champion and sa mga first runner up medyo mahirap siya ang qualities ng mga hero is ano eh inuuna yung yung iba kaysa sa sarili nila and yun yung mga hindi sila selfish eh pagka ano hero ka talagang unahin mo talaga yung mas ikakabuti ng iba kayo sa akin. Ang um, real life hero ko is yung parents ko, syempre. Kasi sila yung nag ano sa akin eh. Nag, nagsilang and simula doon sa pagkabata ko sila na yung kung ano ako ngayon, sila yung dahilan nun kung ba't ako tumagal sa mundo. Uh, medyo mahirap yung buhay namin and yung mama ko is nag OFW para supportahan kami. And nung nag-start nag na ako as a pro player, mas sinuportahan pa ako ng, ano, ng mama ko na i yung pangarap ko. And siya talaga yung pinaka nag, nag, ano, sa akin, nagtiwala. Nung wala pa nag sumusuporta sa akin, siya talaga yung andyan, number one supporter ko. So sa kanya ko talaga nakuha yung ano, motivation na i-push tong pangarap ko. Hanggang sa ngayon na successful na ako na pro play. Uh, si Mama talaga hindi siya mahilig manood sa on-site kasi inaatake daw siya sa puso eh. Pero nung nanood siya, malaking bagay yun kasi malaking tournament na kasi yung nasalian ko nun which is MPL na. And madaming su taong sumusuport ka na. Nakakatuwa lang na nakita ng magulang ko kung ano yung ano, nirisk ko yun. And nagtagumpay talaga ako dun sa pinurso ko na pangarap ko which is pag lalaro nga ng Mobile Legends. Nakatuwa lang na nakita niya yung kung gano'ng kalaking community na yung ML dito sa Pilipinas. 
Uh, sa mama ko, thank you sa pagsuporta sa akin. Tulad nga na sabi ko, ikaw ang pinakadailan kong batan dito ako ngayon kasi ikaw ang unang nagtiwala sa akin. Ang biggest rival ko talaga this coming MSC is Eko talaga kasi sila yung champion this MPL Season 11. And dalawang beses na nila kami tinatalo sa Grand Finals. Pero lahat naman, ano, tinitingin ko as rival sa MSC kasi yung makakasali sa MSC is champion din ng mga region nila. Pero tignan natin kung this time makakabawi kami ngayon sa Eko. Sa Eko, sana tayo pa rin magtapat sa Grand Finals and this time tingting na namin kung kaya na namin talaga kayong talunin. Uh, thank you sa mga sumusuporta sa amin simula nung umpisa sa mga agents, sa BY Spam, sa Kawais at sa Mom Shoes. Ka Mom Shoes. Uh, thank you sa sumusuporta sa amin. Sana suportahan nyo pa rin kami sa MSC and sana makuha natin yung champion. ពីមុនកញុំអាស្រ័យច្បាស់ដែរមិនតែតែពេលគាត់និយាយថាអបើយើងចង់ Leor Gonzalez, also known as Owl. 
Lord Laner of Blacklist International. Favorite hero ko si, ano, si Clod. Kasi kaya niyang maging independent sa lane siya. Kaya niyang ubusin yung kalaban kahit siya lang mag-isa. Tapos ano, secret pa akong gagawin yung tingko sa, ano, sa MSC. Tapos pinagkaiba niya sa ibang hero. Ano, kaya niyang mag-survive sa mga gank ng kalaban. Kaya niyang pumunta ng mid ng ilang seconds lang tapos babalik ulit ng bot sobrang bilis niya rin mag clear ng wave ano gusto kong maging super powers is ano mag produce ng pera para may ano may mga pang top up ako ano para sa akin natlawag ang isang tao bilang hero pag ano na naka inspire siya ng mga tao ano yung real life hero ko is yung mama tsaka tatay ko ano po, lagi nila ako sila support sa mga ano, sa mga gusto kong gawin niyo. Ano po, hindi ko naman po matatawag na rival, pero gusto kong ulit makalaban si, ano, si Benny Guilty. Para gusto ko silang bawian na sa team. Ano kasi nung MPL Season 11 Finals, ano, sobrang binagbog nila kami. Kaya ano, gusto ko silang bawian. Siguro po yung plans namin, ano, mag, magbabatak, pa, magbabatak pa kami lalo sa, ano, sa scrims at sa RG para ano, mga champion niyo. Salamat sa sumasuporta sa Blacklist International. Tsaka ano, sana supportan niyo pa rin kami kahit anong maging result sa, ano, sa MSC.
team Ain't nothing can stop or restrain We are a force to be reckoned with Destiny, kingdom, and life Shining yeah. like Atlas, winning with madness Count us to practice, that is his match Just be the heroes here to slay Never back down, under a strength Yo, yo, fatal link Yo, yo, sick or swing Match by match, day by day Determination and one at a time
cry with a mighty try. War against the heavens, set a fire to the sky. Woo. Keep burning bright, kill the allies and enemies mesmerize. Strive for domination. Hey. Hey. Feel the pressure rising.
Raise the heavens, set the fire to the sky Woo! Keep burning bright, kill the allies And the enemies mesmerize Strive for domination hey. Hey. Feel the pressure rising
and chain Ain't nothing can stop our restraint We are a force to be reckoned with Destiny, kingdom, and match Battle like Atlas, winning is madness Count us to practice, that is his match As we are the heroes here to slay Never back down
it's a lovely evening here in Phnom Penh and welcome everybody to the grand finals of the Mobile Legends Bang Bang Southeast Asian Cup 2023. My name is Gideon Q. And I'm Eterna. And introducing to the rest of the desk, we have the Curse Cast here on the table that will guide you guys through each and every one of these games. It's Mirko, it's LaFell, it's Wolf. I love you guys. Come on. Just touch me. Just touch me. Just touch me. Like that. I love you. Did you enjoy the touch? I I I enjoy it. You that was a bit low, but you know I'll 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 I'm okay with it. The lower the better. The more the better. But for now, guys, remember the MSC 2023 is powered by Monton, supported by ROG, the official gaming phone, and Secret Lab, our official chair partner. And speaking of space speaking of Secret Lab, and a special shout out to them, because when it comes to built-in lumbar support that you can adjust to your spine an incredible magnetic memory foam head pillow and brand new fabrics to enhance the perfect designs. Enjoy the same performance advantages trusted by the world's biggest esports tournaments at secretlab.co. And of course, for those of you watching at home, don't miss your last chance to purchase the MSC Pass because this event is about to end today, June 18th. Don't forget to buy the pass for 899 diamonds and you guys can get the Atlas Rune Sentinel and 3,500 MSC coins immediately, right? Mm -hmm. You have so many things to get. And besides that, all your task rewards will be doubled. MSC Return Skins, Jawhead the Space Explorer, Claude's Earth Mightiest, and other rich rewards also await you. So if you guys can manage to finish all your MSC pass tasks, and make all the correct guesses, you guys can redeem the Atlas Rune Sentinel in MSC Event Shop for free. Join the fight and explore the MSC Pass now. And don't forget the hashtags, hashtag Mobile Legends Bang Bang, hashtag See the World, and of course, hashtag MSC 2023. Oh my goodness, things are crazy here in the arena. It's a You're before crazy. the Grand Finals has even started. I know I'm crazy and I'm excited for this game because I think this is going to be the first time in a long, very, very long time. You know what? I'm going to hold off on that just a little bit. I'm going to save it just for a little bit later because for those of you who haven't been keeping up with MSC 2023. You've been missing out, but don't worry, we got you covered. Here's a daily recap. The third day of the knockouts came with resounding cheers emanating from the arena for miles around. Oh, don't have flickers into the heavy spin! A brilliant heavy spin by Wise! Get ready for Blacklist's new hit single, Spin to Win, featuring Burn X Flash on the receiving end. Yo, it's only everyone away! You win! Wow! He finds his estimation very low and out of back! You win! And after a relentless assault by Blacklist, the home team's journey to the grand finals was ended. Blacklist International have knocked the Cambodians out! Next, Onik went head to head against Echo, the M4 champions. Kyrie was an undeniable nuisance as he juked and dodged every move thrown by the Orcas. Versus Kyrie, 50 50 on the board. DW! Dustin and Kai! In the longest game in MSC 2023, the two sides engage in an unending back and forth battle. Kyrie, does he no fall? Way. He dodges no away! Way. What is this game? Soon. Cracks started to form in Echo's formation, and their mighty fortress came crashing down, giving Onik a hard-earned victory. For our final match, we have Echo and Burn X Flash battling it out for third. All pressure is on Echo, the X World Champion, to close it out. But Burn X Flash did not make it any easier. This is how it's gonna end! Echo! And the rest of the dream ended out! Oh, what? Wait a second! Wait! The police cars! Betty Cutie broke through all on! They broke through like an no. Olympic cycle! And they show oh, my one thing! If you think one backdoor fail is not enough, what about two backdoor fails by Echo in a single game? Both Echo and Burn X Flash put up quite a spectacle, and in the end, Echo closed out the match with a 3 2 score. Punching this time, I'm punching so up, but I'm out of course! Echo! 
With the grand finals now looming ahead, the ultimate question remains unanswered. Who will emerge as the true king of sea? Till then, hashtag see the world. It has been an exhausting past couple of days here in Phnom Penh, and we finally come to the conclusion. The Pen ultimate battle between Blacklist International and Onik after going through gruelous and countless games against multiple teams, champions, competitors. We have Echo currently in third, but man, oh man, we've been waiting for way too long to see this grand finals of Blacklist International and Onik. And it's been so long since we've seen and have been graced with the presence of another team from a different region other than the Philippines coming to the grand finals, being able to level it out. It's been an entire year, Mirko. It really has, right? MSC 2022, and we were there too to witness what happened. RRQ unfortunately lost 4-0 to RSGPH. But I think now with a single elimination format, both of these teams have not met. So it's going to be the first time where both teams will have to take their time to read each other out slowly but surely taking a look again because the grand finals is going to be a best of seven. Mm -hmm. Here's the thing. I'm just going to call it, right? It's going to be 4-0. Oh. It's 4-0. Right? Oh. Oh. Grand oh. finals is going to be 4-0, oh, right? Well, shake on it. Shake, yeah, on, shake it. on it. No way. 4-0. 4-0. 4-0. 4-0. Okay, okay, okay. So We're going to curse it. We're going to curse it. 4-0. Oh. Oh, do you finals. know that if you're aware that you want to reverse curse it, it does not work? So what? just forget about it, you know? Just it's forget about it. <laughs> okay, maybe don't forget about it. All right, Oh, these boys. Double negatives all across the board. This is why the curse cast is extremely dangerous at Turna. <laughs> exactly, exactly. It's it's chaos, even on the Gaster Desk already, and we haven't even begun. I actually want to ask uh, your predictions, but we'll, we'll wait that for a moment, right? Because we got to talk about this, right? The final battle for the crowned and hashtag see the world, because mm -hmm. both of these teams, they're looking to continue on their legacy, right? Because oh. Blacklist, they have yet to earn an MSC title, and yep. for Onyx, they want to get back-to-back. -back. Okay, it's not back-to-back, -back, but two MSC crowns as well. Okay, here's the thing. Before we even move forward, right? I gotta say, Cameron, look at all of us. <laughs> we look so good, man. Shout-outs to Robbie. He gave us these scars, yep. and they're absolutely amazing. Thank you very much, Robbie. Our host here Akun. in Cambodia. Akun. 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 Very happy that he was able to kind of give us a, just a little bit of that Phnom Penh Cambodian mm. experience. But guys, before we even get close towards the Grand Finals, let's have a little bit some of that insider. The journeys that these players had to go through. Let's take it away with our insiders. MSC has just begun. 12 teams will battle it out for the trophy. And now only two teams are left. <laughs> We're the very first team to represent North America and so it's really big for us and we'll do our best to show them that we can compete with the Asian teams. Let's go! Hello. I can say the Asian play style is different. It's harder, to be honest. The players here are so dedicated to the game. Their micro and macro is on a different level. Mau menang ataupun kalah, yang penting mereka udah ngelakuin yang terbaik. The greatest loss for me has got to be RSG, Slate, Singapore. They finally find their groove. I think it's because of a change of coach or just the synergy between the players. I'm so excited to see their performance next year. To all the teams that have left and exited early, I really hope that you come back stronger. Keep on going. You made it this far. And I hope I see each and every one of you in the Philippines for the World Championship for M5. Toda, aku sayang korang. Aku sayang korang gila -gila. Maybe after MPL, book camp terus. You know what? Just, just, just go to the field. Datang sebulan awal ke sebulan setengah. You know what? Just, just do anything that you can. Harap-harap at least top three.
here at the desk, we honor the fallen. For if we need to see our champions, they must walk over the corpses of their enemies. The perfect storyline, Onik looking to reclaim the MSC title all the way back in 2019. The last Kages were together, and now the next generation is here against an unstoppable force of Blacklist International. They are looking for the last piece of the crown. It was there. It was in the Philippines, actually, and you guys were there too. Mm -hmm. uh, I think it was Gideon there, and, uh, and uh, it was um, it, it inspired so many of the Filipinos. Do you know that Vwise as well as Delar, for example, they were watching Onik win that in in uh, in Cubao, in Quezon City in the Philippines. They were inspired by Onik. They wanted to be Onik that time and now here they are facing up against each other yep it, again dreams come true here mm -hmm. this is why this is the perfect storyline msc has a lot of history not just them five here in southeast asia we care about this game a lot more than what people would imagine we would love to share that w with the world and that's why we have that hashtag see the world yeah exactly right it comes back down to these two giants as well just colliding on stage we're going through their storylines but like think about it right as a player even just in this tournament alone, the ups and downs that this team must have undergone to get to this point, it's insane. And I honestly can't imagine how that feels for them. Honestly, here's the thing, right? The players are going to be the one playing. We feel the pressure. In fact, look Ooh. at Mirko here. He's already sweating. It's almost like he ran <laughs> back and up forth. and back and yeah. forth, right? I don't know. It's almost like, you know, I had to spend a lot of energy to get back on desk for whatever reason. Uh, take a breather. Take a breather for now. I feel like there's a lot in store for you in your future. With that being said, I wonder what, you know, Robbie and as well as Mara have been up to back up on the main stage. We throw it over to you guys. Thank you, panelists. This is Mara Aquino giving you an inside scoop. We received great news, and I'm really excited to share it with all of you. This is about the much anticipated Mobile Legends Bang Bang and Five World Championship. I am so excited to share this with all of you. And I want to hear all of your excitement too. So, Cambodia, make some noise. Ho, muy mal. Once again, Cambodia! Ho Mui Mao! And now it's time for the special announcement. Please take your eyes on the screen. Returning once more, champions from around the world, MPL Philippines, MPL Indonesia, MPL Malaysia, MPL Singapore, MPL Cambodia, MPL Middle East and North Africa, the M5 Myanmar Qualifier, the MLBB Turkey Championship, the North American Challenger Tournament, Liga Latam, and the MLBB Continental Championship. Conquerors competing to see who is worthy to be crowned the world's greatest. But this time, there is a new phase to M5. Introducing the M5 Wildcard. A new qualifier for emerging regions and a shot at redemption for others. Eight competitors will battle for the top two spots for a chance to advance to M5. The competitors are from South Asia, Bangladesh and Nepal will battle for the spot in MLBB Champions Battle. From the Mekong region, the champion of the Mekong Qualifier Event. From Malaysia, the runner-up from MPL Malaysia. Latin America, the third place in Liga Latam. From Eastern Europe and Central Asia, the runner-up of the MLBB Continental Championship. The winner of the M5 World Championship National Wildcard Qualifier in Mongolia. And two more regions to be announced soon. 
which of these regions will show that they have what it takes. Find out this November in the M5 Wild Card. No way. No way. No way. What? No what? Way. I'm sorry I didn't tell you guys. Dude. I knew, I knew, but this I'm sorry. Guy. Post credit scenes in the beginning? I, I wasn't expecting that at all. Hey. Nobody told us what was Nothing. going on. Nothing. This is so ten but this Wild is genuine. Card? What the hell, Mika? Why oh, did you tell us this? That's before? why. I'm pretty good Genuine at keeping reactions. secrets. Oh. Yeah, we got to see your reactions. I wanted to see because oh I, God. while doing the voiceover, was super shook. I was like, wait, there's so many regions, new regions coming in Bangladesh, Nepal. This trickster, man, there was, there, we were interviewed by the media and he was, the, the media was asking like, <laughs> what regions do you want to be a part of M5? And we were like, oh, I want to go for Japan or whatever region. And then this guy, he predicted Nepal and I was like, wow, wow wait, what that, was knows a lot. that was so your random. voice? Yeah, that was this my voice. Guy. Oh, no wonder you sound like a nerd. Oh, this guy has been keeping a lot of secrets from us. He's been hinting us all day about it and it just flew right over our heads. It all makes sense now. The wild card regions are coming to M5. M5 in the Philippines. I, I was not ready for this to turn off. Neither, neither was I. Okay, I had no idea as well, but I love this. I love this. Things are getting more competitive. Things, the new things are coming for us as well. And we can expect just all these regions just really climbing. Yeah. Wow, I don't even have words for it. Dude, the wild I'm so card. excited. I feel like we, we should make our own video about yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> this is definitely well. a pipe dream of mine. You know, having wild cards, that is amazing. Yeah. Second chances, chances for other regions as well as fact for other, you know, non famous regions. I, I can't hold it. I'm out for words. Don't hold it. All right, all right. Don't let, just let it go. Let's pull it back. Let's pull it back here because we still have a grand finals to go through. It's going to be Blacklist and introducing him. It's going to be Al Wise, Edward, Yue, and oh my, mm. Venus here. Again, everybody knows this lineup, but the two rookies, as Leo has mentioned before, who are, you know, happy to be along for the ride, are mm. now realizing this could be their first title. Yeah. It, you see Yue had improved a lot in the group stages and the knockout stages. Well, if you look back at the performance of both Owl and Yue in the MPL PhD, so that there were a lot of criticisms on these two people. But now, people are seeing the value of both Yue and Owl. And then you see Wise Edward and Omae Venus here to claim an MSC title. I think this is the closest that they could get for an MSC title for sure. Now, introducing the second lineup to challenge them. We haven't seen an Indonesian versus Philippine Grand Finals in a while. It's going to be Onik with CW, Kyrie, Boots, Sans, and as well as Keyboy. For the most part, Onik, this was the lineup that I've always been hyping up since M3. I can remember it, man. When they won Season 8, Onik were on top of the world. A lot of expectations, but that mental block, that international uh, nerf that they get. Every single international has been creeping on them, right? M3, MSC grouped. M4, closest, best performance, but now finally we get to see the real Onik Indo that Whoa. I have been waiting for. Yep, now Whoa. honestly for me, the way that I look at it is because Blacklist International as well as Onik has had monikers of their own. A lot of accolades, but let's take a neutral perspective here. LaFell, I'm looking at you, you play this particular role. It's a little bit difficult and honestly, walk us through it for Oh My Venus and Keyboy. Why are they the best? It's actually pretty crazy, man, because this just proves there's no one way to play one role. Uh -huh. yes. Because uh -huh. again, yes. the way that Oh My Venus plays, looking at the vision provided by everyone else, Oh My Venus commands everything as a support roamer, making sure there's no mistakes gonna be done. But looking at Keyboy, the playmaker, he will initiate, he will find the vision, he will let his team know when they can get a kill, when they can move forward. And it's crazy, right? Because we see that perhaps that aggressiveness is on maybe more sided to Keyboy, but lately coming in to MSC, we see a new shade of V, right? All her heroes get banned. She brings out heroes like the Lolita, Novaria. Sure, it's a little bit more support in the way that she does it, but it also still provides that initiation that Keyboy does as well. Mm -hmm. I mean, I feel like it's it's very different overall. I wouldn't even say play styles, but just the general way they look at the game. One is an IGL, the other is looking yeah. for that big green light to mm -hmm. jump on and get into that fight. And you see, you can see the stats as well as the hero pull of All My Venus. The way that he affects the comp position of wherever team he plays with. For example, when he was part of Onyx Philippines, before he was part of Blacklist International, or she was part of Blacklist International, everybody adjusts to them. Even the coaches draft accordingly. That is how impactful All My Venus is. And it's not a bad thing when I say that though, because they are winning because of it, right? They only 
probably have lost like a few international tournaments, but when it comes to like their the accolades that they were able to get, they're always into the grand finals because of how they have adjusted and have understood how All My Venus operates. Complete opposite on the other side. A very yeah. reactive roamer in Venus waiting for the team or the enemy mm -hmm. team to actually engage for him. But for Onik, Keyboy, he makes the calls happen. He told me once that he wants to be aggressive. He is not a passive roamer and that's what makes him special. He goes in and the team trusts him to yeah. do so. They all follow through. And in Season 11, especially now at MSC, he's really stepped up as also one of the main shot callers for this team. Hmm. So he's setting up the he's setting up these fights. He's also giving the green light to everybody else, both playing that IGN role in their own particular way. Man, support roles must be real difficult here. And I think, you know, with such big playmakers, I hope we get to see maybe just a little bit of information that we can share with you guys here. Let's go jump right into our insider video. Me and Kyrie know that chemistry is a must, so we must put some effort so that we can, you know, sink in faster and we can adapt to the culture faster. We're here just to show our selves, you know? Just to showcase our skills. That's all and enjoy. It's really the the dedication of the whole the whole team, from players to ma to coaching staff to management. Everyone is really dedicated in what we do. That's really one of the reasons why Blacklist is still uh, on top. I think for me personally, uh, I want to win versus all the team. I just want to uh, beat all the team. Nice one, Kai. Nice one. I'm feeling lonely. <laughs> I'm excited. I just wish that we play good and Everything's gonna be all right. Aku, aku nggak tahu sih. Aku cuma mau prepare buat besok buat lawan Blacklist. Ya, kita kasih yang terbaik aja buat besok. It doesn't get better than this, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome, MSC 2023 Grand Finals in Cambodia. And we have a show for you guys back at home and here in the arena, Cambodia is lit, man. Absolutely amazing. And right now, I'm gonna actually invite one of my boys, one of the Filipino representatives who's gonna be repping Blacklist International. As you know, I'm Indonesian. I'll be representing Onik. We're gonna have a little bit of a trash talk segment. We're gonna have a little bit of spice for Indonesia versus the Philippines. Before that though, I wanna hear from the Blacklist fans in the building. How loud can you get? In the count of three, you yell, break the code. One, two, three. All right, all right, let's see how Onik are doing as well. When I say go, you know what to say, all right? Go! All right, without further ado, let's invite my brother, Oma Genus. There he is, right there. Hello, Miracle. It's not Miracle. Oh, you're not. Who are you? I'm Mirboy. Mirboy. 
Well, hello, mere boy. It's me. Oh, my genus. You know what, mere boy? Uh -huh. There's a reason why Blacklist International has the word international in their name. It's because, it's because this is our fifth international grand finals already. Okay, so you make it to a lot of grand finals. Is that what you're trying to say? All right, all right. Let me, just, let me just try to remember. My memory is kind of hazy. You've been to a lot of grand finals, but how many have you won? Okay. M3 and okay. M3. Fair enough. But when, when was your last championship? Back in 2019. That was a long time ago. Well, you know, right? if right? I'm thinking about the last time we won, it was actually pretty recent. We got the EVOS boys right there. We just okay. beat you at okay. ISF. So okay. I don't know, man. Okay. Fair enough. All right, you have a point. You okay. have a point. Let me just say this, all right? You know why we have, you know the Boots, the player, Boots on Onik. Yeah. I... What's Boots for? What? It's to walk over you. Okay. We're going to be stomping you. Okay. okay, I felt that. I felt that. But you know what, Mirko? Uh -huh. We all know what's about to go down. Because we all know what's, what's the storyline is. I have here the script. I have here the script. It's official. It has the MSC logo. Okay. This is the script. And please, everyone, read the script out loud. Okay? This is the script. This is the script. All right, man, Cheesy. All right, All right. okay, okay. You know what? All right. I want to firstly say, me and LaFell, we officially take back our apology because it started off as a bad draw, but it was just a chance, you know? I put ID ID in the finals so that it's not too boring, so that we get to smash PH in the grand finals! All right, all right. Just remember, just remember, we respect Indonesia. And I respect the Philippines. Just remember, we respect Indonesia. But please remember, since, since MSC has been stating a lot of fun facts, well, Mirko, if you win this, you got carried by a Filipino! All right, that was a good one. That was a good one. That was a good one. You know, Kyrie started his career in Blacklist International, but I just want to let you guys know that he will win in Onik. Okay. Okay. Point taken. Point taken. But, ladies and gentlemen, Man Jeezy, let's give a hug. Let's go, ladies and gentlemen, for the grand finals. We're throwing it to our casters. Oh, that's great. <laughs> they didn't even show them hugging. They didn't show him them hugging the first time, but only the second time here. Oh, I was wondering why Mirko ran off in the middle <laughs> of was, our segment. Yeah, I was like, where's Mirko going? And it turns yeah. out he was trash talking with Manji. Where is he now? Is he on the way here? He's, He's on the way here. Oh, there he right. is. There he is. Okay. Round of applause. Oh, well played, table. Well played. Round of applause. Come here, come here, come here. Okay, okay, you did okay. good. Come here, come here, come here. <laughs> give me a hug, you boy. You did good. Give me a hug, boy. <laughs> give me, give me, give me. Oh, boy. Wow. What a segment there. Great way to start to hype up the crowd before our very first game here. Remember, this is going to be a best of seven. We're hoping for the full seven games here. We don't want to see a sweep. We want to see which one of these teams are going to be the best. The consistency always is going to be the key. Am I right? Yeah, you're right. You're mm -hmm. right. And, you know, talking about that, right, we're going into this match, but we haven't really seen anyone's prediction. So, oh. Oh. How, do we, how do we want to start this? <laughs> How's like, the curse going to go? Yeah, are we going to go for the curses again? Okay. Wait, wait. Wait, it's there. Wait, it's only you two. <laughs> I should be the one. Or I should also be good here. <laughs> you know what? I don't know. I don't know. I don't care either. Exactly. Yeah. We did the draw. Well, we said sorry, but you want to tell them we, what we say now? Dude, we take it back, right? Here's the thing. Here's the thing. We knew this was going to happen. You guys just had to trust us. 
Just let us cook. Let us cook. And together we'll say something. You're welcome. welcome. Thank you, boys. Thank you, boys. They drew the draw. They're mm -hmm. taking back their apologies. Yep. Wolf, you're leaning towards Blacklist exactly. this time. Walk us through it. Okay, well, I uh, I need to vote for Blacklist in terms of, no, I'm just kidding. I, I know that the- uh, But Onyx, your boys. Huh? Onyx, your boys? They were my boys. <gasps> oh, were. were. He used the Whoa. past tense. Yeah. No, I have to be- What does that be, mean? No, the here's the thing, tense. right? Here's the happen. thing, right? I have, I have, I have to be with man, what, Manginus here? Manginus. I read the script. Oh, like, they gave it to me. It has the embassy logo only like backwards, <laughs> but you know, but it, it was part of the script and I have to follow. It will be PH win this time. Mm. It will be PH team this time. I mean, fair I, enough. I'm sorry. just looking for things to change. I want Onyx win, but what about you, Eternal? No, we didn't get to see your predictions. You know, Wolf is outnumbered here. Oh? What? So, you know, calm down. So who right? are you oh. with? You're with Onyx? I'm with Onyx today. Just today? Oh. Yeah, because usually I have more Echo, but oh, yeah, now yeah, it's, yeah. there's Echo's not here. Oh, you're right, you're and right. Then, it's fair, yeah, it's fair, okay? it's fair. It's fair. Yeah. I mean, I have the suit and everything. Uh, uh, you know, things, <laughs> things change. Things change, and I'm glad things are changing here because it's been a very long time since we've seen Indonesia make it this far, and especially mm -hmm. in the fashion that they have done it. Like, mm -hmm. oh my goodness, they still haven't dropped the series. Or, no, even better, they haven't dropped the game. game. Wait, exactly. single game. Onyx hasn't lost since, since their finals, right? Since season Wait, no, 11 playoffs. Since playoffs. Yeah. Since no. playoffs. Last time they lost, it was up against RRQ, actually, in the regular season. So since then... It was four months ago? Four months, three months? The, the, I don't know, but it was a long time ago. And right so now, they are looking untouchable. That's yeah. crazy. That's I, way I can, too, That's I, the longest win streak we've ever seen yeah, before. Exactly. Mm -hmm. I can't believe that they will not lose in four months, only to lose against oh. Blacklist International oh. in the finals. Oh, wow. Oh. All, All right. right. You mean the team that got followed? <laughs> look, 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 look. Let's calm this down. It's wait, time wait, to bro. throw it over to our host to introduce the teams. In the journey to see the world, 12 teams have gathered to exhibit their strength and tenacity, each with their own strategic approach to build momentum and make the biggest waves in treacherous waters. Two of the strongest teams in all of the regions have reached the ultimate phase. Onik and Blacklist International have taken the spotlight. They have mesmerized us with their amazing plays and spectacular defenses to get to this moment. នៅក្នុងឆ្នាំពីបងប្អូនបីអមេស៊ីនេះផងដែរយើងឃើញថាមានរហូតដល់ទៅដល់ពីក្រុមដែរសិទ្ធិតែជាក្រុមអស់ច
can hear them. Leave the one and here. The Lord in the middle lane, running away. Dre with the seal, flickering forward. MSC para sa akin is para sa Pilipinas. Kasi nandito kami para hindi lang para representa yung sarili namin and yung Blackness International, kundi para dalin din yung uh, bansa. Parang pamilya ko na ang Blackness. Sisiguraduhin namin na kami ang kampyon. Mets Grand Final ini kita akan kasih yang terbaik buat meraih kemenangan. We worked so hard and gotten this far. Now the finish line is within our sight. It doesn't matter who I have to face or defeat in my way. I will win the MSC for my team. We are ready. It's Onik time. Introducing the silent killer of Blacklist International, Al! Matching up against the unwavering CW! We now present the final piece of the roster, welcoming the other cornerstone of Ube, the king of the jungle, Wise, going up against the spectacular, the one, Kyrie! Let's welcome 
the masterminds of both teams. Coach, master the basics with Star against Coach Yeb and Adi as the analyst. It's time! The Grand of Finals has already been launched and is ready to commence with both teams ready to go at each other's throats. Only one will be walking away. The hype is real, ladies and gentlemen. The crowd is feeling it. We are feeling it as the players are getting ready for this next upcoming battle. Now, Gideon, we have to talk about this, right? Blacklist International, Onyx ID, they have very different styles. Who do we ask when we want to talk about Ooh. how they're going to be able to find each other's kryptonite? Well, obviously, we got to talk about the analyst. We got to talk about Wolf here. Woo. Bring it to the table. If we're yep. looking for weaknesses on either side for yep. Onyx as well as Blacklist, what are we aiming well, for? The fact, of, the fact remains, they have different play styles. Onyx, they want a team fight. When you when you're a team fight, they want to outplay. They want to go for pickoffs. While Blacklist International engage, they want to group up as five: systematic versus chaotic. So, if you're asking me about Kryptonites, I don't think there is any like uh, Kryptonite between each other. It seems like. Because of the fact that they're yin yang, anyways, they're gonna be countering each other. So whoever is waking up better, like who's drafting better, they're gonna have a better time in this game. It's a skill diff, yep. right? That's really what we're gonna be looking at for both these teams because skill is going to be number one. Thing is, though, there are personal grudges from both these teams, That's right. and I've actually spoken That's to right. Kyrie and Yeb when they got to Indonesia. This is back in season ten when they were first imported. I went out with them, and Kyrie and Yeb, I asked them. Who do you want to face the most still? It's still Blacklist. They are still thinking about M3 when they unfortunately met their masters 4-0, yep. getting absolutely dominated in the Grand Finals after having a similar run, an undefeated run at M3. Undefeated run? They still remember that? Mm -hmm. Holding on to such mm -hmm. an old grudge till now? I mean, this is history in the making. Oh, All sure. things and the pieces sure. have kind of fallen into place almost rather perfectly. You're right, you're right. The way things have come. And it's interesting, right? Because I don't think anyone really expected both of these teams, honestly, to get to the <laughs> Grand Finals, right? I mean, for Philippines, it should have been Echo yep. seeing their track record. On it coming into the Grand Finals was also a 50-50. Yeah. Most of the people expected it to be Echo Blacklist, including us. That's even in your video, Gideon. Mm -hmm. As we take a look now at the player head-to-head -head here between the Queen herself as well as Keyboy. Yep, Manjeezy and as well as Mirboy <laughs> taking after their lookalikes here. Mm -hmm. Again, these are two pivotal players. The stats kind of tell us a very different story and their overall play style. Honestly, looking at the KDA as well as team fight participation, that is enough because the Ube, you want to move with your team. And look at the team fight participation for Oh My Venus. 76.5% going up against Keyboy, 50 something percent. And in terms of KDA, 7.2 Oh My Venus. Yeah. He's staying in the back lines. He is basically playing chess with the other members of Blacklist. Mm -hmm. He's making sure everyone moves as intended. Compared to Keyboy, he will sacrifice his own body for the betterment of the team. Here's the thing, even though you can sacrifice and even though you're playing 5D chess sometimes, you still need that big outplay to break the stalemate at the end of the day. And that's what we saw when Blacklist lost to Echo. But then now Onik kind of takes this place are they similar? Do they have that particular style? Uh, I think that when it comes to style, I think it's very distinct, actually. If you look at Onyx, you always remember they are going to be playing like those chaotic games. They want to outplay if you want to play fast. Look at the Blacklist International, nothing strange. As long as their VY is in there, everybody is going to adapt to that programming. It's going to be the Uwe. And Uwe, as well as Owl, they have adapted so, so correctly in this matter. That's why this is yin yang, really. What we're going to be looking at is probably the best grand final because it shows us two disciplines of Mobile Legends, the best of the business, clashing against each other. I like that you mentioned VYs here, right? I like that you mentioned Wise in particular because this brings me to another focus. Wise versus Kyrie. You can say that they also have a clash of styles as well and 
coming into MSC, we take a look at the rankings and everyone says that Kyrie is the better jungler. However, Wise has been incredible on his retribution game. Do you remember that game where he went in with the Boxia? Nobody oh, even yeah. set up for the Lord. Drive, drive by. He went for the drive by, was able to catch that. And he's just that person that you can rely on. So what can we expect between these two? Honestly, for me, Wise is all reliable. Because in terms of the hero pool, you don't have to have such a huge hero pool for Wise. Because let's say, no matter what hero he uses, he gets the job done. And what is his job? He front lines for the team. He opens mm -hmm. the map. He starts things off and lets his team finish everything off. But Kyrie, man, he has the spotlight every single time. This is what makes Ooh. you an ace. This is what makes you an MVP. Even in a losing situation, somehow you still win. For both of these roamers, or for both of these junglers, they set up for their roamers. We've seen Kyrie, sure, he likes to follow up a lot with the assassins, like we saw in the Fanny yesterday, but he can also set up for Keyboy. Like we've also seen on the Lancelot, setting up, clumping everyone up from the opponents to get there, and honestly starts in the draft. What do Onyx, what do Blacklist want as Pryo? It's about being unique, it's about looking to outplay your opponent, but it all begins with the tools that you will arm your warriors with. This is a 5v5 game. Make sure you understand and don't miss a single moment as we jump into the trap. Now coming and pulling this back a little bit more, we need to talk about the fact that Wise not only plays the sacrificial role in the drafting phase, but it opens up a new level of draft for Blacklist International. We've seen it against FIMP, putting him on something like a Valentina, and then all of a sudden, Burnex Flash, they recognize that to stop you. One thing that you'll notice about Blacklist International is they have a theme for a series, for example. Well, it's true that they can pick up like Valentina Eve, very standard, and maybe the Fredrin as their priority in the first place, but there's always that theme. For example, their recent series against Burn X Flash, it was all of a sudden the Baxia. It was all of a sudden the position 5 Novaria. So you have to watch out for that. We know for sure that this will be a long series, right? This couldn't be 4 0. And you have to watch out for those key heroes in the draft of Blacklist International. Honestly, looking at the bans just now, Fanny being banned out, the Kaja being banned out, as well as the Kadito, what does this spell that Blacklist doesn't want? They don't want engage, they don't want dive, they don't want huge burst damage. And now, looking at Onik, I gotta say, it's all about respecting and understanding your yep. opponents. Banning out the S's, banning out the Diggy, but more yep. importantly, banning out that Psycho Frederick. Exactly. This forces Blacklist to go for something like the Varya, the first uh -huh. pick. There is also the Joy. I think those are the two priorities, because Edward really plays with that Whoa. one. But of course, since the one one is opened, oh, I can see it. This is a trap set up by Onik, for sure. The trap set up by Onik? I mean, look. This is VY's ninth grand final appearance out of 11 as part of Blacklist's active roster, winning Nine? four during their appearances. What? That's insane. That's what a stat. What is that? Great numbers, right? I mean, MPL, uh, MPL PH Season 7, Season 8, M3, and mm -hmm. as well as Season 10. And that shows their experience, right? Yep. And it also shows their knowledge in the game. So that is going to be very beneficial when it comes down to the drafting yep. phase. Now, Onik, can they level that? Oh. Uh. Definitely. This is a trap. I think it's, I think the one one is a trap. They go for something like Franco in the, in the absence of Kanja. Oh, yep. <laughs> you know what? Okay. The Franco pick as well as the Franco is big because again, looking at the way that they're drafting, what does this spell out? Oh, where Ow, oh, he just wants to make sure that he can yep. win his lane and then let his team set things up for him to use the crossbow tank. But look at the the, the Franco as well as the Franco. The Franco is, is a good way to deny him of kills. Remember as well, in all the matchups that we've seen from Blacklist International, they always ban the Franco. This yep. here has always been one of their kryptonites, That's as right. to say, on their Ube lineup. The fact that they can split them yep. open and the fact that oh, they also have a Fairmiss who punishes up, up compositions yep. is really, really good for them. But that's why Blacklist yep. will play with the range, will play with the disengage of the Akai and the Navaria. Really interesting because I thought they were going to lean on the higher performing Ube, especially on Valentina. He has hard carry games with the Valentina, yep. but instead decides to go Navaria. Oh, this is because of the fact that Navaria can be flexed. Yep. It can be played in a position for our, the mid lane. Also, the Roman uh, having it in the first mix of Black Sinners yeah. ensures that they will have that security wow. on the UA. But Lake. how very early league! Lake. Oh my! I'm happy! Yeah. You guys happy? I am too More happy. than happy. <laughs> I, it depends for who, right? I mean, sure, everyone's happy to see that prowess once again from Kyrie himself, but 
the thing is, if you're Blacklist, what kind of lockdown is available for the Ling, right? Franco's been taken. Kaja's out of the board. For Venus? Or don't lock him down. Exactly. Just don't, take away the buff. Don't lock him down. Take away the buff. So mid control becomes prio for them. And that's why I feel like Onik, they really understand that. They saved that link pick for the for the last pick in the yep. first phase to bait it out. Novaria picked up. So now that's still a flex pick. But remember, Novaria alone, not a lot of mid control. So you can already see Onik, they're taking out Ooh, all the mages that can help Novaria clear. This is where it gets really scary because if we're not even just talking about the mid lane. We've seen what the mid lane looks like for Onik. Maybe a little bit for the side of Blacklist International. But let's talk about E. EXP here because That's again right. they're in the first phase alone the fact that Franco wasn't yep. even banned out they left up the joy as well as the one one it's a give and take yeah I think that it is it's either Teresa or Lapu Lapu for the side of Blacklist International in that case Lapu Lapu gonna be perfect against uh, the shields of Faramis it's like a free setup because you clear out the extra shields very easily then you also think about Teresa so that he coupled it up you need a way for for Blacklist International to kind of front night so that the one one will have a will have a, a time to get the stacks in I think Onik will, you know, now that we are <laughs> talking about this, yep. I, this is a good match. Farsa yep. would have been perfect. Agreed. I'm thinking Farsa Lap was their last picks for Blacklist, but for Onik, they might go for a for a non-item dependent gold laner because when Ling is picked up by Onik, automatically you shift your core to the Ling, not to the gold laner anymore. Mm -hmm. Someone that's a little bit more self-sufficient, you know, doesn't have to get punished too hard. Maybe something that can force priority. I mean, Claude. Beatrix as well as Claude yeah. are open. Brody, maybe? No, honestly, Bro honestly, like, all of those options are amazing, amazing for different things. Claude can basically take care of himself. Brody can have lane priority, making it so that even if you don't have the items, you can skill, uh, yep. still scale up very well. And the thing is, the Brody here going up against the 1-1, one -one, still, uh, me and Merkel, we talked about it in yeah. private, but the thing about goal leaners, it almost doesn't matter what the matchup is because it is very, very dynamic. It's going to be the Beatrix, and yep. that's exactly why, right? If we want to see just the main counter, it's going to be the Irithel, but we're not going to see that here. The Claude is an amazing lane for the 1-1, one -one, but it all comes down to skill. Yep. We've seen Chiku uh, get dominated by a 1-1 one -one before, so the Beatrix here is the most flexible, yep. right? If Claude can do everything independently, Beatrix can adapt to any team stuff. Okay, all right, we're seeing the next couple of picks. Arlet gets locked in for the side of Blacklist International. It's been a while since we've seen Edward on this Arlet. I was maybe oh. hoping for Benedetta, but now Minotaur as well. This fits the MO of yep. Blacklist International, for sure. Now that leaves us with the EXP laner, right? For the side of Onyx. Why do I have a feeling we might see something like the Masha, Masha for Boots? I, yeah. Against 1-1, one, one, it's great. Yeah, yeah. Against Arlet, it's okay. The, the worst maybe that Onyx could take is Teresa, which is actually not that bad at all overall against the Arlot. But yeah, I think the Masha is a. It fits, it fits the bill. What about Uranus? They already have enough damage coming in. Mm. They need a frontline or someone who can survive in towards the late game as well. And no one from Blacklist will be able to fully burst this Uranus if it gets online. Mm, okay, okay. I'll do you one better because I hate Uranus. What about okay. Grok or Benedetta, right? Either or can definitely try and force priority. But nope, they're going to take the Uranus here. You got it right on the ball, Miracle. Right now, honestly, looking at the drafts, here's the thing. We've seen Novara be, uh, Novara being piloted by Oh My Venus, but now UA is going to use it. And here's the thing. We talked about controlling the purple buff. The Novaria can steal it away if enough vision is provided. All right, let's take a look at the audience predictions real quick, right? Before we get into the nasty tidbits of wow. this matchup. But this is a very interesting split between the two. Even the regions are kind of unsure, but of course there is priority in their respective regions here. Mm -hmm. For sure, for sure. Everybody's gonna have their little bit of a taste of what they like. Personally for me, I'm actually kind of liking Blacklist International's comp just a little bit more. What about you, Eterno? I have to agree with you here. Rest of the table? Onik. You know what? I'm gonna go with Onik. Yeah, me, I, sorry man. I just, tiebreaker, I, tiebreaker. I've given Link and Uranus to Onik. You know what? Now it's time. This is the start of a legacy for both teams. Blacklist International going up against Onik. This is the Grand Finals. MSC game number one. All right. All right. Let's see. Edward unbending well. Kyrie with a killing spree. Mid control, who has it, you think, Wolf? Oh, definitely gonna be the Faramis Franco, right? Because of the fact that Faramis can just clear it out easily. It's the Minotaur and the Novaria. Not much wave clear. With level 1 though, but if they do get level 2 on the Novaria, it's going to be okay. This rotation that you're seeing from Blacklist International ensures level 2 on Oh My Venus. So he picks up the roam uh, right now. 
So yep. this is a faster tempo for Blacklist International when it comes to getting into their ultimates. Yeah, I really feel like getting their, their power spike a little bit earlier is going to be very, very key because Kyrie in the early stages of the game, not going to be able to do much. So they just got to make sure to scale up just a little bit faster so that they can actually put tempo into the jungle, making sure that Kyrie gets someone locked down with minimum. Amount of, <laughs> amount of energy. That was pretty close. That was pretty close. And the thing is, when you're playing the 1-1, one -one, right, it's the most annoying thing in the world when your second skill gets popped too many times. Here in the lane as well, we can see this is why the Uranus pick works, right, Wolf? What do you think yeah. about this matchup? Um, I think it's a, it's a wash. You know? That's what you always say with Uranus. Unless there's an influence. Yep. You see? But right Not now, even needing the purify. Yeah. Yeah, but again, the Uranus just heals up very, very fast. For now, we can definitely see Blacklist International. They're trying to make sure that their laners are able to leave the lane very, very quickly because they want to make sure that they're able to contest the turtle. And again, yeah. having the Akai almost guarantees it. Almost. Mm -hmm. About 70%, I would say. Yeah. I'm interested to see how they will uh, approach this because the, there's a difference, right? They will, they will want level 4 there. Roamers. Yep. And that's the switch that they did. The fire is already at the bottom, the Vary already there. It's gonna be a full 5v5 into the first turtle of the game. Yep, and this one I gotta say, we gotta look at all of the stun capabilities as well. Because looking at Blacklist, not only do they have the Akai, but Edward on this Arlet can actually stun up Kyrie, making sure that he can't use the retribution on time. And now looks like he's going for boost, but up top CW gets a kill. Boots opening up the map gave them so much more prio to play on the other side of the map, and this is why Onyx yep. composition can work. They can split up the map open with the Franco. They Ooh. have a lot of kill pressure, but Wise is already trying to punish Kyrie early on by going the buffs. Wise stealing it away. Boots just putting some pressure once again, but it oh, should just out. be a trade. Wait a minute. Look at Wise, Kyrie. No retry on Wise. So Kyrie should be able to take it right now, but we can see the Minus Fury come down. Kyrie with the top of the blades. Escapes. Gets out. The crowd goes wild. Oh, I really love how Arnik approached this. Oh, Boots! Oh! Agent Dude. Zero. Right Agent now, zero. I gotta say, man, all of the 1v1s even our Observer's gonna catch it. A yeah. lot is going on in the map here right yep. now, Wolf. Edward utilized the crab so that he'll get extra Vengeance stacks. Very smart, that's Agent Zero for you. While oh. up top, they baited. Onyx, they show that they have some influence in the turtle. Then all of a sudden, after Keepa gets wow. level 4, rotates to the top quickly. Oh, GW. Wow. It was the nine minions, very well played there. They want to really, really shut Owl down. But Blacklist, they do not take uh, all these free objectives and say nothing. They yeah. go for the trade instantly. Right now, I gotta say, looking at the map right now, 1.5k gold lead for Onik. It looks like for some reason, both CW as well as Kyrie, they're kind of winning here, Wolf. Yeah, I, this is because of the influence of Onik Lopez. You know that Uranus taking Miracle as well as Gideon and the uh, Aether talking about it. Self-sufficient in the XP lane. No need to go there. Onik, they focus on top lane and Owl is just there to fend for himself. It's not gonna be enough. Well, Venus is getting poked by a lot. Harry might actually look to go for the all-in right now. He goes for the Finch points. Purple buff is up. He needs to prioritize that. But Venus doesn't have the regen. He's already very low. Yeah, but right now we gotta look at Blacklist. They're moving together. The only one that's not there is Owl. They're looking at the purple buff. Edward moving forward. Boots as well as Sans is trying to create space. Boots now with Consecration. That's gonna be the Cold Altar helping him out. He does not have the Purify, but that's gonna be the heavy spin by Wise in the back. Not gonna be used for much as Sans is able to pull them back. But it's Rage. On to Edward. That's the whole thing. And the Bloody Hunt locks him down. It's a kill for Onyx. Romer traded in for the Edward. Oh, Sans! Jumps forward, fires another! Kyrie with the top of the blades, this should not be another kill. Kai just buying Four some blades. time, but meanwhile, Owl. Here's the thing, man, we gotta look at Onik. They knew what yep. Blacklist was trying to set up. Yep. And how did they fight that back? I don't know how they did it, but Kyrie was able to get the purple. Then all of a sudden, Keyboy fights a good opening. Boots was soaking a lot from the resources of Blacklist International, was put low. But because of uh, the ultimate coming from Sans, he was able to bring all of his HP back. That was a lot of sustain on Onik's side. Here's the thing, man. I gotta say, in terms of the way they were fighting, it was absolutely beautiful. And now we gotta check the difference of gold here. And I gotta say, in in terms of the difference, the yep. biggest difference is between Kyrie as well as Wise. That's right. It's because Wise wanted to go for the steal of the purple, but Kyrie was able to get the uh, opener, get so many kills, 0-0 zero, zero and 3, I mean, and now they even uh, position themselves into the turtle. Okay, Owl is oh. in that bush now with a basic attack, Kyrie is going to be spotted out. That's a knockup only on the Sans as he pops in the Shadow Stampede, now locked down, that's Owl picking up the kill. Sans is down, but the passive will gain him an instant respawn as there is a fight down below. This time Boots having a better time putting down the stacks yep. on Edward. 
Yeah, right now I gotta say, man, Boots is making sure that Edward doesn't get to play the game. Yep. Wise here, starting to turtle. Oh, my Venus is there as well. Onik goes in. Do they want to take a steal here? Oh, bloody hunt by Keyboy. Lock and Wise up. The heavy spin is not gonna be used at all right now. Venus crumbles and falls as well. The Onyx. fact, the, the fact that Sense died with the heavy spin, you know, soaking the heavy spin before that turtle fight. You thought that Blacklist Interest would have the advantage, but no, it didn't. Because now, no heavy, heavy spin to counter a Keyboy. Keyboy locking down during the threat to threshold, and Oni gets the turtle easily. Okay, right now, look at the map situation. 3.8k gold lead. The map Ooh. looks very red. Owl for now looks like he's trying to get as much as he can. Kyrie now having the Berserker Fury. What does this spell for Blacklist International? Oh, snowball. It spells snowball. Onik, they don't even need to tell it. Now he's going to be a split push as well as Boots. Kyrie's going to just tear through all of the damage of Blacklist International. Right now, I got to say, man, even Keyboy Mirko, we don't see him going for a lot of hooks. He's just like, okay, I'm just going to wait. Someone comes in, I'm just going to lock you down. It's very hard at this point for Wise to go for any retry contest because Keyboy is just being an absolute menace. Also using the Shifi mode, and that probably gives Blacklist International a bit of a, you know, not a good flashback as yeah. uh, you know the four yeah. O's. Yeah, four O's. Yeah, but you know, this happened before against uh, against Blacklist International. So. Oh, oh my Venus! Fury Suns does pop in to call Alter Keyboy. Still locked down with a heavy spin right now. The crossbow tank is ready, but Keyboy is going to be first to down as Kyrie takes everything. Now it comes to play. He's back again. He might win this right now. CW walks forward. Kyrie with the fast hands. And CW with a double kill. Meanwhile, look at Boots. Look at Boots. He's wearing the boots. He's walking in the base. Dude, I got to say, what is this Uranus doing? He's not uh -huh. making the fight. Whoa, whoa, whoa. No, beautiful win of nature. Edward walks forward. Sans, he might fall this time around. Edward using the resets. Sans with the shadow stampede. Walking now, but the vengeance follows it through. Sans is trying his best to run away, but he will just recall. But look at the map controlled by Onyx still. Uh -huh. I, I, I gotta ask this wolf. Onyx, were they being too confident? Were they overextending there? Oh, well, I think it's part of their MO, but yeah, they, they surely did overextend in there. They didn't realize that the win of nature was the second item for Owl, and mm -hmm. I want to have to credit that to Owl. Very nice itemization from that guy, was able to outplay Tewe, and because of that, they were able to recover for a little bit. Yeah, right now we can definitely see Blacklist, after getting that kill up top, they're trying to set things up, because now that the Lord is here, both Onik as well as Blacklist, they're mm -hmm. moving together. They're trying to make sure that they have a very good situation for them to start the Lord. But for now, Boots is just zoning everyone yep. away. Sans, you can open the map. He knows there's two people there. Keyboy, are you going in for the hook? But the hook did not connect. This is what Boots needs to do. He just constantly is walking them down as Kyrie walks over to the Lord. Boots is dealing so much damage and Blacklist International don't even know it. Look at that, all the stacks popped in. Boots pops in, the Purify gets out. Now a lot of CC is placed onto him, but he is still alive. Heavy spin already used. This might just be Blacklist International forced to concede the Lord. Yeah, right now we can definitely see that Onyx is playing with Blacklist. They're trying to make sure that Boots, whatever you do, not just get vision. Try to tell us what's going on. Wise right now yep. does not have the ult, and Kyrie's at top. Right now, Onik, they're playing a very good macro play. No, they're, they're not letting Wise play as well. Uh, Edward needs to, needs to always be man to man versus uh, Boots, while, of course, Wise is always forced to use the ultimate. And now, CW stole the purple buff from Wise. Bloody hunt, that's the oh. queen falling without anything. Ah! What? What? The Lord away from Blacklist! That was the top of the blaze! CW with a double kill for him. Edward with the final splash, but he's not going to be able to distract for long as now he's giving the gun down. CW with a triple. Now flickering forward. Owl, oh, woo! Able to escape you and now with the Astral Sphere. But CW wants to take this turret down. Onyx wants to crack the base open. Oh my god, what was that play? Right now, here the crowd. They're loving Onyx. Yeah. They got the Lord, Kyrie, fast hands, amazing reaction speed. If Weiss has the drive-by, Kyrie has the fly-by, the Sky King <laughs> literally knew what he needed to do. The play was there, he split push so that Blacklist will feel confident, but he knew the timing all along. He knew that because of the first thing, he can get back to the Lord Peach and get that because he's level 14 compared to Weiss's 10. Right now, look at the map. Onik, they're not gonna try to force it out. They managed to get a mid inhibitor. Now, Blacklist, oh. they're trying to look for a situation. Wise goes in, is that Wise? On Keyboy, it's only on Keyboy, it's the Roamer. It's the worst possible target, maybe. 
No, Boots is the worst possible target because you can see him right now just recalling in the faces of Blacklist International. They're looking for some more, but honestly, at this point, it's only 10 minutes. They cannot take these base turrets down that fast. They need to bait out these passives. And that's going to be Naren Hook. Oh. Oh. The Queen is down again. Kyrie jumps out of the back. Wise, 1 HP, Kyrie! Oh. And CW finds a double. Dude, that was a big burst of damage, and now Camille going in, Edward! Bridge points have to bait it out, Edward falls, Agent Zero is down! And Onik in 11 minutes, they take game one! What an opener! Blacklist International going up against Onik. What a very, very fast game, and I gotta say, Kyrie, what Ooh. an amazing man on that link. By the way, that's the first win of Kyrie against V Wise. Wow. wow. Against V Wise in an international finals. The reason I said that this draft was better, and I think you guys have a similar opinion, is the fact that this is on a signature. I've seen this before. Yeah. M3, it's a banana split. How? Split. How can you not have seen a banana split? Yeah. Because I didn't even mention it in the broadcast. Yeah. I was like, wait, they want to go for pickoffs. They want to split up the map, but yep. it's yeah, it's classic Raja Yeba. Here's the thing. When you forget history, history has a way of repeating itself. Yeah. And now Onik, I gotta say, it's in their DNA. Even if they close the book, it's yeah. not a problem for them to open it back up and execute like it's nothing, man. The Uranus just works so well because uh -huh. you take away the attention of Edward. You have to, fo you are forced to put the Arlot to stay against the Uranus for quite a long time. And the farm, the macro was there for the side of Onyx. I gotta say, Gideon, did you expect that game to be that fast? No, I really wasn't. I thought Blacklist was going to be able to slow things down at some point of time. And I was like, okay, maybe they can have some high ground defense. They're only, what, 5k down. Next thing, I blinked. All of a sudden, it was 9. Yeah, really just kind of snowballed from there, right? And this is what I was... Th we were talking about this in-game, right? Literally. We were like, this man mm -hmm. was so disrespectful, recalling in the base. And he is your MVP Boots. He did so well being able to split the map, like you mentioned, and was able to just distract, honestly, the members of Blacklist. Yeah. Right now, Mirko, we got to see it, man. What are Boots used for? They're going to walk all over, over you. you. I mean, uh, That's a center. You're close enough, yeah. right? Yeah, close but the thing is, Uranus has no feet. That's a, that's a <laughs> 5 out of 10 at best, but you know who's 10 out of 10? Who's 10 out of 10? Definitely. The way that he played it, the way that the Coach Yeb as well as Coach, Coach Addy designed this draft and this strategy, went for the split push, and of course, they have the Link. So, Link and Uranus, there's only one way for that to work. It's a couple of ways for sure, but the best way is to split, and that's what they did. Yeah, and you know, there was some level of consistency from Boots. Yeah. Had he lost his lane any harder yeah. to Edward, I think this would have been a very different looking game overall. Yeah. It's great to see that they're able to do everything they were able to apply yeah. in this game with their comp, and more importantly, just keyboy things. Yeah. Dude, first of all, I gotta say, the thing about Captain Boots is, we don't see a lot on him. The no. cameraman, for some reason, it's like, eh, Boots is not doing anything. But I gotta say, when you don't see him, he's the most scariest. Yeah. He's like the member on the side that you don't really look at much, but he just says to you, yo, be careful. Yeah. Yo, be careful. I keep, I gave him, I keep talking about him all the time as nice guy Boots. Nice but guy. I feel at this point, Boots is literally doing all of the dirty work yeah. for uh -huh. Onik. Love it. I want to say, Onik, um, the moment that they saw that the Navaria will be the mid laner and you have the Minotaur, as well as the fact that it's like a, th they are reliant on one more. You're looking at the composition of Blacklist, yep. even if you design it in a way that they have all of the items up, the damage usually just going to come from Owl and maybe someone from UA, but UA is not an AoE damage. So the moment that they saw that, Onik just started, okay, let's go Uranus, let's split the map, let's not let them farm. Kyrie alone can dish out the damage as long as he snowballs, as long as he gets the fir first few minutes of the game with the Assassin Emblem killing spree, he's gonna be destroying Blacklist International. I gotta say, man, because here's the thing, Uranus just got buffed, and I gotta say, the fight between the EXP leaders, again, we, we have to talk about boots on this Uranus pick. I mean, like, you know, it's a meme for, for Gideon. He doesn't like this hero. It's kind of boring, but come on, get it. In <laughs> what you saw just now, mm -hmm. what did boots in the entire game did for the entire team. It's influence. It's how much he influences the entire map. The fact that Arla can't clear as quickly as Boots is able to stack up those Ionic edges yep. as quickly as he can just to clear it out and then Woo! start pushing into the enemy jungle gives 
on it, some great information yeah. for the decision makings, right? And then it's all up to Kyrie to just make it through those 50-50s. For example, the vertical jungle during that very first turtle. Yeah, it was all mostly set up by Boots as well, right? I mean, again, the fact that he only has 50% KP and he still <laughs> took the most damage in the game shows you just how yep. oppressive he is because in a lot of these situations, you see him. He doesn't really get a kill uh, participation on, but he baits out the heavy spin. He baits yep. out the final yep. slash. Exactly. The Lord in the bottom lane. That could have been Wise's way to come back in the game, but because he didn't have the heavy spin, because it was baited out by Mr. Boots. Yep. You could say that he's a masochist. Yes, he that's, likes pain. That's how you use the Uranus. That's how your mindset should be. So Uranus, I'm going to nerd out here a little bit. There are two important rotations that Onyx uh, Esports actually did against Black International that worked well. First is the, the first turtle of the game. Boots showed himself very deeply into the territory of Blacklist International. Then when Keyboy gets to level 4, did show himself, went to the bush, went up top, took down Owl. They kind of did that as well in the second lord, uh, the first lord of the game. It's all about like the macro movements, the map movements that's misdirection coming out from Onyx Esports. What are you in 2019 Onyx Esports? They dropped the Esports because it was just too heavy. This is the mm -hmm. next generation okay. of the Ninja Clan, the new Kages, as I would <laughs> <laughs> love to say, but in the meantime, hopefully here, we've got more discussions to be had. In the meantime, we're going to throw you over to both Robbie as well as Mara. Please take it away, our lovely host up on the main stage. The family that plays together stays together. We have an entire family here all the way from Singapore. We have Singapore. Ian, Mike, and Mommy Athena. How are you guys? Great, we're great. Very good. Who are you rooting for? Uh, Keyboy. Keyboy, Key oh, so you're rooting for Onik. Yeah, Onik. Okay, why do you think Onik will win? Because they have teamwork and strategy and they know how to play very well. They have teamwork strategy and they know how to play really well. Okay, Keyboy, you can do strategy and you can do it with your team. Alright, Mommy Athena, Daddy Mike, do you also play? Yes, we do. All of you, all three of you. Oh my gosh, wait, with the five of us, there could be a, a whole team. Okay, what's your role and favorite hero, Mommy Athena? Um, I usually play mage support, but if someone takes the slot, then I'll play a marksman. But I'm training to be a jungler as well. Wow, wow, a jungler. Wow. wow, you're such a cool mom. Favorite hero? Papi, papi, poo. <laughs> Bobby, Bobby, Poo, Angela, 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 right. Angela, support. Bobby, Bobby, Poo. How about how about you, Daddy Mike? Um, I'm always filling up whatever slot they have left. What's your oh. strongest hero? Uh, I think maybe Roma. 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 I prefer to be Roma. Less stressful. Open up the map, you know, and uh, and let them carry on with the kills. And favorite Roma, favorite roaming hero. I would have to say Minotaur, although I'm not supporting the blacklist. Whoa, <laughs> whoa. <laughs> <laughs> you just dissed them right there. How about you, Ian, your favorite Chill. hero? My favorite hero is Atlas. Atlas! Atlas. Okay, I want to know, actually. I, I, I haven't... Uh, I'm like epic legend right now. I keep on losing. What's your rank? My rank is Mythic. Mythic? mythic. Oh my gosh! Hey, what about you, Mara? I heard something about you. Yeah. What is your rank? I'm, I kept losing, so I went back to Epic. I don't want to do solo. I think I got to play with you. What about you, Mommy and Daddy? Um, Mythic Honor. Mythic! Honor. And you also Mythic. Oh, the Sam oh 3. So this is your bonding. And who wanted, who decided to come here? Was it Ian who begged you to come here? Uh, I think we went for the M2 and then we, we liked it when it was in Singapore. So we didn't we didn't get to see live, but we were in the cinema. So because it's COVID, so after that we decided let's let's no, let's let's get the first one on on the side itself. So you mean you've been a long time fan of MLBB since M1. Since M1, Sin Ian, how oh. old are you? Uh, 11. 11. Eleven. Eleven. And you've been playing since how old? Uh, eight. Eight. And wow. do you want to be an MLBB player one day? Yes. Which wow. team do you want to play for? Uh, Onyx. On on it. It. Oh, on it. <laughs> okay, so uh, your hero is Atlas. So can you do a pause or one lines of the Atlas? Uh, I can't really do it. Oh, uh, you can't yeah. really do it. Okay, so you've been flying from the other country is Singapore. So how long have you been here in Cambodia and how do you like about Cambodia? 
Uh, we're here since Friday. Uh, since think, Friday? Yes. Uh, everybody's very friendly, very nice, good food. Uh, we're, we're enjoying ourselves here. So you like the food too, right? Yeah. Wow. Có thà con mau đo là bất kỳ cam chưa bao nhiêu tăng bình ngày sọc. Hỏi có chỗ chất bình chư chôn dưỡng mình đang ở xa tại rùa ri rẹ tẹt. Hỏi xâm rạp phút vinh cư là ồ mình đang, cư chức ngành chức ngành mình đang. Ba. Okay, how do you feel about winning this first battle of the Onyx as you are a fan of them? Yeah, do you think it's go... Do, what do you think it's gonna be the result? Bro, walk over. You think it's gonna be a sweep? You think what? Do you think it's gonna be... And fans, what, what do you think? Prediction, prediction. I think Onyx has a very solid strategy on how they want to counter the Ube strategy of Blacklist. So, I... I believe, strongly believe that Onyx has broken the code. Sorry, Blacklist fans! <laughs> oh my god, I... I really think you're you're such a cool mom. Ian, like you were saying earlier that um, you can do hero impersonation, yeah? Yeah. Okay. What what can you do? Akai. 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 Okay, go ahead. Akai enters the scene. Oh, I love <laughs> it. Do you know any other hero impersonation? While you're thinking, I'll do one. Keep it up until you're as brilliant as me. Oh, <laughs> Layla. Layla, how about you, mom? Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, do it together, do it together. One, two, three, four, five. Look, Look at all these carrots. That's cute. I love that. I love it. You know what? There's a lot of Onyx fans here. How about we get them to cheer for Onyx, for your favorite team? So all you have to do is say go, and then everybody else will scream out Onyx. All right, everybody, you got that? All right, here we go. Ian, take the lead. Go. One more time. Go. One more time. Go. Oh my God! Wait, the players are right over there. Right over there. Whoa, Coach Yap just waved at you. What do you want to say to them? They could hear you right now. What's your message to them? And you can let them know that you want to play for them in the future. Good luck. Break the code. Oh, Good luck! Oh. Wow! Good Whoa. luck! Break the oh. code! Is there a specific player that you want to send a message to? Uh, I don't think he's a player, but I coach Yeb. Coach oh, Yeb! Coach here. What do you want to say to Coach Yeb? I, ho I hope that you can lead Onyx well. You, you hope you could lead? Oh, wait, but I think he's really leading well. Oh, so he's really... Coach Yeb is a great leader. Coach, he wants to be a player one day. 11 years old, mythic right now. Coach Yeb will take care of you, you see that? All right, everybody. This is such an amazing family. Great example for the MLBB community. They're playing well together and they're having fun together. So we're gonna go back to our casters and take us to see the world. That was so wholesome, right? Wow. I love that interview. And I like what the kid said. I like the guts on this kid. I like what he said. He said that perhaps, you know, Onik has broken the code of a blacklist. And that is a very interesting topic that we need to bring up, right? For the past few times that we went on the international scene, it's always been a clean sweep. Four zeros all around. In this scenario, do you really think that Onik can actually, you know, have has really broken the code yeah. and take this 4-0. You're not, you're not, you're not implying. I, mm. What did you guys do? What no, did you do? No, what did you do, Returna? 4-0. Four, four zero. Four you're zero. not implying. This is how the curse works, right? Yeah, this is how the curse four works. 4-0, 4-0. Yeah, yeah, yeah. uh, this, this is, it can't be, it can't be true. It can't be true. It's got to be error. seven games all the way. And yeah. I, I think it's understandable that, yes, this is going to be a strong game overall. Yeah. And I love that kid because he has a lot more personality than most pro players we've seen on I interviews. I agree. And hopefully he grows up to be something better because this game is going to be stuck in his mind and I hope that it's the full seven games rather than the sweep. Yeah. Rabbit didn't give us the scarves just to cast four games, you know? We need yeah. a full seven game series. And what did, what Blacklist needs to do to, to kind of accept that, to, to kind of reach that point is kind of match what is the growth there for Onyx uh, Esports when it, oh, on, or just Onyx, yeah, just when Onyx, it comes yeah. to their macro. So the way that they defeated mm -hmm. the banana split before is by having more wave clear. Hmm. over the Onyx, the Onyx squad. What um. they need to do maybe is to bring back the Farsa. AOE, wave clear. Not to a 1-1 one -one with only what? Very bad wave clear on the marksman. So that's what they need to do now. You know what? Here's the thing. In terms of curses, I kind of feel like none of us should talk. 
I, I want to ask Eternally, look, look, here's the thing. She, She's the lady of the table. Do you think it's going to be a 4-0? No, because look. that was a quick game. Look, look gentlemen, right? right okay, right. I said that I liked Blacklist draft better. Okay. And Blacklist lost in 11 <gasps> minutes. Wait, so so when we're talking curse. about curses, oh my God. I'm not really sure if it's you that you guys should be looking out for, but I know what we should be pushing our focus now as we are moments away of coming into the drafting phase of game number two between Onyx and Blacklist International. Here's the thing before the drafts, I just gotta say congratulations boys. Finally on the table here, we have proven that girls are not always right. <laughs> <laughs> clack, 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 clack. Wow. Clack. Girls can get it wrong too. Oh my god. Wow. I don't feel good about this one. Yeah, on yeah. camera. <laughs> that one's good. Girlfriend, listen. All right. I mean, right now we can see that Onyx and Blacklist have actually opted to swap sides. So Blacklist prefer being first pick. Now, do you think that this is going to influence the way things have gone? 100%. 100%. I think mostly it's also just Blacklist want to take that red side away. Yeah. You yeah. give Onyx red side, they will counter you. They will flex on you up until the very end. They have to be in control. Blacklist International. So that means that Onyx. If this is 1-1, one, one, okay, that's good. But that opens up still the Joy as well as the Novaria for Onyx. The Cambodian favorite, the Joy. Please. It's gonna be picked up. Oh, it's gonna be picked up. Yeah, there you go. Okay, oh, no, nothing too out of the ordinary here. Yep. But let's remember that everybody leaves Franco up for this one reason. You can yep. pick Joy, I get Franco, and yes. then I'm gonna add a plus one to it. The question is, Venus? do you want to pick it up now or later? I think not at all. No. Venus doesn't play Franco well, yeah. unless you want us to really like experiment here, but I don't think it's the time. The answer typically is the glue, right? Mm. Maybe they go glue for Aramis here, since it, this probably is one of the first times that Aramis will be open up for Blacklist International. Don't go the Navarre route yet. That might not be the answer too. So maybe just go for Glue Fire Monsieur for Blacklist International. If they don't go Novaria, Onyx gonna pick it up. Here's the thing, guys. I gotta say, I love Fire Miss. Don't ask what my relationship is with Fire Miss, but I like using it, right? But after being nerfed, I gotta say, the winner is not looking that great. So for now, just get good old reliable. Don't Psycho make it, Fred. Don't make it too complicated. Psycho Fred, Crazy Valentina. Combo by Gila Eve. Gila Eve. Right. Alyssa, perhaps for Onik, they utilize that against Frederick typically. Yeah, same pattern as the last time we saw yeah. Onik play against Echo, for an example, in these very similar situations. Yeah. Do you think we're going to be expecting a Claude coming in from Blacklist now that the Yiga yeah. has been Ooh. picked up? It's Actually, a, this going to be very interesting. Yeah, that's an, that's an owl hero, anyways. They really like that Claude a lot. And it's, it's decent versus the Joy. Maybe it's like a the because the joy is oh. the kind of a here that goes to the back lines. The Claude is the one who also kind of mirrors that too. I don't know actually. Mm -hmm. oh. I remember our discussion of that, right? Oh yeah, the joy. Yeah, the joy is disgusting against the Claude actually, yeah. right? He just pops Most up the Martin, vengeance. Yeah. That's right. Joy and then is that disgusting. damage gets reflected. Joy is pretty disgusting, man. When she gets into the land of dawn, it gets real, real dirty. Especially when it enters from the back. Anyways, though, we're gonna talk a bit what? about the final pick of yep. the first phase. Valentina. Fredrin, where do they want to go? Now it's a Franco again. They have Navaria. The but it's a lot of dive. Do they have enough cover appeal for this Navaria? Mm, I feel like they uh, they definitely got some kind of range with the Navaria, right? It opens up the map a little bit more, so maybe that at least Keyboy isn't going to feel as comfortable looking for hooks in his traditional spots and might have to just play with just the raw pressure of his presence. Yeah. Here's the thing. The thing that after playing with Navaria, I understand. The safest place to be in the land of dawn, Sniper it's outside ready. the land of dawn. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> no one can touch you That's when you're not in the game. So <laughs> I kind of feel like you don't need that much peel. Just just get out of there. You just got to be efficient because remember, these cooldowns have been punished before. Once yep. you use that, especially early game, it's so easy to punish the Novaria. Yeah, you're just kind of left out to dry almost. Mm -hmm. I think you go Hayabusa as the ban here for Black City Trash. Yeah. I don't want to give that to Mr. Kyrie. Wait, higher or Ling though? And the uh, Ling, that's also true. But Is the Leslie bad meaning they want to claw themselves? They're just they're just trying they to wanna... give Owl the yeah. claw. I feel like it's always just the bait when it's Onyx. They okay. opened up the Wan Wan, now it's the Leslie ban? That is very true with Yeb. You know, Yeb, Yeb is a. Yeb, Yeb, he likes to trap people into spot, right? That's you the pick. way he drafts. You okay. pick it. Yeah, you yeah. pick it. Yeah. It's like, <laughs> oh no, no. I banned yeah. the wrong heroes. <laughs> All right, we'll see, right? Because now with. They've actually chosen for the Ling this time around, right? Hayabusa is still left open here. So that yep. is still a possibility for Onik to pick up for Kyrie. We saw what we what he was able to do at M4. But now Onik, they're gonna start limiting the options for the EXP lane, the Lapu Lapu. 
super duper good ban here coming out from Onik because I think that they are eyeing for either carry or Melissa. Features. It could be yeah. Melissa too, too. Melissa, that's also if, there. The, see, see, now they they want Blacklist to pick the gold lane now. They banned out the Leslie, so they will pick up the Claude either way. Blacklist, if they pick up the Claude, then it's no Melissa. It's just going to yep. be a Beatrix. It's so intelligent. They move for Beatrix, so Melissa is up. It's ready. Yep. Up against the Lapu, banned out. Perfect time to bring it up. Yep. Looks like they're not going to take the bait. You think we're a new bait? No, we're a mythic bait. Glory or honor? Do they go on the okay. So they already have the choice, as they explained. I think that it could be flexed into the jungle as well, knowing uh, knowing Onik. But I do feel that Melissa is such a good hero now against Blacklist International's lineup. I, I personally think that this is great to see because usually when you are on the second pick, right, once you get that first pick after the second, uh, in the second phase itself, you're posing so many questions. And I think at least for Onik, it feels like they're not the ones responding here to Blacklist. It feels like Blacklist are the ones having to answer the questions. Right now we see the beam being picked up and... Oh, the mos the, the What? Wow. What? The Moscow being picked. CW wants to flex. He oh, wants to show man, that my, my arms, man, they can go fast. So what's the idea here? I mean, technically, what I'm looking at is Bane and Moscow. Both of them can penetrate through, right? Yep. Their base say or not for Bane is the first skill. For the Moscow, it's the passive. So maybe that's what they want to go for. They want a front to back against the front to back guards. But we have to talk about this first, right? Because when we're talking about gods, we're also talking about kings in a way, right? Sky mm -hmm. Kings, Kyrie himself, right? Onik is on a 26 win streak what? from MPL ID season what? 11 Jeez. until now because they were able to win that first game. And so now it's the opposite, the complete opposite. Will Blacklist be able to break their code instead? And I guess they're trying to by picking up this last pick to Rizla. How are you feeling about this, Gideon? I'm happy that Rizla is being shown, but against the Joy, it's not a very fun matchup, uh -huh. right? At the end of the day, you have to expand flickers to get into the back line, and Joy is like, yep, two buttons. Yep. <laughs> and with the Moscow being picked up here, the idea is that you want to still kind of deal with the, uh, the engage comp of the side of Blacklist International. Like, Melissa, for example, deals AoE damage because of the muddles, but also Moscow, you have that uh, you have that extra pass, uh, extra damage from the passive, and that means that whoever is going to be caught by, the, by Keyboy, it's going to have some collateral damage for sure. Here's the thing, man. We're talking about breaking the code. I want to see Blacklist breaking the curse. Let's make sure that for this game, we got to see can Blacklist equalize. And we got to see CW on this Moscow. Can he flex over Owl or Owl on this Beatrix? He's going to show I'm the silent killer of Blacklist International. We're going into game number two on it against Blacklist. Blacklist surely have a chance to destroy that win streak. 26 it was, but against the Franco, a hero that we've seen so many times, always prior ban. It's been literally their demise. Uh, and Kiba has been uh, so good at this hero. Well, I guess it's because of the fact that Onik really knows how to utilize its kit. Like, it's not only just about the burst, it's about influence. And the, the way that you're checking all of those bushes, make it so the Blacklist will have to hide all the time. They can't position themselves well. One thing that's good though, this is Novaria and Valentina, a Blacklist special. Yue is so good with this hero. A good ultimates to uh, get the takeaway from Onik, like the Eve ultimate and the Bane ultimate. Here's the thing, man. Looking at the lineup from Blacklist, okay, you were talking about Yui can take quite a lot of ultimates. I'm actually looking at the range difference here because Blacklist and Ani are actually, in terms of range, Blacklist is crazy. Can Joy really pressure Blacklist if they're just baiting everything Ooh. out? But CW again, showing him stuff. Yep. Like, E-Boy is there, but that was kind of a 1v1. Yeah. This Moscow is a gonna be a big thing to Blacklist International because we mentioned earlier as well, Lavelle, that in the gold lane, it really depends on skill. And it's about how much you understand the enemy hero. I don't know when I will face the uh, Moscow last, but it is gonna be very hard to understand the limits in this game alone. Yeah. Here's the thing, man. The Moscow from CW, I wanna see him how creative he can get because again, Moscow to carry very short range heroes. Mm -hmm. I wonder how he's gonna approach the fights because again, we're thinking Edward as well as Wise, they wanna engage. How is he gonna, gonna approach that? Just counter engage or let them do their thing and then just like, you know, I'm just gonna go to the back line. Yeah, just gonna be farming and then you start to split the map. And then you, when you do engage, you make sure that you are going onto the heroes that are on the front line. So to answer your question, Wise is not gonna have a good time because of this Moscow. So they have to be careful here for Blacklist International.
Well, let's see right now. Kyrie's on the bane down below. CW is going for the kill right now. It might be a solo kill down below. CW picks it up. But it's gonna be the Beatrix still alive here in the turtle side. Edward flickers forward with the penalty zone and Blacklist International, they strike first. Okay, here's the thing, a lot was going on. Good job, Marco, and actually catching both yeah. fights. CW 1v1 against Owl, winning that out. So, okay, yep. that's already amazing for him. But the thing is, Blacklist International, they were able to secure the turtle. Whoa, I gotta ask you, man, in this kind of situation, which one got out of that winning the trade? Definitely the gold laner. Yeah, Onik winning the gold lane, and then of course that is solo kill for Chewe. That's a lot of boost, like 700 gold ahead wow. with corrosion side. And what? Before three minutes. Okay, now again, looking at the situation, oh, I gotta ask you, Marco, my God. how does it feel starting the lane having this kind of lead? It's a, it's a great lane because in the gold lane, especially if you have someone like Keyboy just, uh, you know, hovering over this lane, CW is going to freeze it constantly. Owl has to use all of his skills to get a minion, has to swap between, um, you know, a lot of different mm -hmm. guns. And thinking about all that, it really puts on the pressure for you. All right, now I got to ask, whoa. Yeah. Blacklist, they gotta, they gotta start pressuring, man. This where, right. where is it? The XP, is it the gold? Is it the mid? Definitely the gold. I, I don't think that they should be allowing this to happen. Um, you can say XP lane, that's gonna be Edward. There's no way for them to take out the joy, so it's gold. But that's great. Wow, Keyboy flickers out. He Bruce Passion popped in as well, but that's CW with the Spear of Misery. Gets him out. Spear Ooh. Vengeance as well, all the way in the back just to get that way pushing in. Okay, yep. you know what? Good call on that, yep. making sure that they go for the goal lane. Yep. But again, Expertly played by Ani, making sure that no, no yep. one was really caught. Oh, but now signs. Flickers out, penalty zone brings it back for a bit, but the RWM, that's the anti CC. Sansa loves using it just to defend, and it also helps him clear the wave. Yeah, the idea that they. The idea always for the Beatrix, if you want to go for the Bennett's reach play, there has to be a, some sort of lockdown. Surely they Full have gold. Edward with the Teresla, but they don't have like a hard lockdown like a like a Franco, for example, or maybe a Kaja. That's why you saw Keyboy was able to just flicker out of there. Okay, no penalty zone for Edward. This might be big now. Then they catch coming down. Kyrie wins out the retribution battles. Wise walks back up with taunt. Keyboy gonna be taken low. Now he finds Iron Hook, but he only brings him back for the range of the Brazers. Rats have taken him down. He's up with the Inspire already. Boost now jumping to the back line with the rhythm. Does he get enough? The Vengeance! What? 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 That shouldn't have worked, but it did for Captain Boots. Ooh. Dude, I would have sworn he would have just yeah. died. That mm. wouldn't have looked as cool, but he actually got a kill. And now oh. you and Oh My Venus, are they going to go for it? Oh My Venus, you don't have a lot of mana. It looks like, no, yep. they're not going to push their luck here, Wolf. Yeah, expect the Valentina to go up against the Joy all the time. That's why the answer for Blacklist is first thing is Valentina because of the damage. But my Oh My Boots, just because of the vengeance, and I think that Edward kind of also autoed. I thinking that he will survive after that vengeance coming out from Boots. Might be a, a bad call coming out from Blacklist International. And of course, the cooldown from Boots was there and that Captain Boots, even after he died, he gave so much to Onyx. Onyx started out pretty well, having mm -hmm. a lead. But after that scuffle, now Blacklist has equalized it. For now, Boots as well as Edward, they're just kind of like, we're seeing each other, we're going to have this dance. But again, for now, Onyx, they're getting pressure. Wise goes in on to Keyboy. Yeah, but it's a good Spear of Misery to put him back. Blackness International now with a very good objective take up yep. top, putting more map pressure on. Yep. Now Blacklist International, they have woken up. The movie, mm -hmm. the movements that they are that you are looking at their composition, it's looking really good. And I think that's not, the answer is simple. To answer the Onyx strategy, you just have to have more wave clear. In the previous game, they only have what? The Varia 1-1, one, one, not enough wave clear for sure. This time, they have Valentina, they have the Beatrix, they can move around much faster because they have the superior wave clear. All right, now Owl just completed the Blade of Despair. I gotta ask Mirko, is this enough for a Blacklist to say, you know what, we can take a few fights? It's definitely a power spike, but as you can see, uh, even Blacklist knows it, it's not enough yet because he is still behind. And CW has also hit a power spike. Golden Staff for Moskov, massive item, second item, and he finished up the Corrosion side. Real World Inflation popped in very early, trying to chunk Kyrie down, and it does just wow. that. Kyrie and Onik will be shoved away from this neutral yeah. objective, and Blacklist takes it for free. I mean, here's the thing. I gotta say, in terms of the way Philippine teams have been playing, when they want to take objective, they don't care about using their skills. Speaking yep. of skills, Boots is looking at Oh My Venus and it's like, you know what, you're looking very yummy right now, but mm -hmm. Boots ain't gonna get that kill. 
Well, you see the way that they utilize the the Vario Ultimate extra hitbox. Even when you're outside of the copied reward manipulation, you still get stunned because technically there's a part of you uh -huh. that's still inside the box. That was that's actually a that's something that I haven't seen before in Blacklist International. Thank you for showing us that. From the Siege Dome, beautifully played by Blacklist International, utilizing the Beatrix. If the Moskov can win in 1v1s, Beatrix certainly wins in shoves and sieges, and Blacklist are playing to their strengths. Meanwhile, Kyrie up top, a misfear of misery. Now a penalty zone. Kyrie gonna be caught right now. Does he have the deadly catch? Has to taunt to lock him out. Wise doing the damage, deadly catch throw now. Wise dashing forward, but Onik with a good My disengage. Venus. Oh, almost a snipe down from Venus. All right, gentlemen, for now we can definitely see a slower game between Onik as well as Blacklist. Now, I gotta pose the question. Blacklist, they got a lot of rage. Onyx, how are they realistically going to engage? Because I'm mm -hmm. looking at Keyboy, I, yeah. and I kind of feel like his Iron Hook, yeah. the range ain't that far. Yeah, it ain't that far. To answer your question, yes, they have to rely on to Keyboy. Boots would have to be a supplement. Because of the presence of both Navaria as well as Valentina into the back lines, that's what he wanted to go for. He will not have a, a free reign over the back lines of Blacklist International. So you cannot do the actual like typical joy things in this comp against Blacklist International. So it has to be really a pickoff. That's on it. They have to rely on their pickoffs before they're able to win a team fight against Blacklist. Looking back at this, right, Blacklist, the way that this draft has, as we see it right now, it does seem like they don't care about the baits coming in from Coach Yeb because it really looks like they just want to poke out Onik. It's like, yeah, you guys want to start fights. We are very peaceful. We don't want to fight, but we will damage you from afar because right now, Blacklist are just avoiding. If you guys want to come close, come close. But we got to say, your HP is going to be very low before you even start anything. Keyboy, Kyrie, close to the Lord, and Edward is kind of zoning everyone away. I'm not sure if Onik can really go for this. They don't want to go for it, it seems. They're just going here, trying to buy some time. Boots now jumping in, but give the retribution. Boots finds a kill somehow in the midst of it all. It's a miss from Venus. Meanwhile, in the bottom lane, you can see the real world population as well here in the top side river. CW might actually use this Inspire, but he doesn't even need to. He finds wow. another turret, and it's still Onik with a different draft, but it's the banana split. Yeah, it's like, oh my you want to fight the Ube? Get another dessert. Banana yeah. split and, and looks like Blacklist are like, oh, wait, 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 wait. Can't you guys come together? Isn't this like Christmas for, I mean, me personally, but maybe for a lot of people out there? It's Blacklist versus Arne, Carly versus VYs, Ube versus the Banana Split. And I was there in its inception, the, the moment that it was, you know, battling against each other. Now we're seeing it. I am in it for a treat. And it's true. You wouldn't think that Onik would like to go for a split push because they don't have that x that kind of goes for it. But if you play that way, now, all of a sudden, you have an answer to the ultimate Monday experience. You know what? This is beautiful because we're going to look at team fight going up against map manipulation. The Lord is going to march in. Onik, they're going to be here to defend. And Blacklist, I'm thinking, do they want to siege? Because they just cleared this very, very fast. Yeah, if we said Vitrix, Navaria, Valentina has good clear, well, Onik have good clear too. Just the Yeve and... Ye oh. Okay. Kyrie wants to go for this deadly catch. Ooh, oh, might get solo here, but Keyboy finds an amazing pick on the back. And it's Venus who has the fall. Wise now looking for the taunt, not in range. Sans also just putting in that utility, that slow. You don't feel it much, but when you do, it just gets you out of range by a bit. Wait, oh. he, wait, wait was, was I tunnel visioning? All of a sudden, how did Keyboy get there? Yeah, it's a, it's just a flicker. And I think that honestly, only Venus sacrificed himself, uh, herself for that. Oh, so vengeance, that's vengeance, vengeance, Boots! First of the world, he takes everything on. Yue wants to chase him down right now with rhythm as well. Boots should fall here, but it's gonna be another turret. Tries to cancel out the recall with his Spear of Vengeance, but it's gonna be a tier two once oh, again. Wow, Onik! It's just the split at this point. And yeah, only Venus died there. It looked like it was um, some sort of a weird interaction, but in a way, Omae Venus kind of fended for Owl. But the fact of the matter remains, Onik, they have regained composure. They have the Bane. As well as the, they have to be for the middle. They have Chewe who's pushing onto the side dates, and they also have boots making it so that the diversion is there for the split. Zans, did too much more than he could chew. That was one of the moments where the recalls did not help. Nice with the drive by, dashing forward. Now the taunt though, that's a lot of damage placed onto Wise by CW. Keyboy barely missing a good dodge from Blacklist as they try their best now to push the pace. 
dude, I gotta say, he died before the, before the fight even starts. Now the minion is here and Blacklist. Now we're starting to see their composition coming online. Big damage yeah. is here, Wolf coming from afar. Yeah. You can see the Blacklist International are utilizing the counters to the Joy as well. Boots as well as Sans, they are really suffering from this Valentina. 2 0 and 3, 5 out of 5. UA was part of it. The first pick coming up from Blacklist, I think it's well worth it. This might be the trend. This might be the hero, the flavor of the series. Okay, right now, look at the positioning of Onyx as well as Blacklist moving towards the Lord. Boots is looking for a chance. Boots is going in with a rhythm as well. Owl, though, forced to back away right now. Goes for the damage. It's a good peel, and Owl picks up the kill. That refines. The Red Tree, though, wise loses out. CW going to be able to dump out, but the real world of play should him down in the penalty zone as well. Flicker committed by Edward. Owl had to use it earlier. Two, four, one. Two kills for an objective. Oh. With two kills, this means that Blacklist will be able to push. Yeah, surely they lost the Retribution, but my oh my, they will run through. T-Boy as well, falling as Blacklist International come back online. 700 gold leads, sieging, pushing the pace. Here's the thing, are we about to see a 1-1? One -one? Is this going to be the start of something good? Because the Lord is marching for Onyx. But I kind of feel Blacklist kind of doesn't care. I, I think the answer, you know, if you want, if there will be a 1-1 one -one for Blacklist International, what the win condition is, is Lord Fights. They have to win Lord Team Fights. And it doesn't mean that you get the Retribution onto the Lord. What it means team is that fights. around those Lord Team Fights, you have to win the trade. Like it's a 3-4-1, a 4-4-2. You have to lead by two heroes over the other so that you can push. I think that's the main win condition here for Blacklist International. Fraser's Wrath committed early. Boots already with the rhythm as well. Still saving the vengeance as the mid lane should be pushed in. Edward spotted out. Mid lane taken down. Tier 1. Blacklist International able to micromanage up top as well. Both still no gold lead technically. Right now, one at a time. Onik is dismantling the structures of Blacklist. Looking at the itemization for now, Ooh, I gotta point out, Owl actually has an Athena shield, yep. really respecting the damage yep. coming in from Sans as well as Boots. Yep, that's why when Boots went in for the back lines, he survived. And Boots would have would have thought that he that the one hit factor was already there, but was punished afterwards and just want to commend Yue once again that terrify that was able to hit onto Boots. Allowed them to really win the team fight afterwards. Okay. Whoa, you talked about Blacklist, their win condition. Onik in this kind of situation, 40 minutes going into 50 minutes, the Lord is, is just going to get stronger and yep. stronger. How is Onik supposed to play this banana split now? Yeah, you, you, make, you make sure that the long lane has been controlled. In this case, the long lane is the bottom lane because the Lord is up top. Make sure that Boots is always there, and he is. And now up top, you can wait for those minions to go down because you have the wave clear anyways. And it's actually more advantageous for you that there will be minions in there so that you control the map. You split it in a way that the long lane will be controlled by Boots, and then the turtle fight, you will go for heroes first before going on to the Lord. Okay, so at this point, based on my understanding, you got to make sure the long lane, which is the bottom lane, again, we're seeing it here, Boots is controlling it well. Mm -hmm. And then in the, in the fight with the Lord, it almost doesn't matter, as long as you just control the heroes. You can see the development of the slow push here for both side lanes. Uh, Boots chose to actually shove that wave because he's going to wait for it, I believe, and play it slow push it. Oh, right here. The top side river, Kyrie's gonna be slain as the immortality already made it out. Kai's down, but if it's rage, beautiful pickup by Blacklist International. Bottom wave not cleared up just yet by Onik. That's a jungler down, should be a free lord for Blacklist. CW clearing out this mid wave. Now with a good spot on the back. Owl's gonna be visible. Now it's gonna be Flicker and Bloody Hunt. Now it's CW with a lot of damage placed down. Edward's immortality will fall, boost in the back, do some damage, but it's not gonna be enough to take anyone down. Blacklist. Playing it well, but look at their HP bars. They're oh. all low. CW and Sans versus the world. They're pulling the Lord back. They want to stop it. it from happening. <gasps> Retribution gonna be there, but there's gonna be white pulled back. Not enough to steal the Lord. Still Blacklist secure it. That's Keyboy who falls, and Blacklist has played the team fight. Perfect. And you can see you with the rookie for Blacklist International kind of getting into the programming of Blacklist International so well. He knew and understood his assignment. Whenever you see Kairi, pop the ultimate, pop the Eve ultimate. And that happened twice. In this particular time, this is important because they have gone down Kairi. He had help afterwards, 
but the fact of the matter remains, he knew that when he sees Kyrie, even just a pixel of this Bane, you go on to that hero. Right now, it looks like UA is a man on a mission, and he doesn't stray away from the mission. 3.6k gold lead for Blacklist. Looking at the wave pleasure coming in from Onik, we've seen incredible ways, especially going up against Echo, where they can defend, but going up against Blacklist is, they got a lot of range. I'm not feeling too sure here. I'm not feeling too good. Oh my Venus. So far it looks like Blacklist, they don't want to engage heavily. They still want to play this as slow as they can. The wave clear is just perfect right now yeah. for Onik. The fact that another Enhanced Lord just spawned in and That's it's just right. cleared out like nothing. But for, oh, even the mid lane's not going to fall. Tier 2 still up. Boots, Divine Glaive this time. So respecting the Athena shield as well. But then again, Blacklist are still getting the map macro. Because now, they can go for pickups. Whoa, Boots! Absolutely get shredded down. Blacklist online, but wait, Wise steps up a bit too fast, a bit too far. CW with a shutdown. Real world manipulation pop down as well. Keyboy with a conceal. But Owl with a good spot, a good snipe. Oh, oh what? Oh. How? What? what? One more shot, CW is CW finds it. What? How did Keyboy find the hook? On Venus! I gotta say, man, Keyboy has not been hitting a lot of those hooks. But at that moment, he got it. He tried it on Edward. He didn't. But now we can hear the crowd reinvigorated. Wow. Onyx Wait. starting to find a very good spot in the map. That's super bad for Blacklist. Super bad. Super duper bad. They lost twice. They lost Venus. <gasps> oh my Another. word! Keyboy once again with a beautiful hook forcing a DPZ, a defensive penalty zone. Shout out, Leo. Ooh. Oh, DPZ, you don't want that. You don't want that. You, don't, you want the OPZ. What are the offensive penalty zone? But it's not working. Well, at least in that moment, Keyboy finding treasure, finding gold. When Omay Venus, I think that what happened was he was still into the wall. And then when he popped the Astro Sphere after the Astro Recall, he went down because that's the typical interaction. And the moment he went down, went towards the hook of Keyboy. Here's the thing, man. The thing about the Franco, you can miss, like, I don't know, the first 10 minutes of your I hooks. I agree. After that, the moment you get one, yep. something changes in the players of Franco. After that point, they're a Franco god. And now yep. we can see Keyboy starting to starting to feel that Franco god. Yep. It, it kind of feels like the moment that you find your rhythm, it kind of feels like your hook has a magnet. That's Rage, RWM, two big resources spent, and Kyrie is still alive. Keyboy. Wise, walk in in front. Keyboy trying to go for it. Real Roman plays it. You and what? Finds it. A beautiful pick for Blacklist. Now, though, they're going to go for it. A beautiful taunt from Wise. This might be an overcommitment from Onik, but it's going to be Wise taken down. Oh! oh! Keyboy finds it. Two to the back of the rhythm as well. The what? The you and the shutdown. Shut down. A double. They get a double for the captain. Onik, how did they find a way in? It was Keyboy all along, but then again, the fight already, I thought was already on the side what? of Onik. It was Yuwei to get the Lord for whatever reason. Oh. The flicker coming out from Suns with their RWM, that gave them the advantage, the territorial advantage. Weiss cannot get out of the box, and they have the lockdown afterwards. Then Keyboy lands a good hook, puts up to the back lines. Onik really played that so well. Wait, if they manage this well, they might actually end 10 seconds on Wise. How? One fight and turns it around. If anyways comes out, it's actually catch as well. Edward what? for the penalty zone. Onik! Cambodian magic is the only thing I can use the word to describe how they won. Did we just jinx ourselves? Did Man. we just apply the curse I was saying? It's Onik magic. It looked like a wow. look, it looked like it's gonna be a one-one. I spoke too soon, man. Just now, it's a two-zero. It's a game of boxes. The what? way that Onik designed their box, they waited for the right moment. Sans was waiting for a flicker, and when he went in, he caught everybody from the side of Blackness International, destroying their formation. Gonna have to hand it to Yue. He got the Lord. But apart from that, the formation is already favoring Onik. Then Keyboy lands a magnetic hook once again. It's Onik magic. Keyboy, what? I mean, we we mentioned it. He's been missing a lot. He's yeah. been, his hit rate probably is abysmal. But I guess he proves quantity over, or quality over quantity, right? You get the right hooks at the right time. You can swap and turn the game over. 
I can't believe we just found it on Owl. Here's the thing, man. You miss 100% of the shots you, <laughs> you don't, don't take. take. But if you take 100 shots, eventually, eventually something will hit. With that being said, don't shoot people. Oh, what do you guys thought about the game? Gideon, I have to be honest. I was nervous for a second. I thought that the Joy Pick 4 boots wasn't going to work out. I thought Franco for Keyboy wasn't going to work out. But in the very end, like we keep mentioning over the course of this group stage and the knockouts, is that it's not how you start, it's how you finish, right? Mm -hmm. And man, they finished the heck out of that game. Look, I'm just going to parrot the general in his famous words if uh, CW and as well as Boots do good this game is over in the one time the one time they kind of let Boots go let him have that space he took it so much further than what we expected I, don't, I gotta say man because the draft even you guys were like okay maybe these heroes don't work out but Coach Yep, something else, yep. man, because somehow he designed his macro to make it that, yeah, we don't care, we're just gonna make it work. Yep, the counter, the, the counter that Blacklist designed against Boots, against the Joy, is the Valentina. You have enough damage for that, it's a classic counter. But you need another one, which is the lockdown. You need some sort of stun. In that last fight that you saw, Boots had the free pass through the backlines because Yue was focused on taking the Lord, he was able to get, get it. And Chewe is the MVP. There were so many MVP esque performances from all of the members of Onik. What he did in the first few minutes though was phenomenal. Winning the 1v1 allowed them to have good early game. I agree with that, right? And even backstage I was talking to Gideon. I was like, what is this Moscow pick? I don't understand. But then we see it pan through. In the earlier stage, yes, he did win that 1v1. He focused more on the objectives as well. Just, you know, biting through those turrets. And we might yep. see this reflected here through the heat map. I mean, come on, man. Calvin Winata, we know that he likes to go for crazy picks. He brought out the Mia, got a Savage, and MPL Indo Season 10. Mm -hmm. He brought out a lot of crazy heroes. The Moscow he brought an M4 didn't work too well, but this time he has really refined yep. his craft because the way he was using the Moscow, as you can see, is all over the map. Literally everywhere, from five minutes all the way to 10 minutes, Onik was making sure that, at least with Calvin Winata, Mr. Cherry is able to have all the space required to make it happen. And more importantly, the fact that he's going for the nat natural trifecta build, he doesn't even need his boots at that point. He just auto attacks and he's able to dash again. And in these highlights, that's where you see those beautiful, beautiful moments. I gotta say though, Blacklist have, have this game. They have had this game. They, their marker was so good. In these games, they were able to punish Boots. They allowed for the recovery for Owl, who lost the lane, but also because of the fact that they were able to let him farm. Gonna be having a recovery and they're getting the pick. I was looking at Keyboy. Um, gonna be missing the first one. And watch out for Oh My Venus. Yeah. Astro Rico. He's face through, twice taken out. Okay. Watch out his pathing. He's gonna go through this wall. Oh Keyboy gets no out. Keyboy did. Oh they wanted to go for that. And whoo! The angle. The, the angle. angle. It's the angle. That was blind, right? That was blind. He wanted to make sure the entire oh. left side of that bush was just unsafe. How did Owl get hooked? Yep. Flickered we forward. can see. We can see how it happened. Is he gonna pop he a the ultimate? needle? Oh! Oh! No! Wow! No. He walked into it. Magnetic Come hook. On. That's what we're talking about. And I think you mentioned this as well. Yeah. Once you hit the first one, you're going to find the rhythm. And all of a sudden, it's not even you that's, that's hooking. It's like you're pointing at where your enemy will be at. The magnetic hook paradox. Oh. Man, it's just insane and incredible. Because I honestly thought, like you guys mentioned, it was a blacklist game to win. Realizing that I didn't even get any, a lot of lords in that team fight, right? But what I really wanted to add on to CW is the fact that he really did respect the damage Alpha coming from Blacklist, right? He respected the Valentina, he respected the Novaria as well. And so the addition of the Athena Shield, I believe, is one of... Uh, it was, it's very beneficial to somebody like Moskov, who is very short range. Yep. Mm -hmm. And then add into the addition to the Haas Claw to enable him to make those aggressive plays. Oh, put me down below 50% HP, I dare you, because then I'm just going to go faster and faster yeah. and start snowballing out of control, and almost feeling like the Echo Express to a degree. Oh, I'm really amazed at how the recovery there w was there for Onik, but you gotta have to give credit to Blacklist International. Mm -hmm. Now they have found comfort. I think that they will look at that game and say, okay, just we just brought, bought back what we are strong with. The Navaria and the Beatrix with the Valentina, it's very strong. They're gonna be playing that. It will be the theme of Blacklist International. They are just gonna change up with how they play this game. Maybe just play it uh, much better. Contest Chewe at a certain point, then maybe get a win afterwards. Yeah, and the 
common factor that we're seeing in game one and game two return is the fact that we were talking about this earlier, right? The Franco, they want to play that traditional front to front with a couple of exploits in terms of pickoffs. And Blacklist International, it's very, very clear that even in the hardest of moments, even though they were winning the earlier games, uh, the early game, it became so difficult as soon as that first hook landed. It's fascinating. Right? Because initially, it didn't work. Mm -hmm. Like, and not then, at all. Exactly, exactly. And Keyboy, despite not getting that MVP, needs to get a shout out right on that Franco. Because if he wasn't able to just make the battlefield a little bit more even for Onik, I'm pretty sure it would have ended a completely different way. Mm -hmm. uh, good thing that they also had the Bane just to have an escape button like, oh no, things are going bad. Deadly catch. Okay, guys, get out of here. Get out of here. Get out. Now, 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 now. We got to go. I got to say, after seeing those two games, how does the table feel? How, does this feel like a 4 0? Oh, does so. this feel like it's Onyx all the way? I, I mean, what do you guys feel? The thing is, looking at Onyx so far, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Correct me if I'm wrong, Miracle, but this isn't even 100% of what they have. Whoa. I, oh my no, God. And I'm talking about strategies, oh. right? Because they still have a variety of hero pool to work with. We don't see the same heroes over and over. And I think that's a little bit of a weakness for Blacklist. A weakness for Blacklist? Whoa. Okay, whoa, let's whoa, pull whoa, this whoa. back for a moment. I want the discussion. I want yes. the discussion. I'm not the Blacklist uh, pro. Connoisseur. Yeah, I'm not, yeah exactly. Connoisseur. I'm not the Blacklist connoisseur. So, Wolf. Yep. Wolf. Mm. You're the connoisseur. I you am, are the, am the, I the connoisseur. But yeah, uh, I think that, yeah, to, surely, I understand what uh, Aeterna is doing here. Like, uh, the Gothic, they have a deep hero pool for sure, hip, deep strategy pool. That's the complete opposite for Blacklist International. They have mastered mm -hmm. one strategy. They know the ins and outs, every single nook and cranny of this kind of composition. And uh, they, they will not be changing anything here, I would believe so. Maybe just a few ingredients here and there. But when it comes to the overall strategy, they're not going to be changing it. Maybe more wave clear, maybe you know, a little bit of balance when it comes to their killing potential. But overall, they will not be changing anything. And that doesn't mean that they will not be winning over uh, over Black over Onik because of that. Yeah. They will just have to you know be more careful with how they, they treat the team fight. Might I add that maybe instead of banning out the Kaja, that instead that they go for the Franco? Because the one thing that at least they can confirm with the Kaja, yes, they do have the suppression, but at least they have to flicker forward a battle spell. They can time it a little bit better compared to an Iron Hook, which comes off pretty much every eight seconds at that stage of the game. That's that's very different timings, and at least it's a little more predictable. Yeah. If you think about it, like aside from the heroics that Keyboy did or Boots did, like. You can argue that that was Blacklist game anyways, right? Fundamentally speaking, the draft, it didn't look like an ultra for anything. Like, it, the draft wasn't the reason why they won. It's just that they were just, uh, they were just, you know, Better? Kage mode. Yeah, back in <laughs> that Kage mode. Kage Better? mode, it really feels yeah. like Kage mode on it right now. If they yep. pull off another 4-0, that means they'll be undefeated since oh, season wow. 11 playoffs. Remember, oh. the 27 win streak Wait. now, it's building up. So yeah. it's like counting. 30 win streak? It could be 29 by the end if they go another for another two games here. But I did speak to Aldo, the coach at the time for Onik at M4. He says that for these games, for these series, it's never major adjustments that you should be looking at. It's micro adjustments. Now I think Yeb has taken that to a whole new level. Yeah. Not just micro adjustments in the draft, but micro adjustments in the way they play. These players are so good at improv are so good at yeah. adjusting. Because in that game, Bane, number one weakness. The real world manipulation always locking him. He is not a yeah. mobile hero. Always getting locked, always getting baited, always getting taken out. But he waited all the way. He kept on playing that range. Even while he was being caught, he just was missing a few defensive items. Once he got the Athena, the immortality, once he was enough, he had enough defensive items to soak all that in, he just stood there. He T-posed in front of Blacklist. He says, throw it, throw it all on me, because I got boots. I got Mr. Chewe, <laughs> Calvin Monada coming down. <laughs> I mean, that's a way to put it, right? I mean, I agree with you that the tank uh, the tank build variant definitely helped out a lot, especially when you're drawing that line in the sand. Mm -hmm. But I feel that at least for Blacklist International, even though it is their style to be, yes, I want to play a little bit more defensively. We're not going to look for too many flanks. It, I think it's time to enable Edward. I think it's time to make sure that Agent Zero is able to play the game and instead just allow him to play make rather than always just putting him on that leash. Uh, th there's that. There's that. Oh, I think that is a good tra strategy mm -hmm. that they can shift out towards because the way that they picked up what Arlet in game number one, then eventually this Teresa, it's very reactive. It was the last pick 
back-to-back -back games, they put Edward in a spot where you'll have to fix everything. It's like, he has to fix everything. <laughs> it has to be part of the equation. I do agree with you. And in this particular game, surely he's been very quiet. The focus was on to Yue. Yue was fantastic. I think if they have to secure Valentino through and through this series, then maybe yes. Give a hero for uh, Edward. Maybe snatch the joy away, you know? Okay, you know what? I'm gonna be asking our panel host, because oh. again, the privilege that they have, they just like, okay, we're just gonna look at the game, we're just, we're just gonna have fun. Now, Keaton, you yourself said, let Edward have a winning matchup. Mm -hmm. Is that the key to stopping this split push coming well, in from Onyx? I think it's one of them. I think both me and Interna can both agree that the fact that these teams are playing front to front, right? Pickoffs is going to be the only game changer for the side of Onyx. And I think if they want to do anything, they got to make sure that they blow the right resources from Onyx side. So maybe give away the Kaja, ban away the Franco. At least they have more obvious timings actually, to work around. Actually, no. A turn and it's to curse it. You gotta oh, no. go for Onyx. You gotta be like, you know what, Onyx? You're the best. This is a perfect trap. You got this. Okay, let's try. Let's try. Let's try it. Let's try it. Let's Give try your it. very best. All right. To the camera. No, 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 don't do it. Don't do it. Don't I do just want to try. Dude. It's a best of seven, Mirko, yeah, it's right? Best of seven. I mean, what are the, what are the odds? Of what, what's one game? What's yeah. one game? What's one game? Okay, Onyx, you guys are so good. You guys are the new Kage. You are giving a brand new name to the MLBB community. You are going to win this 4-0. Wow, even with the prediction oh. of the games as well, I felt that. I felt that go I down my that, spine yeah. a little bit. <laughs> yeah. I'm right. nervous. Dude, if, I'm nervous. If, if that happens, right, <laughs> perhaps we're going to see them fight. <laughs> potentially, potentially. But with that being said, it looks like we have something set Ooh. up a little special for you guys on the side. If I hear that correctly, Abstract is somewhere here around. What, what are you up to, Abstract? ROG is the official gaming phone partner of MSC 2023. The ROG Phone 7 itself is packaged with a detachable Aero Active Cooler 7 that provides you with a portable 2.1 sound system. And alongside that, it is also equipped with a 165Hz AMOLED display. With that, it will give you the maximum performance and you will be able to game like never before. And because of that, we have Leo as well as Repo battling it out against each other in the Land of Dawn. One versus one. What do we have here? It seems as though we've got Leo that will be playing onto the Bane, while Repo is all the way onto the Cho. So a lot of intense uh, recall action going on right now. It's definitely going to be a tough game for Leo. As we all know, Repo is a menace. He's a tough guy to beat. So. How that's gonna go, both of them doesn't seem to be, you know, really poking each other out. But Repo is already a level 2, he doesn't really have to weigh out the dragon just yet, but he's doing a lot of poking. The traits coming in from Repo doesn't seem to be doing very well, as Leo, he's got sustainability, while the Cho doesn't. The trade game is not doing good. Both of them just wants to focus on the lanes. Perhaps once it reaches level 4, things will start to do, look a little bit better. Ripple is actually getting outplayed by Leo! Ladies and gentlemen, what is going on here? Ripple, what are you doing? Come on, it's Leo! It's Leo! Come on! <laughs> he doesn't have a lot of HP to work with. As such, things are starting to look pretty bad. But we won't be able to see more of this fight as we are gonna come to a halt for both of them. Leo, you're doing well. You're doing well. Ripo got lucky. I was gonna kill him. <laughs> <laughs> we need to make sure that Ripo don't die first because it won't look too good for him. In fact, it will look too good for you. Now, I do want to, I do want to mention, you know, you are on the Blacklist International outfit. He's got the fit, guys. Blacklist International, what do you feel about his fit? Now, Leo, what do you, are you still playing? Yeah, what? no, it's the ROG phone buff. I'm, I, I'm able to play with one hand. This is what we are talking about now. Do you have anything that you want to say to the Blacklist International players? Just hang on. If, if I know any team to do a download game, it's Blacklist. They're just, they're just taking in Onyx traits. They know what Onyx is up to now. Maybe, maybe right now this 
is a foresight of what is about to happen. Leo in the blacklist outfit beating Repo. This could mean something. What do you have got to say about this, Repo? What do you have got to say being, well, partially beaten in lane by Leo? Mm, he just got lucky, man. He just got lucky. Maybe, you know, maybe right now, this is what they have been looking for. They want to get lucky. Blacklist International, maybe they want to get lucky. You're definitely going to be supporting Onik. What do you have got to say to our Onik boys? Um, for Arnie, maybe... What's the date today? Today is... The 18th. 18th. What time? What time is currently... It's Onik time! time! <laughs> That's good! And with that all said and done, we are going to be tossing over to our casters to see how this game is about to unfold. Over to you guys! Thank you so much, Abstract. Leo, as well as a Repo, they are saying that that's a foreshadowing of what's to come? Mm, it could be, it could not be. It's a little tough to tell, especially when you put the ROG in place. Things <laughs> get a little uh, strange. <laughs> Here's the thing, man. Leo's from the Philippines. Uh -huh. Is this just because Philippines is better? Yeah, yeah I, mean, we'll, I mean, he's we'll a see. caster and he almost won a 1v1 against Repo. That's true, a though. pro player. And SEA Games player, silver medal. Silver <laughs> Oh. <laughs> oh, that hurts in the house. <laughs> no, no, you know what, you know what, you know what? <laughs> Repo just wants to be a comedian. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's more okay. fun here that way. Isn't that right? Sure, I mean, like, he's got to give him a chance, right? Comedic value. Comedic right, value. okay, wow. okay, okay. But wow. coming back into this matchup, right? We are two games in. Onik has been able to 2-0 so far, mm -hmm. but it was interesting the statement that was claimed by Leo, right? He said that it's in Blacklist's best interest to just sniff out the competition first, check out the strategies, and so they are able to one-up them in this third game. That's why I think this third game is actually a breaking yes. point for Onik. If they're able to get, if they able to get this, get their 30 win streak at this point, they're going to get that bonus star and bring it to a full sweep. But I think Blacklist, they've downloaded what it looks like on both blue and as well as red and have a rough idea of where they're probably going to lead this particular composition. Yep. Personally for me, I think they're bouncing back over the first pick. Yeah. And especially, this is because of the fact that you saw game number two. Imagine, imagine if Owl wasn't hooked by Keyboy, oh. and they got the Lord. They were just, just engaging. Let's say Wise is taken out, but the entire team, the four other members are still there. It's a totally different story. I think it was just a, an execution issue for Blacklist. So, just like what Ripple said, they just got lucky. Mm. Well. Maybe luck is what breaks the code here as we draft for the very third game. We have Onik on first pick with Blacklist on second. Immediately we're seeing a couple of bands. Diggy, Estes, Valentina, Blacklist take Kadita as well as Kaja away. All right, so they don't opt for first pick this time around. Mm -hmm. Still, they claim the second pick. And this is interesting. I want to know if things are going to change like you mentioned, but looking at the Kaja band out, well. They're huh. gonna give up the Franco. I think you ban one one here. I mean, I kind of just want to ban the Franco, man. Because again, if luck is mm -hmm. the factor here, then you know what? Don't take any chances. Oh, yeah, oh. they hurt. Leo said they will adjust. Oh. Yep, they are definitely adjusting. I, like, I was agreeing with. I was gonna agree with LaFell that maybe they should get rid of the Franco at this point because it felt like half the time it was the X factor that made the difference. The reason why they ban out the Franco is that it says because. The Valentina has been banned out by Onik, right? They know that eventually the the Joy will be the priority for Onik, but that means that Joy as well as 1-1 one -one is going to be the priority for Onik. If Onik picks up the 1-1, one -one, this is Blacklist being comfortable with the Joy. So that will be the answer. They want to get the Joy's second pick, that's why they banned out the Franco this time. But you did mention that the last time you, they needed that extra bit of damage to get through that Joy. The Valentina is already gone, so they're probably looking for a substitute later on. Wan Wan gets locked in. Eterna, thoughts? It's risky. risky. It's, I think, I always think that a Wan Wan first pick is risky, but... Yeah. And I say this because there are a lot of counters towards it, right? Uh, Fovius, Diggy, okay, Diggy's banned out. Even the Purify, a battle spell, can be the counter towards the one one. But we've seen these teams make it work. And in the hands of CW, 
like Miracle has mentioned before, it is a force to be reckoned with. So the question now is, what are Blacklist going to go for? Are they going to go for the Joy yep. Novaria See route here? Me. Okay, Fredrin. Fredrin first. Fredrin's always been their prior pick yep. early on that has gotten them so ahead in the early game. And even in game number two, we saw the Fredrin really dictate the matchup because of the jungle clear of the CC. Now add the Joy into it, and it's a, it's a very very threatening combo. It was a very quick shot, but I got to see Edward's face. He was cracking his knuckles after getting Ooh. the joy. You know Edward, yep. you know the drafts the tying up. in. Yep. How, how does this feel for Blacklist? They are going to be activating him. Um, man, <laughs> I was wow. definitely going to say the Faramis as well as the Joy yes. for the side of Blacklist. Faramis should have been a Blacklist, what, first pick perhaps? But that means that it opens up a lot for Onik. The idea here is you take away the Faramis so that it will not be used against your 1 1. Onik really designed this so well. And uh, I think that Blacklist International will now be focusing on maybe getting uh, the, the Marksman now to match up against the 1-1. One -one. Wait, sorry, I have a follow-up question towards this Fredrin, right? Is this only played by Wise? So far, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So, so far, no flex? No. Not gonna be a flex. Mm. I don't think they want the to be able to put star. like a sandbag yeah. on Edward as of right mm -hmm. now. We need a playmaker, right? It has to be effective. It needs to be able to start really threatening CW because for the past two games, he's gotten way too much without getting punished. Right now, honestly, I have questions as well because the Fredrin has been picked up it's good to pick up the Akai to fight against the Fredrin so that you have, in my personal opinion, in terms of the, the, the retribution battles, the Akai would win. And the thing is, the Digi has been banned out. So for the first three picks here, Onik, I don't know, man, I kind of feel like they're having a the better draft. And also against the Joy. Remember, the Akai is going to be very good up against the Joy with the heavy spin. The Joy, if, if Edward decides to just jump in a bit too aggressive, he can actually just be brought back to the team so easily, given over to Fairmus to no, one one to burst. Give but now, you can already see what Blacklist is doing. Even Onik, they're still going for the Leslie ban here. They know, and I, I especially know this, because I got destroyed and lane by baby cakes on a Leslie on one one once. <laughs> wow. Yeah, I met yep. them. And Diablo, this guy, he picked Fovia, so he's a nerd, but you know, he's cool, he's cool. <laughs> Yeah. Are, we, are we even considering the possibilities of other potential counter picks against this one wall or is that not even what we're looking at? It's we're, we're straight away, bigger picture, we're forgetting about the laning as Blacklist. Yeah, you, can't, you can't forget about the one wall You need to deal with it. I think you want to go for damage. I think Farsa is a good hero. It might be banned out by Onik actually. So you go Farsa, Novaria or Eve, Novaria. The thing with Farsa is that it chunks down the shields from the Faramis and also makes it threatening for the one one to position badly and then you go for something like a uh, something like a, a damage dealing uh, marksman as well like What's unfortunately Leslie has been banned but maybe something where along the lines of a Beatrix or a Brody wow wait I'm sorry Fanny so they think the Akai can be flexed that's what I wanted to say wow. that's what I wanted to say wow. that's why I asked can Fredwin be flexed because the yep. first three picks if it can't be flexed then it's very clear where all these heroes are going whereas for the side of Onik it's a little bit more gray area. Sure, the Wan one is definitely going to the gold lane, but the Faramis and this Akai is a yeah. little bit 50-50. Faramis definitely not the style of Keyboy, but it still can be flexed into perhaps maybe the EXP lane, right? Yeah. So we're not really sure which direction it's going. It seems like Blacklist are picking up on that. And Onik now, they are going to go for the Melissa takeaway. Mm. We'll be forcing the Claude perhaps, which loses against the one one the best hero that can get Beatrix and they will take it. But this means that Oni can just go something like even Natalia as well as somewhere the lines of, uh, of Amasha in this particular game. You know, I, that's a really good matchup actually. That If they want to go for it up against the Beatrix and even the Navaria, then Natalia is going to give them a lot of problems. But I can't help but feel, you know, this Akai can be flexed into the robe and it's going to be Kyrie on his signature high. Uh, two very easy backline targets to go for here. Yep. It's going to be the Yuzong locked in as well. So it is just between the Roamer and the Jungler. If if they want to go for something different, it should be the Cho. Beatrix, you yep. cannot bring Purify on this Beatrix. So with the Cho, you do have a lot to say. Up against the Joy as well, it is going to be a very good pick because you can lock them down. Mm -hmm. oh, there you go. You called it. You called it. Well done, and Miracle. Through and through, their backline access, the team fights are great. They're able to kind of disengage from yeah. difficult spots. It, it's a it's a play on the previous composition that we saw in game number two from Onyx yeah. so far. What and it also gives them an answer to all these strategies, perhaps from Blacklist right now, right? The, the Beatrix, the Novaria, the Joy, like you mentioned. But this last surprise pick is going to be very important. It's just Farsa or Eve, I think, for Blacklist. 
They need that. But uh, what I really like about this Yuzhong is that even when it's Eve or Farsa, it looks bad on Blacklist International. But at the same time, they're left with no choice. They need some sort of nuke damage. Yep. And if I had to choose between Farsa and Eve, I would also go for Eve yeah. as well. Anti CC just to be able to protect you for a couple more seconds. Maybe try to make that impact before you go down. I think this is a hard game, but yes, they have downloaded habits, and I'm hoping that we see them exploit it. I'm thinking maybe it's going down towards that gold lane. It is a 1-1, one -one and it is punishable after level 4, so let's see whether that's going to be the case. Okay, now, honestly, looking at all the players, the coaches are moving away, and I gotta say, I got mixed feelings here looking at the faces. Some are looking worried. Some are looking hopeful. Now, here's the thing. Hidden has said it himself. For game number three, it's going to be very, very important for both teams. Blacklist, if they want hope, they got to make sure they win this one. But on the side of Onik, man, if they win this third game, it's almost game over. I kind of feel like they're putting their foot on the throats of Blacklist. With that being said, we're going into game number three of the Grand Finals in MSC. Onik against Blacklist International. It's funny to see because I actually got to, you know, watch and cast, analyze MPLPH Grand Final Season 11 and I was doing that with Midnight. So shout out to Midnight. He told me that the M440 really hurt Blacklist and after another 4-0 and now possibly another, you can't help but think that it is on the back of Blacklist's minds. And right now, looking at the rotations, Wolf, anything that we got to pay attention to yep. or it's all normal? It's going to be, well, I guess uh, the, the only difference is that there will be no kind, no uh, invasion from both teams because this is Freden and Akai, right? They are pretty much self-sufficient. It is weird, though, because we know that as a Cho, you want to invade in the early stages. And right now, Sans is doing quite well. Everyone here is basically just poking each other out, but I got to say, man, Keyboy is looking very active. He's trying to get his rhythm. He's looking and he's trying to mirror wherever Wise is going. It's like, yeah, Wise, you know what? You're a Frederick, cool and all. You can walk anywhere you want. I'm just going to make sure that I always have vision on you. Yeah. I can expect that Blacklist will put focus onto Boots. I think this is the right idea. Maybe force a Petrify. That's what they're doing. Oh, I don't think it's going to be good here. That's going to be a dive from Edward. Boots didn't pop in the Petrify, but Edward's already very low. No, clearing out the way. Meanwhile, top side. I will be brought back to the team right now. I will flickering out, but Keyboy jumps in again. One more weakness point is all he needs. No inspired. This could be a mistake from the side of Onik right now as they gun him down. U.S. walking up. He has the flicker, but Keyboy's trying to zone him away. Sans walks in as well. Venus! Venus gets caught! What is me first blood over to Onik? Dude! Okay, a, a lot happened there. Sans always looked like he was forcing it, but oh my Venus, what was that positioning? Well, it was because he wanted to take out CW, and I think he can. But Sans was heroic, flickered in, in front of oh my Venus. Uh oh, Kai, Kai, I don't think this is going to be a good oh, strat for bad. you. Owl comes him down, he tried to go for an invade, but it's a very well-placed position for Owl to counter that. Blacklist winning. Yep, yep. Looking at the situation as well, Blacklist was able to secure the turtle. Why is your... Seeing Keyboy, CW, looks like he is gonna get slowed down, so Blacklist, I don't know. Oh! Venus! That's oh. how he redeems himself, that's how you do it. All of the effort that Onik did up top lane, they went in three against Owl. They weren't able to kill Owl, surely they punished only Venus, but the fact remains. Owl was, was there to contribute for the kill on to Kyrie, then oh my Venus shuts Ooh. down CW. The focus of Blacklist onto the top lane, well rewarded. Okay, you know what, Keyboy, good job on you. That is worth a TikTok clip. <laughs> now, I, I gotta ask, Mirko, CW on this 1-1, he's getting pressured. Does he really care? Uh, not really, you know, in every 1-1 lane right now, wait a minute, Sans Force used to call all tournament lane, that RWM doing a lot of damage. Also, Venus, the mobility field, almost taking him down. Yue has the flicker. <gasps> There you oh, go, you yeah! With a flicker forward to find that kill. Meanwhile, Kai gonna bring it back. No real world manipulation. Just a few more basic attacks, oh. and it is gonna be a solo kill. Kai recovers for his team. Oh. I, think, I think that carry really. Like, he does. <gasps> Keyboy. Yes, Keyboy. Keyboy and Keyboy. This is what you get. Now it's gonna be CW flying across the skies, just like Onik. A good side step from both these members. Venus spotted Keyboy out. Wise is gonna be trying to sandwich them down. Knows that it is all up to CW. Keyboy just playing around it. CW's trying to body block and he will do it. Venus does not know the positioning of Keyboy. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, you know what? Right now, in the first four minutes here, we're seeing way more yeah. action than almost the entirety of the second game oh. just now, because a lot of fights are going everywhere. Yep. I gotta ask, Wolf, you're the blacklist connoisseur. Mm -hmm. Is this where they're trying to switch it up, trying yes. to increase the tempo? Yes, surely. They they have to understand that the way that they are, that the way Onyx is playing is fast tempo as well. They have to match it. Well, Kyrie is going for it either way with a heavy spin now, bringing it back. Why zone away from the turtle? He wants to get it now, and it should be free. Kai gets it with the dragon. Blocking Wise down, boots! In the back with the black dragon for himself. Wise now 3v1. The king of the jungle will fall, but he goes for a lot more what? damage first. The cult ults are forced. The king of the jungle doesn't go without a fight. He bait some time for Owl to take some good gold and down below. Onyx snatching that turtle away from Blacklist International was so massive. Yue already put up the ultimate. Well placed, well timed. Blacklist International had the control of the turtle, but it was Kairi who secured the turtle. Then afterwards, Weiss felt so anxious for a kill, and that's why he was punished. All of a sudden, in a flip of a switch, Onyx with a 1.5k gold did. I almost want to say that's not Wise's fault, man. Because no, it's looking not. At, looking at how Onyx plays, and again, Keyboy, because, okay, look at what happened. Kyrie pushed the Frederick away. You're not getting anywhere near the turtle. Keyboy's like, I'm going to kick you away and then see what else you got. And to talk about the matchup again, we didn't really get to talk about it. CW on the 1-1. Well, 1-1 one, one in general, against any bullies or anyone who can actually escape from you, you just need to farm. Farm up, wait for the Corrosion Scythe. Once you get the DHS, now that's when you actually look to fight. And right now he's on course to get a very early DHS. Okay, Demon on the Sword is the power spike yes. we're looking at here for CW. Kyrie now, as well as Keyboy, there's two ways for Onyx to start the fight. Blacklist, they gotta be careful because Wise, even though you're the king of the jungle, there's not much that you can do 1v3, 1v4, sometimes even maybe 1v5. Yeah, definitely. For Onyx, they have good team fight. For sure, good engage, I mean. But the Akai as well as the Yuzhong. We haven't even seen like Boots participate in a massive team fight just yet. And now it means that oh, this game is over with word! As a vengeance popped in early though, now the crossbow attack, CW in the back, now with the Spire! Finds that quick white Vegas! What CW? He finds an apple under the turret! Now Boots dives into the back, with oh a bunch of fire as well! Son forced in, Boots able to escape from the turret right now! No way, Kyrie what? saves him from it, Boots 1 HP, you is on the way! How did Onyx just pull that off? Dude, oh, you know what, you know what, you know what? If we deserve an instant replay, that yeah. deserves an instant replay. I gotta say, hats off to Keyboy. Keyboy. He waited for it. He went in and he got his target. And the flicker tra animation transfer as well. It all started with that snag onto Edward. Keyboy with that flicker and he wins. He goes in for the kick. Then CW making sure that he was able to pop the ultimate. Fortunately, Ooh. though, for Blacklist, Weiss was there to knock out CW and they do have the damage, but Boots to pick up the snag. And Keyboy once again sacrificing his yes. body. So that Boots will complete the kill and then carry defended. Onyx is just on a different chemistry level. Dude, it's point. I gotta say, this is why his KDA looks like that, but I kinda don't care. Oh. Sacrifice yourself for the betterment of your team. Blacklist now, what are you gonna do? That was beautiful mechanics, by the way. Right as you say that, Edward using the second skill, Unstoppable, to yep. get out of the way the dragon. Exactly. You see more from Edward to make those kind of yep. plays for Blacklist to come back. Edward. Taking full utility of a joy. That's good to see, for sure. Wait a minute, Wise. Sit off position. Kyrie finds it. Oh, Wise pinned down. Real world inflation on the back, but it's the Black Dragon form as well. CW now with the crossbow attack. Petri again. Yue forced to flicker out. Edward jumping back inside. Now CW is going to be caught with the way oh! the Dragon! Woo! From Keyboy saves. CW and even gets a kill back. Keyboy gets it. Meanwhile, Owl up top trying to split up the map. Okay, you know what? Mirko, I don't let you use this. If it's not keyboard, it's key what? Man. That was key, man. I'm gonna I'm gonna give you that one. Keyboy in this game, whoa, yeah. is amazing. Keyman is, uh, sorry, a 2 out of 10, but he was definitely key for the side of Onyx to win that, that was team one fight. Out of 10. When Kairi went in for the ultimate, he was able to isolate Weiss. It was already looking good for Blacklist because Yue was able to pop the ultimate. Boots, however, was the difference maker. Going on to Yue, making sure that the friend was there, and then they get a kill. Then the way of the dragon, for some reason, was still saved to save Chewit. Okay, Edward again with the second skill, but they're just gonna go on to the turret. Edward trying to defend, but it is a, an easy siege for Onyx down below, pushing the goal lead even further. Wait, let's just count it. Sanshure used his flicker, but the thing is, 
you force a lot of ults from Blacklist. Why sure now has this retribution, but we can see, man, what is the reaction speed of Sans? Yeah. That was insane. And now, looking at the Observer, he's trying to figure out. The Lord has been started by Kyrie. Blacklist, you got to contest. The question is, how? Because Kyrie on this Akai has been on point so far. Very difficult now for Blacklist International. They still have good engage. They still have the Fairgreen and as well as the Eve. For them to, again, win the team fight, you have to rely on winning, uh, winning the territorial battle. Fortunately for Wise, he's level 11, but Kyrie will be level 12 soon. It'd be better for Wise to wait for his levels to go up before they fight. Okay, right now, Kyrie being a little bit low. Wise. Backline. Keyboy. Keyboy! With a play away of the dragon, a mystical one. Now zoning wise away, Edward jumping to the back, but the call alter saves him now. Boots finds a better fly, and the flicker now wasted by Uip. Wise in the midst, still just buying a time. Boots gonna fall to Uzi, praise his wrath, and a real world inflation. Edward jumps back in, CW still alive. It's one for one, gold for XP. Okay, we gotta say that was an amazing play coming in from Keyboy, but it looks like Blacklist, yep. they're not losing too much. They're going for Keyboy, they're looking very angry. Keyboy kicks Edward away. No. They just survived. I think the fact that the Fed, the, the, the ultimate coming up from Yuba is on point once again for Blacklist. That's how they defended. And big props to Y, still made, regaining composure. They would have lost that fight without Owl, but everybody from Blacklist just fought against Onik. And Kai now is going to get the brunt what of a the massive damage. Bolt. Kyrie, one HP, still jumped what? in. He wanted to go for a desperate Man. play. It did not pay off. And Blacklist, calm, stone cold, and calculated, oh. takes the Lord for okay. free. This time, it looks like Blacklist, you know what? Dude. We're not gonna play your game. You're gonna play our game. Exactly. Use whatever you want, we're gonna fight back. Exactly, and what is Blacklist's game? It's the Lord Dance. They were the ones who invented that kind of gameplay where you poke an Edward. After knowing that there will be no uh, called altar, there will be no way of the dragon, he saw the opportunity. Nobody is gonna lock him down. You went in for Kyrie. Didn't matter that Kyrie is attacked. Carry only had Radiant Armor as well as Antique Grass, but not his teammates, and he was pummeled. Great pokes oh, on Blacklist. Look at Keyboy. Keyboy might be getting caught. They're hunting Keyboy down. Now with the dash. Shampoo, real world manipulation also committed. Keyboy still able to survive. Edward! No Watching way. Keyboy. No Dragon way, Keyboy. Vengeance Keyboy. popped in by Edward. No Keyboy. Way, Keyboy! Buys the time. Now they get to clear the Lord for free. Shouldn't post to what? dodge, then kick to get out. Keyboy is a different beast. Dude. He's not key boy, he's not key man, he's key god at this point. Uh, CW is out of 10. Here's the thing, here's the thing. Look at Edward, look at Edward, look at Edward! CW trying to run away, no vengeance, he baited it in earlier. That might just be a mistake now. Venus already forced to flick her out. Now it's gonna be the render's apathy. Doesn't connect onto anyone. Okay, calm down. Yep. I, I just gotta say, key boy, I've seen this dude mm. on live stream playing the show while eating. He was <laughs> piloting the hero with his feet. By the way. What? Really? Are you yeah, serious? Yeah, yeah, it's, it's on TikTok. It's on TikTok. Blacklist. Every time they try to teamfight and go for the poke, the, and after they got the Lord, naturally the minions will be pushing, right? And this is a play that Blacklist always does. Create chaos, let the minions naturally push, and even when they lose one hero to another, you'll be surprised. A lane is already pushed. Okay. Kai now, gonna be caught, knocked up. That's a retry as well. Why is using a lot right now, but the crossbow tank is gonna be ready for CW now. Maybe a bit of an over aggressive move from the side of Black International. That's the way the dragon. Oh, Keyboy finds Owl. Why is completely isolated on the heavy spin in the Black Dragon form. Keyboy is a mad lad for this one. Edward jumps back in with vengeance, able to find one on the board. It's Kyrie who falls, but Boost jumps into the back line. Now with the Furious Dive to disengage. Low down. Astral Sphere from Venus to take him down. Another equal trade. Two Ooh. for two. Well done, Blacklist International, Weiss tanked all that damage. And of course, ha holding on to the blade armor, there's a lot of physical defense already for Weiss. Ch uh, Chewe was able to pop the ultimate, but that is only onto Weiss, wasn't able to transfer it. And after he Owl was pinned down, Edward cut the stack. Still, you have to come in Keyboy, finding Owl. Or maybe it's the other way, maybe Owl needs more better positioning in these fights, because so far, he hasn't contributed two and four. That's not good for a marksman. I gotta say, man, Keyboy playing this show, I think is giving the Lackless some nightmares. Remembering 100%. them of, of Yaoi. So this is like 
Kiwi. Kiwi? Wait, no, no, that's, that's, a, a, no, that's a one out of ten. That's, 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 that's another one out of ten. You guys have just been smashing out ones here. But Onik, they're the ones to push the pace this time in the 14th minute. They're trying their best to go for the Lord, but can they survive the poke, the range? Okay, right now we get looking at Sans. Looks like he is going to be one on duty to make sure that Edward does not push here. It looks like Blacklist, they want to have a taste of the split push themselves. Kyrie is still here, has vision of Wise. Not sure where Oh My Venus is. Right now they probably see him. They look at Onik. They're not trying to push things forward. They're just like, okay, let's maintain the wave and then we'll see what Blacklist does. Because I think they're all just waiting for the key man to get the key kick. Four out of ten. Four, yeah. out, of ten. Four out of ten. Better, better, better. better. Yeah, he can do better. And oh, look at this. Uh -oh. Edward found out about this. Oh, he's going to be brought back right now with a vengeance as well. Edward. It doesn't matter. The crossbow tank is ready and CW has it now. Oh, CW! What? 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 Welcome back. Baiting out of one of the nations. Uncle Ultra comes down. Heavy spin disengaged. They're very low HP. So Blacklist can turn this around. But Wise is going to be pinned down. And that might just be it. Sans picks up the kill. They find another. And it's the mechanical prowess of Onik that's shining in game three. Dude, my face is in my hands right now. What happened just now? CW? It looked like he was gonna die to the vengeance, but I kind of feel like Keyboy was saying, it's like, dude, don't worry. Yeah. This you is, won't die. This is definitely key, familiarity, you know? Because everyone- Oh, Keyboy! Oh, Keyboy, Keyboy, no Keyboy, 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 get him out of no here! Way. Keyboy! How? How does this man keep doing it? Oh my goodness. Oh no, 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 stop, stop, stop. Gotta oh. put a leash on. Dude, have some mercy. Relax, you're 2, 1, and 11. You're the roamer. Your goal laner has died more than you. <laughs> you're right, you're right. Massive kicks from Keyboy. The kick boy for side of Onik. Three out of ten. Unbelievable, but again, game of familiarity. Edward knows that there is going to be a play here, but Chewe oh, was able to hold this ground, gracious. never even needing Sans's help up oh, until this timing. point. And then Kyrie was able to stun luck wise. Why did I say that it's a game of familiarity? Edward knows that there will definitely be someone in that bush. But then again, Onik laid that trap. They know that somebody from Blacklist will check that. And they have three members in there, which typically only has one or two. Three members, including the gold laner. The damage here means that kill is gonna be confirmed. Right now, the Lord is marching on mid. E Boy is smelling. He's looking at the positioning. Sans is quite low. White goes in. There you go. Sans is down. He has Lord was able to march down, getting a bit of turret damage there. But Sans actually okay. saved his ultimate because he has his passive. He knows it's not too worth it to utilize that ult there. Yeah, wind of the uh, winter trencher now picked up by Edward. This needs to be all over the place for Blacklist. Everybody has to have a Wind of Nature or the up with you, uh, with you, you win. And now next, surely, oh my Venus. Oh, they you need that! Whoa! There you go, okay. there you go. Now okay. Edward pushing the pace. That's heavy spin. CW, CW, CW! Yes! The call! It was safe! Oh, it was safe for that! XP down! Still though, it's gonna be a trade. Keyboy's taken out as well. Now Kyrie's next on the top. And Blacklist Owl pushes the pace. Blacklist had found it. It found the key to Ooh. unlock this door. Yo! Yo! This game, you know what? We got highlights over highlights over highlights. The entire MSC highlight. Oh my Just god. Just get it here, man. He saved he, it. He saved he it for that. Exactly. He Gila saved it. Sans. Gila Sans! Saving private Chewe this time. But what's really surprising is that Black has still managed to get two kills. And you have to really pick it back off of what Edward is doing. They have found Terry and Keyboy nonetheless. Owl and Omei oh Venus, although you, if you look at the Owl, oh, that's four hits, still takes a lot of damage. Let's look at the replay of exactly what happened. Sans's timing was so good. Dude, and he had he nothing left. Had nothing left. Oh my god, Edward, how? look at how? that. How? Beautiful. Oh what? 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 Beautifully See? done. But Keyboy was under the, the turret, unfortunately. It was a massive mistake on him. Then, of course, Weiss, with that no. jump, is able to lock out Kairi. No, no, no. Keyboy didn't make a mistake. He heard that we said he died less than the marksman. Okay, oh, okay. wait. Let me, let me just... Yeah, let me equalize, equalize. Yeah. Equalize. Now it's equalized. He, he, he knows. But he's still down to that, so... Uh, yeah, I know, but, you know, Coach yeah, will be, yeah, like, yeah, okay, okay, having okay. a word, so it's like, you okay, know what? Okay, yeah, kill yeah. it. Kill. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. My God, Take a what breather. A Take a breather, a man. Oh, no. Keyboy is no. looking for it again. No way, right? Oh, Flicker. Oh, okay. Venus flickers out of that one. Right. That's a big spell, though. Yeah, now we got to calm down because I kind of feel like
big moments are gonna come soon. Wise and Kyrie looking at a timing. Ooh. Sans taking quite a lot of damage. Looking at Blacklist, they dealt a lot of damage onto CW. Oh my. They're doing a lot of damage onto Sans. Onik, if they throw, if at any point they make a mistake, it could be Blacklist trying to get the kill because I gotta say, Owl in this game so far has been the focus. Yep. Owl, Hood Hood cannot do anything. Keeps on getting caught. Speaking of which, Kyrie tries to pin down uh, Wise, but as a wise man once said, I can't get caught. Yes, he certainly can. Kyrie now is the one who's getting caught with the taunt, bringing it back under the real world manipulation. No heavy spin to play with this. Call Alter placed down. Did he want to go for the trade still? Now, why is he going to be able to find the top right now? But the Raider Dragon locks him down. Who gets it? Who gets it? It's you. No, it's not a Sedward who finds it. Now, in the back line of Vengeance as well. GW with the nature. Now, Boo's also going to fall. Oh, my God. Blacklist. How? Dude. Out of nowhere, winning it around, turning Dude. it in all is you. I called it, man. The damage from Blacklist is strong. On it, they just need to throw one time, and that might be the only time they've been giving it. You got to take out Sans. This is Ghost Bursters, and this is mid lane Faramis. Packs up a punch. You have to be careful, but a two my connection on the ultimate. Let's see, CW has tracked Ooh. the few. Now gonna be sniped down by the spear. You has the art of jam. Pops it right now. Zebra oh. jumping in the back line, and CW is down. Blacklist haven't done it yet. Minion waves coming crashing down. No way to defend. This oh, is boy. not going to a clean sweep. This, this is going for more. I'm gonna call it. Getting Q said it. Third game, incredibly important for both teams. Look at the face of Blacklist now. I'm pretty sure they're relieved, but at the same time, they're like, guys, it's not over. It's just one win. But what an important one win. Yui was critical and was instrumental to the win of that team fight. That third fight, you saw that Kyrie already expended the ultimate. A massive Edward's mistake. Smiling? <laughs> a Edward's mas smiling? Edward's smiling. A Wait, massive he has mistake emotions? for Onik. Then, of course, Yue popping the ultimate, locking down the entirety of Onik, securing the Lord as well. Then Edward comes into the fray. Edward and Yue were so important in that win for Blacklist International. You know what? That was an amazing game. I'm going to call Gideon and, and Turner coming in quick because I want to hear your opinions immediately. Tell you, what did I tell you? Let Edward find it. He is mm -hmm. a heat-seeking missile. All you got to do is set it up for the man. I'm sorry. Oh! <laughs> that's right! I'm sorry. That's wow. all I can say. Dude, that's right! The curse is too quick. No, that, that's that's intense curse. Mm -hmm. Wow. Mm -hmm. I told you, this is the curse table. This is the curse cast mm -hmm. already, oh. and you no, dare no, no. dabble no, no. in it. I mean, there's a reason why previously in the Talos prediction, my name wasn't there. Mm. Yo. The production knows. Mirko, throughout this MSC, we've been chewing a lot. All of our curse is rubbing off of her. I'm not going to say anything, you know? <laughs> a lot of things you could have uh, taken I, from us, that's the one you chose? Because, I know, I know. It's, it's crazy, right? Because honestly, I was talking to Gideon as well mm. backstage, right? We were talking about the drafts coming in from both Onyx as well as Blacklist. And I had to say that I really liked Onyx draft better. I felt like they had the... the they had a lot of... Tools. Answers, uh. solutions to the strategies that Blacklist brought. But but this, exactly. And we thought that this was the weakest link, right? We mentioned it, the last pick, either Yiv or Farsa would be the weakest link. And yet it gets the MVP of this match. It's going to go to Yue. And it makes sense. Mm -hmm. There were so many times when Onik tried to go for an end gauge. That real world manipulation just really hindered everything, just blocked all the movements and the aggression from Onik. UA was finding value where technically he shouldn't be finding value, yeah. right? Because half the time you want to maximize the real world manipulation by maximizing the amount of charges you have and getting them all out on the field. The more you're able to pump out damage, the more you're going to be on the top of the charts. But in this case, UA thinks of it a little differently, right? He not only uses the edge of the box to catch the right targets, but he's also looking to slow down that front line from actually collapsing into these neutral objectives. And that's what we saw throughout the entirety of this game. Yeah. That's the reason why they were able to get Suns. And look at that, Ooh. extra hitbox once again. You're going to see that in important team fights, you have to set up the box. And I'm not just talking about the box for me, it's the overall the formation box that you can see from Blacklist International. UA, once again, look at that. 
isolating Sans mm -hmm. from carry was far too late, you know, to save someone else. But then again, they will get a they will get a big team fight victory because Edward once again finds kill onto Kyrie, then they punish Boots. Another team fight that will be started and ended by the real world manipulation just because of territorial control like this one for example they just can enter through the formation of Latin's international critical from you with yeah i mean the way that they're working is like a sieve right you're essentially trying to isolate as many targets as you can try to get the gold and separate it away from the rest of the sediments in the mixture and that's when we're looking for keyboy who closes yeah. in on those gaps and tries to pull away attention just so that it makes it work but at the end of the day right I would say, at least for Owl, he played a more stable game. He doesn't mind, right? He took a bit of damage at the end of it. He still felt like he had room to breathe. I feel like we also need to highlight Edward there, right? Mm -hmm. Because we mentioned, you yes. mentioned it, actually. You were mm -hmm. like, you know, Edward needs to activate. He needs to come online. He needs to have a little bit more say in these games. So give him something like the Joy, and he did exactly that. Onik were able to get a lot out of those skirmishes, those team fights. Mm -hmm. But Blacklist were able to kind of level it out because he, they were able to trade through Edward. Yeah, Edward is the main pillar here in the game for Blacklist International. Like you mentioned, every single time Edward goes in, even though he's not able to find CW, let's say earlier uh, in that skirmish, Call Alter, Burnt Out, Keyboy completely zoned away and isolated from his team and so did Kyrie. Kyrie got baited into that situation using the heavy spin to disengage for CW and ended up getting caught. Also, that final, final Lord that sealed the deal. Yep. That team fight, again, was Edward baiting on a lot of these skills, a lot of these resources and destroying the formation that Onik yep. wants to utilize with the crossbow of Tang. I love his build as well, right? He's not trying to be respectful at all in no sense of the word. He knows that he needs to provide, provide a lot of kill threat. He knows that he's eventually going to have to purchase at least a third eye to blood wings, 100%. He needs to be able to sustain and look at that, my goodness. The most damage. The most damage, 75,000. And before we throw it to Wolf, real quick, Edward has 67% team fight participation and he has the highest damage dealt. Yeah. And this is because both Edward and Yue understand what they need to do in a team fight, and specifically in a Lord Dance. You saw Edward needs to go to the back lines, be a menace, then output the damage, and he did 75k. Then Yue onto onto Kyrie, right? We saw that in the previous game as the Valentina that that copies the real world manipulation. This time he is playing the Eve. Both occasions, whenever he sees Kyrie in a team fight, literally pops the ultimate RWM. Doesn't care if it will be a kill it doesn't matter what you need to do is to put Kyrie down low and you will win the lord team fight it wasn't successful in game number two but game number three definitely was the key factor on why they were controlling the formation battle you i know? think honestly sorry i think honestly maybe going for something like the martis would have been a little bit more valuable for Kyrie. Mm, i don't think so i think the heavy spin was crucial to all uh, all the crazy fights that they were able to find here's the thing i kind of feel like eterna is trying to cloud our vision here because let's face it onik was winning until they lost so you know what eterna is kind of far away from me so i'm gonna whisper it to you miracle because we, we don't want the, the the fans to know and then you you tell her okay okay so with great curses comes great responsibility you're a nerd <laughs> that's what he said. Okay. You know what? That's kind of mean. That's a, uh, that's a little brutal. Hey, nerd is That's kind cool. of mean. You, but everyone on the desk is a nerd. You're just a bit nerdier than all of us. <laughs> Combined. More than Wolf? Yeah. Oh, wait, wait, how did he get the... Okay. <laughs> hey, we, we won game number three, so I'm happy. You can say anything about me. He's got a good point. He's got a good point. Blacklist as has finally downloaded at least enough data to bring it back in this break point. And now the momentum shift has stopped, right? The momentum mm -hmm. has slowed down a little bit and I think even for uh, even for Onik, they go back to the drawing board. We yeah. did see, even for Kyrie himself, getting very, very heated and start getting desperate the lower his HP started to get. Maybe Kochev is already telling him to temper his will, trust in the rest of his teammates, and I don't know, we might see Keyboy play something maybe along the lines of Grok to kind of support or even help him with these secures with the raw base damage. But I like the Cho, though. I do like the Cho. I like the yeah. Cho, yeah. though. Maybe with a lot of uh, puns with the uh, Cho. So yeah. I see that you are enjoying it. Dude, and enjoying like it? Too. Yes. Yeah, enjoy it. Ex and he was the key factor. And here's the thing. He's inspiring a lot of boys out there. All the boys that want to play with the Chow, they're yeah. looking at Keyboy and yeah. be like, yo, that's my key dad. 
<laughs> That's a one out of ten. Why did you laugh, Gideon? Yeah, sorry, the key uh, dad one really got me there. Get in, get in, control your children, <laughs> no, please. You're, so Look, much shouldn't put over this. Uh, we will, we will. I will. I have a word with you boys later. But in the meantime, it looks like we've got a little special segment with our host back up on the stage. Let's go have a look at what they're doing. Philippe! Now we are here with the Queenie. Queenie is the biggest fan of UA from Blacklist International. Show them how much you love UA. UA! Wow! That's crazy! She's been yelling all the games, the top of her lungs. And hey, what, what's so great about UA? Um, because for me, UA is the uh, Valentina goddess, the cutest medley, and the Gento King. The Gento King! <laughs> can you do that? Can you, can oh, you dance? Just like okay, this one. go, 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 go. I really dance just like this one. Oh, 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 oh my god. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> I love how you rock the stage here. <laughs> okay, yeah. let's because, talk. Um, I'm representing the whole Blacklist community. Oh, oh my oh, god. Wow. <laughs> okay, mag-angas ka, okay? If you can brag about UA and Blacklist International, the camera is right there. Show the world what they got. Well, um, for me, Blacklist will win the fight because they are, they come prepared for this one. And um, it's time that Philippines will claim the MSC throne. Oh! Wow. Blacklist wow, will wow. claim the MSC throne, okay. A lot of confidence yes. here. I'm not just confident, I'm 101% confident. Wow. 100! More than 100% confident. Okay, yes. I want to see that confidence, all right? We know that you can yell loud. How about we get the entire crowd here to cheer for Blacklist International? You take the lead, you got the mic, we want your energy. Okay, guys, you know the drill. I say, Blacklist, you say? Okay, one, two, three, go. Blacklist! Red the What do you want to say to him? Um, just be, uh, just always be yourself. Um, I know that you can do this and win the crown. And win, the, win crown. the crown. Okay. Now, can we show some moves to the people that are watching online? If let's say you have no words, but you could show your energy through actions, through how actions, would you? I'm gonna take the mic. Okay. Show it through actions, okay? Like this one. Like this one. Sure, girl. No, okay. Oh. 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 You do it too, Robbie. No. All right, okay. Okay, let's just, let's do it together. Let's do it together. <laughs> I can't believe I got Robbie to do that. Oh, they're, they're there right now. They're there right now. They're there. Say something to you, Wei. Say something to you. Okay, everybody. You it. 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 The crowd is going wild. All right, why do you think Blacklist can make a comeback? What do they have that Onyx does not have? Blacklist is well prepared, they're well organized, and they listen to their coaches and teams. So I guess that's one of their assets where they will be um, winning the crown. Now, wow. we're gonna go back to the game. The players are ready right now. Right again, 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 again. Let's get them to cheer for Yue. Right. Once again. What? Uh, what do <laughs> you win? Black Lives Pinas lang malakas, pinas lang malakas, pinas lang malakas. Guys, take us to see the world. I feel like I've already seen a good part of it at that point. Oh my goodness, the what? energy coming out from the Blacklist fans, and especially for the UA fanatics wow. out there. That's a buff. That is That's above. above. I think Onik needs a little bit more support here, right? Because two to one, that is gonna break their momentum that they have so desperately been able to create here. And with that being broken, 
do you think that this is going to affect the mentality of Onik? I don't think so, right? I mean, it certainly has affected them before in other previous tournaments, but I think Onik right now, they are in the best shape Come when it comes down to mentality. They're able to perform on stage, even in a win. It wasn't a dominant win. It wasn't a one-sided win. It was yeah. a win that ultimately came down to just a few little mistakes. Yes. I gotta say, man, I feel challenged, like, she screamed louder than us. In fact, I think I got to ask production for a water bottle next time because they gave me a glass of water and it broke. Oh, wow. I didn't know that you could go that loud. Yeah. Screaming that's Blacklist fans it's for It's not you. break the glass, break the glass. Yeah, break the glass. No, no, that's Zapnu's thing. Oh, sorry. Oh, oh, well. Oh. You know what? Two minutes in. Uh, oh, 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 <laughs> let's oh. cook something for two minutes here, Wolf. <laughs> oh, what's Blacklist looking for? Banning on the Franco seems like that's the good idea. It already seems like one step forward, but I want to test a little. I want to do a little bit of an experiment here. Okay, I, I, okay. I, I, I'm not 100% sold on this curse. It's right now. Would oh, you like on. to say a couple of words for Blacklist <laughs> International? Dude, like the fans are gonna kill me it, after look, this. No, it, it, just you it. Just, just you it. Just you it. Just you it. You are you it. What? You it. You it. Do it. Okay. Do it. Do it. For Blacklist. This yeah, time. Blacklist. Blacklist. All right, because once couldn't be coincidence, right? Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah if yeah, it happens yeah. again, then you, you, my friend, you better be careful in the airport. Oh Very God. Good. Okay. <laughs> uh, Blacklist, you've already won. One game, you're gonna roll on this momentum. You're gonna show everyone what you guys are made of, why you are so associated with crowns, because you guys are the kings and queens of MLBB. Yo, I'll take that. Okay. You know I'll what? take okay. that. Okay. Wolf, you know what? Your analysis kind of doesn't matter anymore. Yep. <laughs> at this at this point, you're it's just here to analyze what Eterna's doing. Yeah. yeah you're, you're just here, you know, just to make the table yep. pretty. The, the panel decides who wins. Yeah. We it's just not the players. We, we just we just we need a Filipino. The, we didn't get to the grand final. It's all about curses. But I want to say something. <laughs> We've actually sure. broken a pattern now. Oh. Yes. Right. It's, it's the win streak is gone. Exactly. Yep. Win streak is broken. Um, every time we go I'm into broken. an international event, it's not. It's always a reverse sweep. Now it's already one game taken by Blacklist. Mm -hmm. And what does that tell us? I think this is tell us that the times are changing. Maybe this could be a breakaway from the PH Dynasty. I don't know whether the script is still going to apply for a team like this, but as Mirko said, they're looking in the best shape we have ever seen. And this is one international tournament where we're finally going to get not a clean sweep, but at the very least a full game. I think it's time to get into the draft, and now the analysis is going to be really important because both sides have done some thinking. Let's go and start picking at their draft. I think it's red side for Onyx. After losing that game, you get to decide what, what, which side you're gonna be started on. And I think Onyx, especially Coach Chef, they love it so much. Yep. It will be still same two bands. I think they will only switch up when it comes to third, and that's gonna be the Franco. In this case, if the 1 1 is open, I honestly feel that Blacklist will still go for the joy. But Onyx, stop that. They ban out the joy themselves. One one for Blacklist, for sure. Mm -hmm. We're seeing the adaptations. We're seeing things change. And at the very least, that's what we expect to see in a best of seven draft, right? Number one, Yue. So <laughs> many fans what? that the letters couldn't be contained within its own lower third. Oh, my God. <laughs> Yue was awarded Rookie of the Season in MPL PH Season 11 with his debut on the Blackers roster. Now he is 2-2 two two in the Grand Finals appearance in the official MLBB, MLBB tournament. Shout out to the production team, man. Shout out to the production, yeah, shout out to the production team. Ooh, how do you stop this 1-1 one, one out? Do you go maybe Fairmaze? Oh, Kaja is not is banned out. So do you snatch the Frederick now if you're on it? Thoughts? Phobius, set up for Phobius later on Ooh. into the game. That could be. I'm just, I'm just putting the idea there. It could doesn't necessarily need to be picked up super early on because then it could be the bounce back, right? The retaliation yeah. from Blacklist and Smash becomes down, very really? straightforward. Oh, love this. Yeah. Valentina from Onyx. It means that they will not let Yue cook this time, but I guess you still want to pick up the Eve now, as well as perhaps the Fairmiss for Blacklist International. So I'm thinking Novaria. No Oh, Novaria no Baksha? Oh, there you go. Novaria Baksha. Oh, now. no. Not the wheels on Wise. <laughs> the drive by's coming. You know it. He's going to do it. He's going to do it again. Oh, oh Vanny, Vanny, Vanny. Vanny. What? 
The flyby. Wow. Nani? I can oh, the drive-by. You go drive-by, I'll do you one better. I'll fly by. Dude, Nani is the penny. <laughs> That's five, 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 five out of ten. Four, four. 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 Nani, is, Nani is the penny. Boys, no, You had to repeat it, so <laughs> there's a four. Oh, oh damn, I should, I should stay quiet then. <laughs> you got a good point yeah. there. But we got to pull this back because, again, the only real difference is the fact that Eterno was like, yes, Blacklist is going to take this away. And now we're seeing a very different dynamic in the draft. We were expecting something different, but not this, not this direction. Yeah. I want to make sure that utilizing the backshot means that you have good early games. And we saw that in their series against Farflex Impunity, they have a certain rotation where they will forego the first turtle, but they will take all of the, of, of the jungle creeps. It will be much faster when it comes to taking those jungles, more EXP, more gold, come Turtle 2, you're a level ahead of your jungle competition. So it's a, it's a set play coming up from Blacklist. Okay, now I got to ask the question, right? Usually going up against the Fanny, you need a lot of peel because I'm no 1-1, one -one, I'm no Novaria, but if I'm, if I'm in their situation, I'm feeling very paranoid. I'm feeling like a Titan right now. I'm going to put my hand uh, you know, around my neck. But again, Oh My Venus is the type of player that likes to heal. In this kind of game, the Minotaur has been banned, the Arlet has been banned. What kind of protection can they have? Because you can't just rely solely on the box, yeah. I'm, I'm feeling, I'm feeling like you're either hinting at one of two heroes, either a failure to give that movement speed and that form of peel with that healing that we all like, or the flooring which we haven't seen at all throughout the tournament. Both of which will be debut picks mm -hmm. if they get locked down here. Yep. However, in terms of bans, I'm thinking Blacklist is getting rid of that show. Fox. Yep. Mm. I yeah. don't really think so, honestly. In my opinion, the 1-1's one -one's already very self-sustainable. No Dexter, cho necessary for the ban. They go for the Claude right here. Mm. That's an interesting one, right? Going for the Claude ban... No, honestly, too too many people to, to take care of, you know? Mm -hmm. yeah. well, I guess one's so. flying, one's playing with the monkey. It's kind of not fun to play against. Yeah. So you go Leslie, perhaps. But that might be... Oh. Too slow. Yeah. Leslie, for tempo. the Rhino actually, they have the last pick, so they can just utilize this for now, right? They can go for a roamer first. And the Lita is a solid choice, something that I was thinking of against the 1-1. What can you counter? What, what can counter the 1-1? The only roamer that I can think of right now is the Lolita. That yep. bulwark. They both okay. locked all the projectiles, especially with the crossbow it tangs up. Could protect, you know, especially if you have to sacrifice somebody, at least you don't have to sacrifice every single person in those situations. Now, yeah. pulling it back to Blacklist International, they have to complete their comp, and they still are missing a few puzzle, yeah. uh, pieces of the puzzle. XP lane, as well as potentially roam or mid lane. Mid lane. Uh, you're looking for a little bit of lockdown as well as sustain. I wouldn't mind something like an Esmeralda, actually. But, you know, you would play Kagura before, and I think that in a in a game where there's a there's an assassin, maybe some something of something of burst potential will be good. Like a, yeah, like a Kagura, for example. Age of zero. Okay. Age of zero. And a Kagura called by Ulf. Mm -hmm. Again, here's the thing. My worry still stands. Harith. We see in how Fanny plays. I'm not feeling too good for Blacklist. Okay. They gotta play out of their minds here. Uh, recalling Gilak Sands. Oh my god. This man has wow. broken a new record <laughs> with a th 3,211 oh, oh, recalls in his no career. Way. I don't know how they got that oh. number, but Sands is overtaken Leo for Murphy. Alter Eagle. Leo Leo Murphy. Murphy. The Tas Tas God has been overtaken. Oh. This, wow. This is, should not be allowed. Leo Murphy needs to bounce Shout back. Shout out to Leo Murphy. Leo Murphy, you kind of got to come back, man. Is, is this potentially a Harith last pick for Onyx? Dude, at this point, I kind of don't care. Look at the recalls, man. Yeah. Standard, pretty standard overall. I'm just, I'm still shocked. I agree with LaFell. I'm already still shocked about the recall stats. Where do they have that in the API? Yeah. I don't know where they, they found the, da the data. At this point, <laughs> I don't even care if it's factually correct. Yep, it's fun. As long as you enjoy it. You know what? Joy. Joy. Joy's not, Joy's not playing in this, in but this, again, we're this game. Yeah, it got banned. It doesn't matter as long as I'm having fun. Okay, no. okay, as long as You're we're the having fun. You're the one that matters. I mean, we hope you guys in the audience are having fun as well, right? Uh, we're coming into game number four. Things are getting a lot more interesting in terms of the drafts, right? Picking up a Fanny, its win rate is questionable, right? Up for Kyrie. Yeah, I get that. And that's what worries me. That's exactly the point that I was going to come to. No one from the side of Blacklist can particularly lock this Fanny down, except the Beatrix, but I want to know how this is going to go down. LaFell. We're going into the game. We got to see Kyrie on his fanny. Can he be stopped? And if he 
If he can, I'm looking at it as already give and we're already starting off very, very early on to Sam. A lot of fights going on right now, Mirko. Wow, wait, wait. Did, did, did Black was actually lose out on this straight 2v3? They're going to go for the wave instantly now. And it should yep. just be uh, a good clear in. Keyboy, though, with a big smack. Bonk. Whew, okay. So they wanted to clear out the mid lane so fast so that they can participate in the top lane, perhaps. Which is weird because it means that they really want to make sure that Edward has a good game. So he's going to come down to the bottom lane to have more gold as, more, as, as well as more experience. Going to clear out that fast because he's a Benedetta. And then he's going to be rotating around. I think that the shift now for Blacklist is let Owl Solo fend for himself. It's going to be Edward's game once again. Looking at this, I kind of feel like their idea is just to make sure that UA moves around faster on the map because the thing about the Kagura is the clear speed isn't the fastest, but the Novaria is there. Novaria helps out a lot. So looking at for both of these, I kind of feel like Blacklist, they might be actually looking at both UA and, and Edward to have a snowball -y lean and then eventually win out the fights around the turtle and then have a better positioning around the map so that they can eventually handle the buff spawning on the Fanny's purple side. We've seen Blacklist deal with a Fanny so many times before. I think in PH it's notorious. Yeah. The buff freeze may yep. happen here. They have good mid control and that is the proper setup for it. Now Kyrie is here up top. Oh My Venus just counting everyone out. For now, Kyrie flicker. forced the flicker off of Oh My Venus, and that's the scary thing about a Fanny. Yep. The moment you see her, you, you just gotta be like, nope, I'm out. Either yeah. flicker or die. Okay. The focus here is how much can Wise, you know, elevate when it comes to the jungling over Kyrie. And I think what they did was to kind of guard their purple buff. Wow, it's quick. Beautiful, beautiful turtle execute there for Blacklist International using also Ooh. the final blow, utilizing it, understanding that Fanny has no purple. So right. Here's what they did. They went first for the orange buff, so why clear that, then the purple buff. So during the reset, when Kyrie wanted to check for that purple buff, not only will he not see any buff from that for the trade of the turtle, but also Oh My Venus is also there. Even after the flicker, they have accomplished their job. Deny uh, Kyrie's trade of a turtle for a purple. Something that's kind of obvious but we have to talk about is the fact that Wise is on that jungle emblem and Kyrie is on that assassin emblem. So no matter what, Wise will clear the jungle much faster. So faster rotation coming in from Blacklist while Kyrie, he kind of just wants to farm up, maybe even get level six or just one item and then try to get a kill on the sidelines. But so far, Blacklist, they kind of been making sure that they see the rotations coming in from Onyx so that all of the side laners, they're kind of well prepared for any potential kind of gank. And Onyx are understanding this. You can already see the adjustment they are making as well. Up top, freezing up the wave just to make Owl sweat for a minion. Now, thing is, I don't think they can keep at it here because Kyrie is a level below already. And these neutral objective takes, if Wise gets this level lead, it's going to be absolutely disastrous for Onyx. Mm. You can see that... It went long, right? And this is not beneficial for Onyx. They have to push the tempo all the time. Eventually, this Novaria as the roll will... Okay. Whoa. That's the cable. Owl forced away. Edward trying to catch him right there. Now with the eye for an eye, escaping. A CW gets chunked. Oh, I was just about to say that they need to push a tempo up because Blacklist in a farming, you know, in a, in a farming battle, they will definitely trap Onyx, but then again, carry. He knows what he needs to do. Right now, I kind of want to look at the itemization. UA tried to freeze the goal in there to make sure that Owl doesn't lose a lot. Again, Owl is already there in the lane. Kind of doesn't matter now. Kyrie not feeling safe in his own jungle. Oh, Petrify as well. Now Boost jumps in. It's going to be Kyrie. Who doesn't get it actually now. Now Blast charge in the back. Now Flicker as well. Everybody's going to be stunned up. It's definitely going to be Flicker combo. Kyrie recalling back. Taunt coming in from Boost. That should be another kill. And it's Onik who picks up two over oh. oh. Barely, barely gets out. Almost. Oh, oh, Kyrie got it. Kyrie he got, got the it. purple. Gila Kyrie. Gila Kyrie. Kyrie. And not only that, they secure the turtle. This is going to be a big swing when mm -hmm. it comes to the economy for sure. He still has the the retribution, but he will not be invading onto Blacklist International. Oh, Calvin Winata. Calvin Winata. Calvin Winata. Calvin Winata. Dude, did we say too much nice things about you? Because oh. I don't know, man. That looked like a major mistake. The major burst mistake. was not there. That is a costly mistake. Not only. Oh, oh, oh. Terry okay. finds Owl. Now with the cables. Just baiting out the shield, didn't he? 
Likewise, stunning Keyboy up. Bulwark still up for grabs now. Can utilize it, but he's waiting for the crossbow tank. Now Blast charged up. That's the crossbow tank. No Bulwark. Right now, looking at the formations of the EXP layer, not wanting to fight against each other. Kari went in, but Y still able to secure the goal from the Gold Crab. The movements coming in from Blacklist. Edward is just trying to move all around the map, making sure that the team is always ready. CW now has the Blade of Despair. Sons gets the ult from the Novaria. Let's look at the itemization yep. here. Fanny, not. This is weird though. Kyrie own doesn't have a full item Whoa. yet. <laughs> Wait, Yue. Yue! Just as he gets all the oh, Yue! 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 Oh, he ulted on where the umbrella was! He predicted it! Edward now with Petrify on the three members. Kyrie still going for the buffers. Gonna block his charge down. Why is he gonna be stunned up? Kyrie still wins it somehow! Onik are winning in this game. Five to one. Edward! Eye for an eye. Beautiful. CW. Oh, if he got that one, I don't know what to say. Guys. My yes, God. yesterday in the interview, Kairi was just like, I can just dash, but I can't red feed. Oh. That's not the case for today. Owl almost got almost. taken down. I, I gotta say, man, Owl, he has 180 I degree just, vision, man. For sure. Calvin can, without he, Nibiru Passion onto exactly. the Exactly, the cone, <laughs> the left side of, the right side of the cone, what? onto the left side of the cone. Dude. Enough coverage for the dash coming up from Yue. He saw he the future. It. He saw the future. Can't spell Winata without win! Wow, Whoa, that's good! That's really good. 7 out of 10. Yeah, thank you, thank you. Now Kyrie almost losing that one. Wise finds Keyboy. Wise taking a bunch of damage now. CW, Sands, Boots is there. They're starting up the turtle. Blacklist already gonna contest. Wise looks like he wants to drive by, but I don't think he can get it. Not this time. Shield Unity was there now. Oh! They're gonna go for the stun for the lock as well, but it's raised. I'm gonna Ooh. blast connecting all the two members right now. That's gonna be the cables coming down as well. Edward with the eye for an eye, escaping for now with the final blow defensively as well. Blacklist managed to get out. It's still a game they can possibly try to come back. Oh, uh, well, great job coming out from Keyboy, by the way. Weiss wanted to go for another drive bike. He was successful in. That was yesterday, actually. Yep. But Keyboy blocked the. The unity, unity yeah. Yeah. the shield unity. He was able to stop Wiser's tracks and then lands a two-man ultimate. Fortunately for Blacklist, they did not die afterwards. But my oh my Onik is now on the driver's seat. Right now I'm asking Wolf, Yue on this Kagura. What is he really looking for? But before that, oh, no, Onik. The Are they gonna perhaps? go for it? Wait, Sans just took the uh, Yin Yang overturn and he By just mistake. it. By oh. mistake. Okay. Yeah, you know, misclick happens and Kyrie. So able to escape. Good cables out. Now, for my question, while not a lot is going on, as I said that, it looks like both teams are looking for a fight. What is the idea behind Kagra here? Uh, you want to burst down the assassins for sure. Surely you can uh, take out the gold laner as well because you can one-shot that. But then again, you will, your task now for Yue is to make it so that Kairi will not be comfortable. Well, Kairi with the cables now jumping all the way in. Nice. Shield Unity locks him down, but Kairi is bought enough time for CW to pick up the turret in the mid lane. Tier 1 going down. I gotta say, man, Kairi looking like a landslot there, just dashing around, grabbing everyone's attention, and then letting his own team free hit the turret. Blacklist, I don't know, man, looking at the situation, even I can't get in their heads. I don't know what they're thinking about. Whoa, help me out. What do you think they're, they're, they're trying to figure out here? Oh, the, the first time though, I can say that in the first few minutes of the game, Blacklist will rely on both the Baksha as well as the uh, Benedetta to kind of control the jungle of Onik, but they weren't able to do so. They tried twice, they lost twice, and now you're in a position where what do you do now? Maybe the answer for Blacklist is just to, wa to win the map now. Wait for level 15 on both Weiss as well as Kyrie, and then try to Lord fight afterwards. Well, the Lord is here. Boots starting it up. Wise already showing his face. Oh my Venus is there as well to provide some vision. Edward is moving down. Sands as well as Boots kind of creating a line, making sure that Wise doesn't overstep his welcome. I don't know. Looking at the situation, who's going to start the fight? It looks like Boots moves in, not able to catch anyone. I'm also trying to look, where is Keyboy? Keyboy is trying to find a push that no one will check. And if she goes in, speak of where is Kyrie? Wow, a big burst onto Yue, forcing him back. One member down, but Kyrie is also going to recall now with the Unity onto Keyboy. 
That's a better spray. Two disengaged. Demon on Blast. Free. Why is he gonna be chain CC? And Owl still able to find the crossbow tank right now. It's actually gonna petrify the back line. Keyboy still able to survive right now. Boots flickering forward. Now with the Praiser's Wrath. Venus 1 HP. Crossbow tank ready. Now popped in with the Guardian's Bulwark. Saves him. Now it's Venus who gets targeted down as Kyrie picks up the cutthroat from downtown. Well played coming out from Onyx. Taken out twice. Keyboy landing the stun. Numinum Blast connecting. And Owl was far too late. Does have the damage, but the fact of the matter remains, the Bulwark really defended well against Blacklist International's Owl. Kyrie, yeah. this should be a free red tree, but Edward has to say something about it. CW who finds it now, eye for an eye, used by the cutthroat! My goodness gracious! Wait, wow. Edward, do you have a defensive item, man? Because, dude, that damage coming in yeah. from Kyrie. That was way too much. Way too Onyx much. now with almost Ooh. a 5,000 goal lead and the game is paused. Even they're like, yo, we got to take a breather here. Yeah, oh, for sure. But I really like the response coming up from Onyx. When Owl was there, finds two people with two stacks. Immediately Onyx, they flickered out of there. Dashed out with the Valentina as well as uh, I believe it was, it was probably Sans who went out of there. Then when the ultimate was already up, the bulwark was there for him, and Kairi was able to just find Omic Venus into the back lines. Massive outplays that you saw coming out from Monik. Right now, honestly, we see one finger, so it won't be that long. So I'm gonna call for emergency help here. How does this look like, Eden? Is it really Onyx's favorite fight? Well, right now, I would say very similar to our tech issue. I think it's a type one. It's very, very minute. Half the time, it's just the timings of the abilities and executions coming out from Blacklist International that are just not connecting. For an example, the Astral Spheres that are hitting the Guardian's Bulwark, even though technically, I would make the assumption at the same time that yes, I don't have vision, but I know for a fact that it should be coming out of duration. I like the fact that they're targeting, uh, making sure that Keyboy feels a little uncomfortable, right? Because these Numenon Blasts are the one thing that really turns these fights. Yep. I just got to double confirm, Eterna, just now you are like, yo, Blacklist, you're looking very strong. Is that correct? I just, I just want to double confirm. Oh, guys, look, it seems like there's going to be a <laughs> deep code for all of well you viewers. Done. We want to show our appreciation to you. Don't mm. forget to redeem that as soon as possible because like I mentioned, LaFell likes to get his hands on it and he's very, very quick. Get it before he does. Thank ten you for that. Out of, 10 out of 10, we're going into the game. Thank you very much to our panelists. Now we're jumping back in. So far, I'm also going to look at the KDA, man. CW and Boots, Sans and Kyrie have not died yet. Yeah. And this is a problem because we were taught about the fact that the 1-1 might have a good wow. time this game. Except for the fact that there's the Lolita. But overall, Dude. not dying on Kairi, that's going to be very bad. Wait, where, where's the Dreadnought armor? You're going up against a Fanny as well as a Fredrin. I kind of feel like having that would be kind of cool, yeah, you know? They, only they're dying on dominant size on Edward. And by the way, Kairi went in for the Red Retribution, which means that he steals damage. That's why he was able to almost one-shot the Edward, or at least deal, what, 30% damage onto Edward's HP with just one cutthroat. Yeah, with that kind of retribution, you're looking at your opponent and like, hey, you got a lot of damage. Mm -hmm. Can I have some? Oh, yes. Man, he got some. He did. He just practically stole it. I don't think Edward wants to give it to him, so no consent in that one, Kyrie. But Onik pushing forward now with the enhanced... No, that's the Homo Lord. First Lord of the game. Oh. New vision, Keyboy now with a flicker. Nope, he sold. Oh, Wise gets brought back with a toss. He doesn't put up the kill now. The crossbow tank is ready. Boots should fall here, but the Goddess will work. Saves it for a big guy in the back. Finds the pit pick. Phoenix will fall. Owl pops him with an ancient. Kyrie's still able to escape right now. CW in the back is still alive. Edward uses the final blow to clear out the Lord. I thought for a second Onik would have been able to end yeah. again in the 12th minute. I gotta say, man, Onik. I don't know what kind of watch they're wearing, but it really feels like on it time. They want to push it fast. Ooh. Oh, what they did was to utilize... Oh, what? what? He predicted what? the dash. My, mo my man, my boy, CW, Ooh. what the heck? My daddy! What are you doing, uh, CW? Okay. Yes, calm oh, down, calm down. She. I mean, okay, well, try to break it down. Oh, okay. So there's something smart that Onik did in the previous fight. You gotta see it through the replay. They utilize Keyboy's ultimate, not for a connection, but more of a peel, or actually to start a fight, just for the slow. And it was, you know, you see Blacklist, they're waiting for the flicker from Keyboy. They wanted to punish afterwards, but the awkward spot was nobody went Ooh. in. And then Kyrie found the opening, Weiss died already, almost taking out more. 
And Keyboy is just so crafty without utilizing the Dominion Blast. I would like to take this opportunity to apologize. Uh, I look at his IGN, it was CW. I thought it was DD. So I was like, yeah. Oh, man. Yeah, I mean, it happens. It happens. It happens you know, Reading is very hard. Uh, you know what? I'm, I'm, my, I'm dyslexic, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> Are you actually dyslexic? Uh, I'm just colorblind for uh, for all okay. I know, but either ways, right now, Blacklist they got another kill, which is oh, pretty uh. good. Oh, oh my okay. Venus stole okay, it. Okay, okay, okay. You know what, Kyrie, you steal my damage, I steal your goal. I think that's a fair trade. Yeah, no fair. consent. Plenty of trades. Nothing in this world is free. Nothing in this world is free. Just as you say, it. nothing is free. Lord is free. It. <laughs> Oh. Don't speak. Don't oh. speak. Yep. This is a different kind of curse, man. Yep. It's the caster curse. CC. Oh, CC. Either way, speaking of CC, CW right now has been hitting those shots. It's kind of difficult for Blacklist because no matter where you go, you're between a hard rock and a harder place Please. where there's no really good place for you to go because either you're going for Kyrie or CW, like, there's no escape. You're, you know. Oh, what? Oh, uh, what? Uh, Another on point get shot. Get hit by the bullets or the sword. Yeah. Make your choice. Make your choice. Both are going to be popped onto Wise right now, but the wave management is actually not going to be on point for now for Blacklist. For Onyx, Blacklist International able to micromanage right now. He's not blast his charge there, but it's going to be a good cancel from UM. Hi. Wait, he found Wise. I didn't even see that. What? Petri now being used. Edward, no Petri. Keyboard looking for stun right now. Owl. Oh, again, CW, CW. Ooh. With a nature popped in, but Sans, he takes him down. The one doesn't do anything to the magic damage. Onik, one can of minion. Edward trying to clear it up. Onik can play with the time. 20 seconds on the board as Kyrie jumps back and forth. Will he recall is the question. He will go to the jungle. CW, CG the base down. 15 minutes in. They want to look for the end as a mid wave oh. crashes down as well. Edward, no way, CW, what? Now he guns down, what? and now the base! Hold Whoa. up, hold up, hold up, Whoa. it's match point for Onyx! Whoa! Whoa, what was that? He's trying to get a kill in their own home! That sounds amazing, I see you, but look at this game! Match point for Onyx! Dude! The way that they have found Owl, even when there's a lot of Window deck, like window nature out of our place. Suns as well wow. as boots had the flicker, and they took full advantage of it. They found a clear path to Owl, revealing himself quite deep into the territory, the box of Onyx. Flicker, Valentina, you know that they can one shot marksman with that kind of play. Then boots followed up, making sure that there's no waking up from Owl, no defense, no damage, and even wise with just. Dreadnought armor as well as blade armor cannot fend for himself against the damage output of Onik. I only have two things to say. First of all, we double turn up. Second, Gideon, now it's match point. Is it gonna be a 4-1? I don't know. This is uh it's really tough to say because the momentum was already on the side of Onik. I thought their draft was already looking good, and the fact that Yue decided to go in Kagura, the technicality-wise, yes, you do have an inbuilt purify to get out of these Numenon Blasts, and yes, you can technically ca cancel the Numenon Blasts, but you saw that performance. There is a certain level of polish that was missing coming out from this Kagura. I was hoping for a lot more, but we didn't get to see it, and that early game punish really, really set him behind. And to be fair, it's a it's difficult to execute, it's right? Not Kagura easy. is short range. Sure, she has that in her kit with the cancel and so on and so forth. And she also has the ability to open up the map, but we got to highlight, yeah, uh, I, there's no one else in that game, right? Ooh. I could argue for CW, but Kyrie was once yeah. again just a beast on the fanny. The only question, who can stop him in terms of the draft itself? Okay. It was physically Impossible! Shut up! It was physically impossible. impossible. That's right. And you know what? Maybe the only way to defeat Onik now is to force Eterna to say that Blacklist, uh, <laughs> that Onik is already again. No, 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 After this, Eterna, no. don't, don't say anything. Let's make it fair. You okay. know what? They have to spend for themselves. Yeah. They're one, one. I agree. They're, yep. they're big boys. Highlights. So, highlights. Kyrie, important to secure that first, uh, that first the purple buff or second with the invade, and another one, back to back. This is the reason why he's the MVP for me. Because Kyrie managed to secure what the, the heck, purple buff. Man? There were five people from Onik, really, 
the entirety of Onik knows that the win condition is Kyrie all along. You know and what? You look at that. Dude, for my own sanity, for my own ego, I want to say that was lucky, man. Yeah, Kyrie he did it lucky, 100%. But he did it over, over again. Dude. He's just that lucky. Okay, I did. I didn't see why. It's, no, this one was the. This was very easy. I want to see what happened because there was one play. I don't miss plays a lot, but there wow. was one play where Kyrie. Yeah, there it is. No, Actually, no, no. Yeah, no, not this. It was the. It was the ending one. Was this the ending one? No, oh, it wasn't. Yeah. No, it's, here, this is one. Okay. Look at the burst. Okay. okay shut yeah. Up. Why is oh. just disappeared? Yeah. Why is just disappeared in like literally in the Lord? Would you say that it's a little suspicious? <laughs> I would feel <laughs> cheated. There were five people <laughs> going on him. So. Yeah, so at that point, you know, it's like one man. He has his limits, right? He yep. does. Five is his limit. I mean, let's look at the items, right? And you can definitely tell that he was a, a really, really behind the curve, even oh, though that he was dude. trying his absolute best. Look at the components that he has. He's got the Dreadnought armor, yep. he's got the Guardian's helmet, and as well as Blade armor. But at the end of the day, he still needs complete items to get unique passives to keep him alive. Knowing Blacklist International, they always go for the 70 or 80 percent kind of play mm -hmm. but the king's gambit that they did this time with wise trying to invade onto the purple buff of onik with edward you understand where it's coming from yeah. but they didn't have enough onik read through that they have five people on both occasions yue he was absent during those fights imagine if they had the yin yang overturn so many things would have been different for blacklist international the gambit that they did did not pay off and it backfired so heavily that they didn't have the mid-game afterwards. Blacklist, that's so uncharacteristic that they went for a non-80-20 play. I, I want to say, guys and girl, that kind of strategy, I kind of feel like would have worked most of the time. Like you said, 80%. Mm -hmm. But <sighs> Kyrie got lucky, right? Because oh, he yeah. was invaded, but he still got it. Uh -huh, that's 100% luck, right? I mean, he did it like five times, what? but it's luck. Yeah, I mean, mm -hmm. table management, all sure. point, that's all the play. I mean, wow, that's, that's a lot of luck, right? That but is so again, much luck. Hey, I'd rather be lucky than good. Yeah, <laughs> he was very lucky that he was with Keyboy who stunned Wise. That was so lucky. Right. That was so what? lucky, yeah. man. What the luck, luck. You know instead what? of Onik. Having friends is lucky as well. Um, five of them, four of them, I mean. Yeah, because yeah. yeah. What about the people in the back? What? No, no, no. Yeah. Uh, Guy didn't save us. <laughs> Look, in these <laughs> positions, right, it's 13 to 2. The snowball, as the wolf mentioned, this was a very big gambit. But yeah. it's also testament to Onik being able to convert it into something. The conversion and the punishment that we did see afterwards gave them that mid game pretty much for free. And once we didn't see that mid game go into their favor, we all knew what was going to happen. Instant invades, instant motions, and more importantly, unlocking CW from his yeah. lane, taking down and really speeding up the momentum. That's the Onik play style. Yeah, it's weird because there was a point in time where I was about to say that they were not making the plays onto the gold date and, and, uh, on, against CW, but right, right as I say, I wanted to say that Kyrie was there up top. So yeah, there was time pressure on the side of, of the gold lane side, wherein it will not favor the 1-1 at all. CW was activated in this game as well. Went to the mid, the right moment, getting the kill onto UA, then did not stop afterwards. 1-1, one, one, you pick it, you lose the game. 0% win rate right now in really? the series for 1-1, one, one. yeah. 0%, I think Owl picked Dude. it first, CW picked That's it, right. and then now Owl picked it again. So maybe 1-1, one, one, not that good of a pick no. in the series. No, 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 Marco. I'm, 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 I'm going to go a different direction, okay, man. Okay, okay. Because now, Onik, the thing is, they have Kyrie. Okay. Kyrie is the master assassin. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Get it, because that's the, yeah, yeah, get it. Yeah, but, I, okay, got you, yeah, I got thank you, I got you. But here's the thing. If you got a very good assassin player, and your team does not have anyone that can play lockdown, because again, we earlier, before the day started, right? We're talking about Keyboy and Oh My Venus. Mm -hmm. Oh My Venus, if you don't get a hero that can lock down an assassin, this is the difference what the roamers can do for your team. I mean, technically, Venus does have Minotaur in her kit. That it's doesn't lock us bad. Bad. And that's it's not why. a single that's target why. lockdown. That's why, that's why. Yeah? No, I'm saying that's the best it gets. Yeah, it is. Like Lolita as well, but again, no single target, pure lockdown like a Kaja, a Franco, and that is right Even now their Kufra, demise. Maybe. Wait, what if, been good. what if in secret, Oh My Venus has been playing the Joe? Mm. I'd be very impressed, you know? I wouldn't put it past the right. Queen, of course. Yeah. But I think at this point, 
if you're in Blacklist position, you already know the variables towards your team. A gambit needs to be made in yep. the draft. Somebody's going to have to pay their dues in terms of the draft, take a bit of damage so that the rest of the team can start to thrive. And I think at this point, it's clear that at least for Onik, they've adapted towards what Edward wants yep. to do. Because he was supposed to be one of the outs for Blacklist International. Now, even if UA is going to go, do they just revolve back to Owl? I personally feel that it's time for Wise. I agree. Wait. Okay. Good thing you just said that because I was about to really bring up the fact that maybe this is the time where the jungler choices for Wise might mm. change. We've seen Fedrin, we've seen Baksha. Why don't we go for those unconventional ones? Guinevere, for example, a lot of lockdown. Oh. Get on Katja, for example. Hylos, maybe. Solid, reliable lockdown. These heroes that make Wise famous in the jungle role, right? Maybe Here, we go back to that. Here's the thing, Wolf. His suggestion is so much smarter, I'm gonna look stupid in comparison. <laughs> Reaction for Saber Rogue. Hey, Ooh, hey, I no, like that. No, no, I like no, that. No, That's no, very no, smart. No, yeah. No, no. For who? All right. All right. 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 You can be the, the, the worst douchebag in the world. If you pick Saber Rome, I'll have more respect for the douchebag, okay? So please, don't play Saber Rome. I'm talking to all you guys in Epic. I'm talking to some of you guys, some of you nerds. What in, if Keyboy uh, plays Mythic it? As well. If Keyboy plays it, then, you know, he's not going to play. He's not a nerd. He's not a douchebag. Okay, yeah. I like his idea better, though. Yeah, I don't yeah. know. I, I agree with Miracle on this one. There are people who have committed more war crimes who haven't played Saber <laughs> that could probably get away with that. So, personally, for me, I'm, I'm with him. I do think that there is an idea, though. If anything, if it really comes to it, sure, again, if you really can't deal with this fanny, the lockdown was just that important. But the variables need to kind of fall into place. We know what mo majority of the comfort picks are starting to look like for both of these teams, but if we don't see that gambit happen, right, at least the two reactions yeah. won't happen. We can always say that the all reliable is there for for the side of Blacklist International with the composition that they have. So far in four games, that is what we saw. But maybe this is the time for a little bit of change. And they have been changing in maybe the mid lane or the roam. But yeah, it, maybe it could be from the jungle this time. That what is what we can expect from Blacklist International because it's clearly very clear as day. Onik knew how to deal with this. Maybe not the weirder ones. Maybe just put him on an assassin. You know, <laughs> Lancelot, Ling, Lancelot. Haya, they're all there. If you're going to challenge the master assassin himself, I think you know why. He's masterer assassin. The masterer assassin. I don't think so. Again, it's still going to be quite the 50-50. I don't think it's a 50-50. The thing is, why has been really like played into this role of utility jungle. I think Lance can still work. We've seen that as well in MPLPH, and I think mm -hmm. it's it's a it's a good like um, middle ground of assassin and utility. Yeah, mm. like the tanks a lot. Right? Honestly, at this point, I'd rather hear Mara talk. All right, <laughs> and let's get to that. Right, I think there is going to be another segment just tailored for your needs. So let's see what Mara and Ravi are doing. Blacklist, break the code! Blacklist, break the code! Blacklist, break the code! We're having a lot of fun here! You can see the Blacklist fans! Now we want to know why you think Blacklist will win! What does Blacklist have that Onyx doesn't have? Blacklist is just the three-time MPL champion! Three-time MPL champion! What else? What else? Kami lang din naman ang M3 World Champions! They're the M3 World Champions! What else? And of course, Philippines lang din naman ang current and past gold medalist of SEA Games! Philippines is the current SEA Games gold medalist! Alright, alright, we gotta get everybody pumped up to cheer for Blacklist International. Go ahead, cheerleader! Are you ready? Yeah! yeah. Are you ready? All right, Ravi, what you got over there? Yeah. Hey. Who said that Ornick doesn't have what Blacklist have? Now I'm gonna show you and the world to know that Ornick is much more than you can imagine. Go! 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 Now it's time to show the world that our neck will have everything in a very short moment of time. Are you ready? 
Two, cheer for honor! Okay, when I say go, you say go! Go! Wow, it's more than blacklist fat there. Is that enough, Mara? Oh, okay, okay, okay. We, we're gonna go back to US fan. What was the cheer that you were saying earlier? Let's go, Blacklist! 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 Oh, what's up? Can you top that, Rabbi? Can you top that? Why not? Okay, one, two, three. Oh, no! 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 Wow, that's great. Now we also have a fans here. They are ready. Hey, are you ready? Yeah. What do you want to show the world that on a Hey, Blackley, you think who you are? Wow. Who you think who you are? On the film in the time back, that's you. Wow. Well, you know what, on our oh, end. You Oh my, oh my V! 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 Oh
They get to decide their fates, but they also decide to go out the way they want to. Let's see what they arm their boys with up on stage. Blacklist versus Onyx. Let's jump right into it. Match point. Right now, Atlas, thanks for the help. Loving you a lot, dude. Atlas pretty cool. He likes yep. pizza. <laughs> what? Fun fact. Fun fact. Okay. Atlas likes pizza. In fact, sometimes he tosses himself. Now going into the game, Blacklist betting out the suppressed hero. No one is gonna get suppressed. No one's gonna wow. get the <laughs> diggy. Wow. Ooh, my friend. I'm guessing for Estes, yep, for him a ban. They have to ban Joy here, right? Blacklist International. Because what generally happens is Onyx is gonna open up 1-1 one -one once again. Then they pick it. <laughs> Then the others, they oh, it's a Kadira. So it's another Joy 1-1 one -one trade-off. I, I mean, is it possible I mean, that they 0%. just leave the 1-1 one -one open this time? I don't know. Maybe Onik might fall into it. We'll see what Coach Yep's mindset is going to be. Yeah, yeah see, they banned it out. Just like the previous game that we did see, right? They got rid of the Joy to make sure that it wasn't even in the hands of anybody else. And now Blacklist International, right? At some point, they have to go for a blind, a blind support shape. They're going to start off with a general flex. I think it's okay, but just it's not the strongest starter. No, I like it. I like you guys. 1-1 one, one Valentina here, right? Oh! 1-1 one, one Eve! Okay. Instead. You waste Valentina, it's gonna be incoming for sure. And then the Novaria, my goodness. Standard pickups. I mean, I don't know, man. Novaria is really good, but looking at Blacklist, I kind of feel like you gotta give a winning lead to Edward. Mm -hmm. And you gotta tank it up. I kind of feel like at this point, just pick up the Minotaur before it gets banned. Minotaur, oh, Arlet, right. maybe? Yeah. I would oh, yeah. say, yeah. Minotaur, Minotaur Arlet, Arlet works agree, here. Agree. If it was just Minotaur, if they just go for Minotaur Valentina, it's gonna be very hard. Real world manipulation, You're hard. CC. Uh, as one one is very hard. A hero, yes, exactly. Second skill. C anti CC. She can actually the just purify out of that oh, one. So, yeah, if they go for the Minotaur oh, Max, no, it's going to be no. too expensive. It's Novaria and Valentina. No. Oh! It's the oh, no way! It's the glue. It's the glue. Oh, no. I mean, you don't even have to ban the Fire Mace. No way they're going to pick it up, right? Yep. Yeah. Novaria, you you're not worried about that. You ban out the Valentina. You ban, you ban Leslie. Possibility. Oh. Not possibility. Yeah, so let, let's but, not fall into this trap, right? We, it's okay. happened too many times, and even amongst us casters, that teams assume, yes, their mid lane duo is already done, and they put the uh, they put Valentina in towards that jungle side and start opening up a new oh. leg of possibilities, and in this case, it could just be a fake out for all we know. Heads up, man, coming out from Onik with the Uranus. Go, Chieb. Wants to make sure that there will be no counter whatsoever for the glue. They are forcing Blacklist to play the setup game and the X play. Like Arut, your Lapu Lapu for sure, which will not be the best versus the hero. So that's, they're gonna be banning out the Uranus. I will not be surprised if the Benedetta is incoming for next. Or maybe a Leslie, right? Because it still is decent versus the comp of Onyx. Oh, okay, but they go for the respect ban here. And I think this is really, really wise. Well, wise is on blacklist, but. <laughs> You know I what I mean, it. right? I get it, I get it. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. So they do respect Kyrie here. They are going to go for the Leslie Ben, like you mentioned. Very interesting. But mm -hmm. what with what Gideon said, is it safe to assume that perhaps Blacklist does still have the possibility of picking up the Faramis? Uh, I think they absolutely do. But then the comp just really starts to crumble here because it's yeah. really, really soft. You can't expect Frederick to do absolutely everything in right. all say, all the roles unless they're willing to compromise even like, hey, Al, you want to pick up a fighter? Let's get a death ball composition going and then allow the rest of the team yep. to try and poke him out with the Navaria. <laughs> okay, still they can pick up the carry the, the, the Kyrie hero now, right? Something like maybe Martis or Akai. This is, still is good. When you pick up the 1-1, you have to make sure that the 1-1 is the star of the show. Much like you do with Fanny or Ling, for example. You kind of have to focus on just one hero that you really just stack up all of your farm. In this case, it's the 1-1, surely. So maybe you go for a utility jungler now for Onik. Like, like Bane? I said, Bane perhaps? Bane and the, the swimming pool, right? Mm -hmm. we, we saw the difficulty of Kyrie. Lancelot. There you go, okay. right? Because I was, up, I was about to mention, we saw the difficulty of Kyrie on the Akai when faced with the real world manipulation. And seeing as though Blacklist has already picked up the Valentina, I think it would be a little bit too tricky yeah. for them to go that route again. So I like this Lancelot pickup now. You're left with Claude, right, for Blacklist? Because it's decent versus Eve. Oh, sorry, it's good versus Eve and Glue. So maybe that's your only choice. But at the same time, you need kind of a lockdown from the X lane. So do you just go back to a Lapu Lapu? In, you know, match point for your opponents, you go back to what works. Edward has been so good with the Lapu Lapu. For so Beatrix Lapu? Mm -hmm. Lapu comes out. Alyssa, possibly? 
Melissa's going to be really tough to play up against a glue and a Lancelot. Even a Wandelon. So the Claude is the best option to go for. The Beatrix, I think they've had so many bad games on Beatrix, it's a bit too tilting to go for it last game per, again, possible last game. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So let's go Saber Rome. I'm just going to say it. I'm sorry. Saber Rome is a one shot against the Claude. You're God. standing up. <laughs> you know last what? game, you're winning. You have, you have, you're up 3-1. Go Saber Rome, right? I mean, safe. Go Arlet Rome. You know, oh, G-Boy has so many heroes. We've even seen him on Nata, Selena. There's so many that he can choose from. Cho, Kupra, if he wants. Oh, okay. oh okay. Minotaur, there you go. Less exciting, but looking at the draft, yeah. is it premature for me to say, I think we're looking at a champion of MSC here. Ooh. Oh, wow. I think I would go with the call. As, as the neutrals on the desk, I think I can agree with this. Coach Yeb, you've done a phenomenal job here. Yeah. Minotaur might be boring, but it's fundamentally good. Why? Because of the knockups. It will cancel the Claude Ultimate. Yeah. It will make it so that the Valentina as well as the Frenin will not have a, have a good time. Claude. And it will lock people down for the one one. That's right. Can we can we also shout out Adi man? Yeah, for sure. He hasn't been shouted no. out. Mm -hmm. Feels bad. Okay, Adi Achil out. His name was Achil out because it was Akuchuman Lokal. Now it's okay. Adi, Akudemi International. That means he <laughs> is here for the internationals. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. funny. That's You're funny. funny. But either way, yeah, shout out to Adi as well. Right now, it looks like the coaches are looking like, how do they exit the stage? They're looking left and right. <laughs> yeah, they're confused. They're a bit confused. How do I escape? Well, like I said, Welcome it's a game pass. So oh, I, I, I felt it. I felt it. I felt it. The fact that they didn't leave, I'm like, okay, something's going on. No, something's this is good. On. You're good. No, no, this is good because now we have a little bit more time because that felt a little bit rushed, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. With this being the possible last game of the season, I want us to analyze our minds. Okay, Wait, I'm not gonna actually, say it, look at Boots. What's going it. on? Boots? Yeah, something's not right here. Boots lifted his hand saying, I didn't touch anything. Mm -hmm. Right? Uh oh. So I think what's going on is they wanted something else. Perhaps a Saber Rome. <laughs> Oh, did they was like a mispick? <laughs> Maybe. Like I said, it turned up. But pro players do it. But Minotaur was good, yeah, according was good. to Mr. Wolf. Yeah, he's Minotaur's just being good. nice. Just, yeah. Minotaur is actually really good because yeah. it's uh, yeah the knockoff deals with the blazing duet cancels it out. You get so much rage because of the blazing duet anyways. So it's a fundamentally good hero here. But oh wait, wait. There's a there's a mistake here. The Minotaur brought. Arrival. So there's another M or a, a oh. spell bug because it's not just the Minotaur. It's it's the glue too. All right. The glue and Minotaur got Arrival yep. as they yeah, enter the fingers. game. Mm. We more will fingers. see a game remake, I believe. Yeah, redraft, I feel. Yep, that's wow. going to be a type four category issue that they go and fix it up. I, I mean, at the end of the day, I think both teams can understand the situation that they're in. Should be fixed up relatively shortly. We've got a timer, so this gives us a little bit more to kind of talk about this so they can kind of get the entire setup done and fix whatever is necessary. Thank you once again to our marshals quickly coming into response before anything happens. Imagine going three minutes into this game not realizing any of this has happened or even the professional players forced to kind of play it out. Yeah. That wouldn't be comfortable. That would be very awkward. Yeah. Yeah. Arrival, glue, and minnow? <laughs> I think it was... Uh, Even you meta. Arrival. I, I mean, haven't seen a very long time. But then a split, right? You got to find <laughs> some way yeah, to yeah, get to the side sure. leads. <laughs> yep. We got we got four minutes here. Anyone wants to open up a conversation? Say Barum. What? What? Nah, I'm sad. I'm just kidding. So Miracle put the shiv away. I don't know how you brought it up on stage, but you can't you can't be using that against the man. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. Anything? Uh, oh, you, you want to open the conversation? Okay. This okay. is the conversation. Okay. Surely, uh, we predicted that the Lapu Lapu and the Claw will be there. Fundamentally okay for Blacklist International. It's also one of their most picked heroes for Owl, and of course, Edward is a beast with this hero. Then again, if you think about it, it seems like Onik wanted them to pick up this hero. Absolutely. The way that they drafted it. So I'm still very scared for Blacklist International. It will really depend on how they execute this time. And it's going to be another skills issue kind of game. Here's the thing, right? Blacklist International, they like to play a little bit more reserved and especially very, very disciplined. But yep. I think this is going to force the evolution of Blacklist International. And especially for someone like Edward, he is going to need to catch some really big ticket items. Like how we saw when Echo versus Blacklist International during uh, during M4, we saw that these outplays make the difference. It's, it feels nearly impossible and sometimes even a 5% chance. But when you pull it off, it swings into your favor so fast. Right now, Mirko, 
It's a good thing I, I dropped down my yeah, mic. Yeah, yeah. 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 Okay. Good save. Dude, when you were talking to Oh Man Jeezy. Uh, oh My Jeezy. Genus. Yeah. Oh, my, oh My Genus. Oh My Genus. Um, he doesn't care. He doesn't mind, you know. You guys were talking about how five times Blacklist has uh -huh. entered international. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. They've only won once. Uh -huh. It looks like, I don't know, again, again, just looking at the draft, right? Maybe it's just going to stay that way. Maybe it is. Maybe it is. So right? Onyx not choking? Onyx are not choking. It's over the Blacklist. Maybe, maybe. We, we, maybe. we don't know. We don't know. I'm just, I'm just creating conversation here. Sorry, I wasn't listening to LaFell. No. Oh, uh, yeah. is my mic working? Hello, hello, <laughs> test, test, one, two, three. Ooh. Yeah, okay, now I hear you. All right, all right, all right. Yeah. It's selective listening. Selective. <laughs> She's like, yeah. The crowd agrees. Oh. Do you think oh, the foul's funny? You Do you think the foul's funny? Yeah. Hey, thanks. I appreciate She's that. She's so nice. You know what? You guys can cast now. I can go home. I'm, I'm so happy. I don't even need to pay today. Yeah. Oh, really? I'll take oh, it. Oh, no, no. You know, let's, 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 let's bring it back up. Let's bring it back up. So. Eterna still wants to see more games, but the reason why I'm saying this, right? Novaria and Valentina combo has been done quite a few times this yeah, series. It's the flavor. Not looking that good, especially because they don't have a lot of engagement. In fact, if I, if, if I may, I kind of feel like Oh My Venus has more wins on the Minotaur than the Novaria. Wait, can I just talk about that real quick? Because mm -hmm. you were centering focus on the Novaria and the Valentina. Yep. But I want to shift that to Novaria and whoever is in the gold lane, right? Because the last time Blacklist was able to utilize the combo between the Beatrix, I felt like it synergized better than Novaria and Wanwan. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. my point. Oh, Novaria Claude. I think, yeah, I, yeah. I think I, I get what, what you're... You do? Yeah, for sure. Because okay. if you go it's for the... the nerd. It's a nerd yeah. synergy, bro. Yeah, nerd synergy. I love it. Yeah, uh, the she, thing with... Uh, she said she's a nerd. <laughs> the thing with Claude is that it doesn't really take... Good advantage of the kit that you get from Navaria as well as the Valentina. Surely you have uh, AoE damage, but it's not like the Beatrix where you have extra, you know, extra hitboxes, the yeah. vision that you want. No matter I mean, what you're happens. Slowing the enemy. For sure. But it's with the Claude, you you with the Navaria I mean, you wanna stay really you wanna keep the distance. That's what I'm trying mm. to say. And this time it's the Claude running into the Eve. Surely that's a that's always a, have been an answer. Yeah. But with the presence of the Minotaur in this game, that's going to be shut down for sure. I just got to ask, even you said um, the Claude is an owl kind of hero. It is, it is. It like, is. what can we expect from him? Is he going to play safe or he he's one of those uh, Claudes where I have one item, I have two items, I don't mm. care about my KD, I'm going to go in. Or maybe the opposite, right? Stay in lane um, until the game ends. Stay in lane until a neutral objective comes, comes up. Ah. That is definitely the owl playstyle. So with the tempo of Onik, they have disrupted that. So actually, Owl was not very comfortable in this particular series all throughout the four games that we've seen because Onik disrupts that. They stop Owl from farming, and whenever he wants to get into the fight, you're, you're going to notice it's always late to the Lord team fights because Onik disrupts it. Actually, that'd be pretty cute, right? Seeing an Owl farm. I don't know what where his head is at right now. He is just he and the man is thinking about games of long and past. I don't know, bro. Dude, bro. I mean, Do you know that I mean, imagine like an owl, like a like a round body. Yeah, but Diggy wearing, is literally an owl. Like, yeah, but wearing a wearing a farmer hat. But owl isn't an owl. So he's yes, telling, he's exactly. talking about the player owl on stage right now. Who yeah, isn't an no, owl he's for not. Sure. No, he no, is he's going. Not. Dude, thanks, man. Thanks okay, for he's not. Got you. Amazing. Got you. <laughs> okay, saved. But, Get nerded. But speaking of, speaking of which, I, I think there's going to be two very pivotal moments for Blacklist International fighting around specifically neutral objectives, right? Let's set the scenario and set the parameters. And the first parameter, neutral, doesn't matter whether it's Turtle or Lord, most likely it's going to be Lord when they have enough damage to do so. I'm expecting something along the lines of Lapu cancelling out the Minotaur while also catching um, maybe either of the Marksmen. I'm guessing it's the mid laner more likely while Claw comes in with the Blazing Duet after they get the information from the Navaria, right? That's like the most ideal, perfect, stars-aligned moment for Blacklist International if it happens. And it's not easy to pull off, and by no means should it be the ultimate win condition overall, but I think that's the only way that they get an out in this game. Uh, which kind of, you know, what you just said is, you know, ideal, but so difficult. I mean, Edward, he's an able, he, he, he an can do it. He is an able guy to do it. Oh, yeah. That's a weird That's sentence. a weird <laughs> sentence. <laughs> That's a weird way to phrase he it. He has the ability. <laughs> Uh, yeah, yeah. You know what? Yes, Wait, congrats. I'm what? sorry to disrupt this con this yep. conversation, right? But 
if this goes to a redraft, are they still going in yeah, with the same, same heroes? Same, 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 exactly. Oh, okay. Just, just, just okay. changing the No, spell. I'm making sure, yeah, right? yeah, yeah, So yeah. the audience also knows. No, you know what? I, I, I I'm appreciate speaking that. on behalf of the audience. Same so, I, no, continue. Yeah, but it was, there's so much that, that, so much weight that you put onto Edward. Sanford, we saw them play the, play the Lapu Lapu against Arnick as well, and he played so good. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But this time, Edward, there's so much responsibility for the guy. I wonder if he can be able to constantly do it for the next 15 minutes of his life. Hey, hey yo, I mean, if Sanford, he's already coming in, what, a 17, 18 at this point? He is a kid. I'm sure Edward, slightly older, right. if not the same age at this point, because they basically look like the same, mm -hmm. probably able to make it work too. I agree. I think Edward can pull his weight. I think the problem for, a lot, of, for a lot of the times that Blacklist lose isn't because of Edward. Edward gets the right picks. If he does get those right picks, he's able to carry. He's able to pull more than his weight. Mm -hmm. But how the team follows through with his plays, that's been the thing. That's been the problem for Blacklist International. Oh, Keyboy having a reaction that he's like, Ugh. Yeah, and he's putting down his phone again, so... He got petrified. Yeah, I mean, he's like... Nah, nah. These so, are sound effects. So yeah. it looks like... Yeah, I just, I, it's for the benefit of the audience. Maybe not everyone's looking at a screen uh -huh, uh -huh. at the point where Keyboy was reacting to the camera. Like, imagine a, a, a squinty face with an open mouth, like... Nah, nah. Yeah, but do you see the person sitting next to Keyboy, right? CW or something? Well, we CW. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, I wanted to bridge to CW. Thank you, Mirko. CW, I think that this player is one of the players in Onik that has developed so much over the course of these seasons, right? I mean, CW was known to be that person that isn't really highlighted as a gold laner. He doesn't do the flashy plays before. People question his mechanics, micro-wise. Mentality. Mentality as well. Mm -hmm. And then he started to grow. His hero pool became larger, and now we're getting to the point where looking at the games that he's played in the series alone, he's able to pull so much with his mechanics alone. I think it's building. Uh, he has been able to build uh, on the foundation that he already has. I think for the hero pool, he's already always had a big hero pool. In Season uh, 7 even, when they didn't win, when they got knocked out by BTR, um, it was also already Belric Gold. We're seeing Farsa Gold, Ilya Gold, Harith Gold. In Season 8, he only, you know, evolved from that. But he's always been the jack of all trades, but master of none. Except for this, uh, uh, with the Wan Wan, right? But he's been able now to really focus down on just a few more heroes. And he is on another level on these heroes. The Beatrix, you saw what he was able to do on the Beatrix. The Melissa Wan Wan speaks for itself. And the Claude. Someone who's made the Claude work throughout this tournament. Uh, consistently, it's been CW. Chiku, even on the quad, Thanks his comfort hero, he didn't perform. That's not a really hey, good hey, shout out. Hey, 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 hey. That's been the case for quads in MSC. I would agree with you here, and I think you know CW is definitely one of those like harder carries that you that, that is under the, well under the radar at times, like uh, like Eterna has mentioned before. But I think he's definitely kind of found his own. Uh, found his own way in the world, especially with the team and lineup that kind of, you know, bolsters him and puts him in these positions where he can just focus on what he wants to do, which is hard carrying games at times if he is given the right matchup. Because half the time, he is walking out of that lane and he is feeling all right. He either walks up 50-50 or the most is he's down by one kill with a lot of outside influence, both of which brings benefit to the rest of the Onic members across the map. And I think most importantly here is the fact that he is not the reason why that they are dropping games anymore. A lot of people mm. have put so much hate over their years blaming mm -hmm. him for things that have nothing that relate to him at all. Now looking at Kyrie. What is Kyrie saying here, Turner? I, I can't read. Oh, okay. I'll read it for you here. I only want to take revenge against Blacklist. I want to overcome VYs because they are the ones that make Blacklist strong. They already won a lot of championships and they have already proved it. And he's talking about the home ground advantage i think he's just saying like okay guys you're doing a bit too much you know share it around we yeah. want a taste of the pie too atlas like spice as well yeah. i mean technically blacklist doesn't have an msc right yeah so you know why do they have to share something that they don't have yet oh fair point you got out you get you get out nerded <laughs> yeah, I got out nerded, but <laughs> look at the Marshall. You're right. not a nerd. Go. You're not a nerd. We're going into the game. Game number four. Four. No, five. Game number five. 
gold game number five blacklist against onyx we are here back with the one one on to chewe for onyx and of course blacklist first picking the fredrin to go with the novaria valentina that we thought that they will be picking up that means that blacklist international will just fix their execution and not their draft this is so standard blacklist international and onyx can they repeat the tempo that they did in the past four games. Okay, if we're gonna talk about don't repeat the mistakes, let's recap of what happened in previous games. After game number three, Blacklist has been picking up the tempo. They're pushing their, 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 their foot forward and forcing things out. But they start losing around the turtle. How do you fix that? Like, don't even go for the turtle? Try to force kills? Um. What's going on? I guess the, the things that they do outside of the turtle time makes that's really what they need to go with. Like the gambit that they did, although you understand the theory behind it, the yep. execution wasn't as perfect. They were losing the retribution. So maybe that is what they need to fix. Not the turtle fights, not the neutral objectives, because they're doing so well with that. It's what they do outside of it that loses them the game. For this lane though, the gold lane, I do want to talk a little bit about the selection of spells. Sprint instead of Purify. Usually when you see this composition from Onic, a lot of CC, especially with the one one as well, the Purify gives you a lot of value, taking away weakness points as well. So what you can see from this is Blacklist wants to utilize Owl as the janitor. He wants to come out and clean up. 100%. Yeah, right now, looking at the itemization as well, looks like Owl is giving respect over to one one having that Still lick plates. Yep. E Boy doing a little bit of shuffle in front of my Venus as well as UA. And we can hear that the turtle now has pawn E Boy as well as UA trying to get level four. It looks like they're gonna get it. Wise starting up. Now Blacklist. You can't make a mistake. Edward goes in. Oh, that's gonna be a stun two man from Edward. Agent Zero. What? Instantly. That's so good. good. A massive play. Excuse me, whoop. Not only did two members of Onyx that's disappeared. So oh my Venus. Acting like wise, taking away the turtle. A good job for Keyboy defending the orange buff. Had it not, you I mean Wise could have taken it so easily. Carry will catch up, but yeah, Edward. We were talking about and hyping up this guy. The way that he plays this level up is so good. Mm -hmm. He landed on two, eliminated them. He is gonna be the key for Blacklist International. All right, looking at Edward, honestly, very fast reactions. He used his flicker to get into a better positioning, making sure that he can get all of those hits. So, all right, a very good start because we just talked about how they manage the turtle. This is way better. Now, how do they move things forward? What kind of plays are Blacklist trying to do? Are they going to try to control the jungle? 100%. I think that they will take the turtle, the river first, and then the jungle, or maybe a sector of the jungle of Onyx. All right, that's going to be the chain CC. Good cancel on the Phantom Execution CW. They're all the way in the bottom lane, all what alone now. There's gonna be people who jumps in. CW will fall. Wise picks up the kill right now. The Minion Fury catches you away, but he's able to dash out of the real world manipulation. And so far, the early game. Oh, Wise goes back in Ooh. front. It's a ton and a double kill for Blacklist in the start of game five. And the energy eruption talk coming out from Wise catching two has so much value because now you have the damage coming out from Oh My Venus. That's the second skill dealing so much damage. And the longer you stay in that spot, it's HP based as well. It means that even the tanks will suffer from the damage output of Oh My Venus. Four assists already. You have to be looking at shutting down twice because he's able to just set up for his team. Dude, Novaria doesn't show off because Novaria does a lot of damage, but it's very unsuspecting. You're just staying inside the pool and you're like, I'm not in any danger. Yep. And I'd be like, wait, I thought I had more HP. What's going on? And now Onik, they are for now. Getting controlled by Blacklist. 1.8k gold lead. Why starting out the turtle again? And this time, look at this. Edward goes in again. Keeper gonna be engaged on. Pops in the Minion Fury, but it's a bit too late. It's a killing spree and a good reset from Blacklist. And Boots is able to flick around and he pays his wrath, but it's not gonna be enough. He dies instead. Didn't even pop the split split. Now Kyrie's next on the chopping block as they engage on him. Thorn Rose, but no red. Wait, wait, what? 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 That can happen. How? That's illegal. Replay. That can never happen. Replay. I do. Okay. It's the tick damage for sure, yeah. but why? 
Replay, 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 it's replay. It's I, I, I don't want, I don't want to get Impossible. in the field cheated. I don't want to get in the field cheated. Look at the <laughs> instant replay here. Impossible, dude. He okay. already won the fight. Oh. He's Talk. Gets, okay. Kyrie going for you and he did then his he Reggie, went. Right? Wait, 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 wait. No, no, he, he does used, have Reggie. You have take damage. You have take damage no, no matter what. No, it's from the orange. No, yeah, he, he didn't Reggie. No, he oh. didn't. Look, look at the Reggie. No, no, wait, wait, wait. Look, 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 look. Was so far. He didn't Reggie. I told you he didn't Reggie. No, why? It's the damage. Why? The orange buff. No, you no, have, you oh, have the, the passive, oh, the red yes. tree. The passive, the yes. passive of the oh red tree. Oh my god. Dude, no wait. way. How did he, no way. No it way. Is... Why miss that? Why miss that? When God is on your side. What do you do? What do you do, man? Oh. I mean, people can say that's not fair, but you know what? That's life. I don't know what to tell you, man. And now Boots. Taking up quite a lot of damage. Split, split. You can't escape from this one. A good real world with Glacier Stone away. Now Kyrie. There's no way he escapes from this. Phantom, oh, okay, never mind. Phantom execution, a run away. CW gets a turret. Dodges away from the appraiser's wrath. Hi, finally. There you go. There you go. Finally, man. Dude, ooh, I'm sorry. Ooh, ooh. I, I, I use a lot of my energy for that one. Yeah, uh, same. Uh, you know what? I'd rather be lucky. It can happen. Like, what are the chances? I actually checked it out. I calculated the chances. You know how much it is? How much? How much? One in Whoa. 15 million! Well, this is not one in 15 million for this fight. It's all on it. 100 to 0. What happened? Why isn't Venus got caught? Keyboy is online. I was looking for split, but Boots and CW were responded over as the turtle should be free for Kyrie. But he goes for yep. the purple first. No, he's rotating already. Four seconds on Venus. He should be free. You and Edward trying to deal some damage. I'm not too sure what they're trying to achieve here. Maybe possibly winning the fight right now as Boots is part fourth. He's a split split. Able to escape for now, but asking the bravest fighter. Retribution by Kyrie to secure the turtle. Blacklist International able to push oh. Onik back though. Oh, really? Blacklist International, they didn't, They might have got tilted by the turtle because that fight looked like as if they're not crossing their T's and dotting their I's. They went in there blindly, and that meant that Keyboy found the opening. They didn't look for Edward first, which should have been the hero to cancel the million one fury or maybe just disrupt the back, back lines. Oh my Venus, as well as Wise, if they don't have their knockups anymore, there's no way for Keyboy to be stopped when using the Minion Fury. And they, there wasn't anyone from Blacklist to scout, scout that out. And that meant that Onik clearly takes that turtle. And the fact that they've lost their mid lane, kind of weird for Blacklist. Uh, right now, looking into the situation, still 1.6k gold lead for Blacklist. So far, Al has been uh, free farming, having two assists onto himself. And I gotta say, both Edward and Yui are popping off. Edward especially, uh, I would say is the big difference maker here, making it so that Blacklist has an easier time fighting around the neutral objectives. It's gonna be curious, but interestingly, Blacklist here are leading. So we have not been talking about Owl. This is probably the quietest game for Owl. 0-0-2. Zero, zero it's farming. I think he has the Golden Staff as well as the Demon Hunter Sword. So Sans really yes. he wants to... He's racking, out, racking, racking out the stacks. Racking out the stacks. Yep. He got to make sure that even if Leo Murphy comes back, he's not going to be able to yep. catch up. Now, Boots as well as Sans in the mid lane. Wise, is he going to be that Psycho Fredrin going over to Sans? But again, Sans is one of those. Oh, Keyboy's here. Mm. Wow, just poking out CW. Okay. Good body block as well from Keyboy. But for both of these teams, again, I think for uh, Onik and Blacklist, let's see. Mid game power spike, who should it favor? Oh, I guess Onik, just because of carry. Yeah, in level 12. I guess in a in a 5v5 setting, you would still favor Blacklist International. In a re-engaged setup, that's when Onyx runs. So the power spike is definitely Blacklist International. Had it been that Wise is catching up to Kyrie's levels, Kyrie got two turtles out of nowhere. Mm -hmm. And now he's a level ahead of Wise. Well, Owl with the Blazing Duet early, very early now. Bumps in the sprint as well. Boots gonna be gunned down. Wow, beautiful damage as Kyrie jumps into the back line. CW is still here, but it's Boots 0, 4, and 0. Not a good stat for the captain. Yeah, right now we can definitely see the type of player Al is. Yep. If he sees an opportunity, he's gonna go guns yep. blazing. Not a type to look at the situation. He's just like, I'm gonna make my own luck. Kyrie now going up against UA so far. Again, not doing quite a lot of damage. The ward dance here usually is blacklist kind of game. But now, Onik, how are you gonna fight back? Well, Edward. 
He's waiting in that bush Ooh, right now. No one spots catch. him. He was already very low. If no one spots him here, Edward might go for a lot of damage. Wow. But finally, Kyrie is able to open up that bush. Meanwhile, bottom, you can already see Sans earlier used up the real world manipulation. A big resource here to be used up as the Lord is still being poked back and forth. Say what you will about Blacklist. Their Lord is so crisp. Yeah, but here's the thing, man. CW is looking quite low. And speaking of which, Keyboy has that flicker. I'm pretty sure he's just waiting for Blacklist to get into the habit of grouping up, doing yep. the Ube, and then punishing that. Okay, Watch Edward. out for Weiss. Oh, yeah, with Edward as well on the back, on the long lane. Weiss is always resetting the Lord because he knows that Kyrie is a level ahead of him. So what they need to do is to kill the members of Arctic first. They're just using the Lord as a bait at this point. And look at the bottom wave. It's going to come crashing down, and that's going to be a lot of XP that Boots is not there to soak in. Edward is two levels ahead of Boots right now. A massive advantage that they can certainly use in the next coming fights. And that's an easy siege from the minions alone. That's a right. good slow push built up. CW yep. is the one who is forced now to be sent down below to clear it. That's the Lord Dance of Blacklist with the long lane control from Edward. A classic. Oh, wow. All the blazing new and a big resource here, but it's actually a lot of damage. Kyrie forced to use the final execution. His boots popped in his split flip, and oh my Venus! Finds the kill, Boots, 0, 5, and 0. Now Keyboy, whoa, that's gonna be him taken down. Pops him into Fury in time, but there's no damage to take them down. Wise very low, plays his wrath, beautifully placed to get some more damage. CW has come back into this fight, he's gonna go for one more weakness point, but Yue is able to flick her out. Shut down for Kyritos, Venus is gonna be chased down now by CW. Edward walking back, now with Bravest Fighter. Just two more weakness points for CW to fly, and he finds it! Edward, now it's gonna be CW who flies around. Kyrie with the Thorn Rose, Kyrie finally falling. Whoa! Edward with the flank, but CW what? is able to dodge away from it. Oh! No! With an amazing snipe from downtown, Onik outplayed in the 11th minute. Blacklist International, they're slowly dancing in a burning room, and Onik caught all the fire. We saw Chewe was able to find the kill onto Yue, but Edward was so tanky and was so on point into keeping the stacks out. Physical damage reduction with the passive, as well as the, the kit of Edward, he managed to survive. Then, oh my Venus, closes it out. Blacklist International, they're Lord Dance. They're the masters. They've invented it. Dude, that snipe CW was dancing around. But, oh my Venus, is like, I got my eyes on you. Got my eyes on you. You're looking very low. Let me get you back to base and back to waste. Back to base. Back, Back to, base. to base. He went. That's the idea. I mean, folks, this is a masterclass. If you think that your enemy has a level or two ahead of you, play the long lane. Clear that out. Shove that. Clear the minion, the mid lane, all the time. Slow push the short lane. Clear the Lord. Then turn into heroes first. Don't take the Lord. Use it as a bait. Mm -hmm. Blacklist International. They have mastered that play. And you can see it in action. They're utilizing the XP lead so well because if Boots goes down, he's obviously just going to lose out on that. Now, though, it's going to be the defense. Still not the Enhanced Lord, first Lord of the game. So it should be cleared out by Onik here, but they should lose their Tier 1 in the mid lane. Good micromanagement if they only lose Tier 1 in the mid lane, but I don't think that's going to be the case. Blacklist already marching down onto the Tier 2. Onik getting poked down under the turret. Owl goes in. Oh, he still are able to salvage it. Right now, Onik playing very well, making sure that they don't lose too much over that Lord. And I kind of feel like that second tier turret down the bot is already too expensive, honestly, for Onik. So now, again, you talked about it. Right now, Edward 5 0 and 5. Boots, the exact opposite. Yeah. 0 5 and 0. Not looking well for yep. Boots here on this blue. There was a timing where Boots wanted to go for, for, for the, the play, for the grab grab. But of course, Owl already had the Demon Hunter Sword as well as the Corrosion Scythe. And it really spelled the doom for, for Boots. He cannot even activate his ultimate because of that. And Blacklist quietly took this in a systematic manner. Now, you're gonna wish, what if Onik went for the Saber Rope? This would be different. No, no, no. I agree, I agree, I agree. Oh I agree, my I agree, lord. I agree, Mid lane, gonna be pushed down. Blacklist looking for the Siege, but it's a good clear from Onik. That's a lot of damage though. Place on the key boys. The real world inflation from UF. Sold away with IMU will be there to push them back. Ow, whoa! 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 Venus! Whoa! Amidst the chaos, threading the needle with the Astral Sphere, the Queen. Oh! Another! Oh! Okay. Okay, okay. I'm sorry for talking smack about the Novaria. Okay. 
position 5 na Varya. Ladies and gents, Mr. Shop allows him to get so much farm or so many items Holy. very quickly. Now, we're looking oh at the siege. Oh my god! Venus wants one more. Should be able to find it here. Sans might actually be forced to use the ultimate. My goodness, that damage. Oh, if it's another, then Dude. it's not human, right? Oh, my Venus is like, you know what? I'll do it myself. Oh my <laughs> he god. got the first turtle. Wise, Wise couldn't get the other two. Yeah, exactly. He's playing like, like Kobe right now. Oh, my Venus. Just very much a boy. Curry, maybe. Yeet! Yeah. No, wrong. Okay. Oh my Venus, Chef Venus at this point, right? Right now, Wise is pulling the Lord over. So now, I know this is Mobile Legends, but ladies and gentlemen, let's learn how to tango with Blacklist. Okay, again, just a few shots poking it in. But with Athena already popped in, wow, Owl! Doing a lot of damage just with the passive keyboard, jumps in. But Owl's able to escape right now, and this poke is going to be Onyx demise. If they don't trigger it, or if they don't bait it out, it's going to be very hard for them to win the Lord Dance. Right, right now, Keyboy already feeling quite low, CW looks a bit hasty. I think he's feeling like, I got to I gotta have this in my hands, I got to do something here. Yep. Everyone's getting poked out from Onik, man. And and wait, 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 CW, you got to be careful. Edward's seeing you. Now he wants to push the short lane, but the long lane is already being controlled by Blacklist. Elements of the Lord Dance. They're getting everything, and the aggro of the Lord is now onto Wise. That's another important element in this Lord Dance. Okay, mid lane gonna be taken care of by Kyrie. Oh, 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 that's very, very bad for Blackwater International. Real Revelation comes down. Kyrie, he can dash, but can he retreat? This is the question right now. Zao jumps in the black side. Oh! Finds a double, and it's Wise! The Psycho Frederin! The king of the jungle! Oh my goodness, watch out. secures it for Blacklist. CW running away with boots. Zero, five, and zero. Wise chasing it oh. down, now dashing forward. They want to go for the end. This might just be it with the taunt as well. It. It's CW who's able to sidestep for Blacklist International with just this wave. They might be able to end. 15 seconds on the clock for Keyboy. Can Chewe do it? Anyway, it's coming down. CW goes for it. He clears it out. He clears it. No, there's still one Tana minion. Blacklist International. They are not done yet. Blacklist International keeping the game alive. Onyx match point, game's not over. Now the score, not even just yet, but that much closer. Now, this best of seven is three to two. There were only two things that happened for Blacklist International that we thought they needed. First, Edward popping off, getting the first two kills. Second, the Lord Dance. And if there will be any kind of game that you would want to look at for you to study how Blacklist operates, the Lord Dance, that's it. Every element is on point. Onyx just playing and dancing with them. In the burning room that we are talking about, they caught fire. It's because Blacklist International, they've set up the dance floor to their own advantage. As we're bringing in Gideon Q as well as Eterna, I just would like to say to all the agents out there, you're welcome. I have used the curse ever since my inception. Wow. Now <laughs> in the MSC 2023, wow. I'm still using it well. I gotta give it, honestly, you gotta give it to Blacklist, but especially if the MVP does not go to Edward, I'm yeah. extremely upset. He played hey. an incredible yeah. Lapu Lapu. Six, oh. Zero and six in the end. I mean, yeah, but oh my Venus, kind of putting a ticket there as well. Like, don't forget about me. He got the turtle. <laughs> he true, did get true. the turtle, to be fair. He did get the turtle, but I think at the end of the day, the big player had to be Edward, I, I right? Agree. He not only tanked the damage, he found the right picks. He found multiple of the right picks, snowballed the early game, won his own lane on top of pushing the momentum to make sure that Boots was basically done for by the eighth minute. And I think that is very important to the strategies coming in from Onik. When Boots isn't given a hero, usually is what we see, isn't given a hero that he's comfortable on, he usually doesn't perform. But this time around, who cares about the hero? Let's just shut that person down in general. And that's exactly what Edward was there able to do. And that won him the MVP on the Lapu Lapu. Agent Zero, the zero in his name stands for the zero deaths in this game. <laughs> Look at his face. Like, oh, I'm not done yet. Oh, thanks. <laughs> Job's not done. Right. Job's not done. Okay. I think... A you know what, he played a very important role. Getting the first turtle, he get the two, 2k afterwards. Landing it, landing the Bravest Fighter so efficiently onto two heroes. That means that they were they maximized the damage output. Then there was a fight where he tanked up the crossbow tank. 
just because of working with the kit of the Lapu Lapu, having extra armor pen armor defense. Wonderful jump. And then onto the bottom lane, they have found the Chewe. I mean, they started the snowball so early on for Lapu Lapu, but as soon as we see, okay, your lane is done, Edward, you continue yep. winning on that side. We're going to move on the opposite side and try to get as much punishment as possible. Just notice where Edward's eyes are. Every step of the game, they already had a target in mind. First, take away the key combo starters, key boy in this particular case, from the side of Onik, and then slowly we'll make our way up to eventually go on for that big jump onto so one -on one. And the fact that he went back to our play for Oh My Venus, that says a lot. Oh. I mean, greed, but calculated greed. He still went yeah. for the buff. He yeah. went for the kill, and he did not get punished. I mean, he died there, but in that situation, he did get punished. Look, yep. the man's all business for a reason, right? He know, He's cold. He's a cold killer. Yep. And that's why you feel like he's not keeping to himself. No, he's protecting himself yep. from you. You don't want to be able to get that close to him because he will immediately pounce. He yep. can't help but follow the instinct. Now, you have to watch out for Owl in this play, by the way. I think that this will be the play where he's able to mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. take out Sans eventually. Still credit to Owl. Oh, this is the Edward play. Look at him go. T TW will get a kill. But Edward still managed to land at least three blows. So that gave him the shields and the defense. Ooh. Almost taking out Chewe, but oh my Venus. Three, two, woo, from the logo. Gets it to go. Oh, so brutal. I don't know, because again, this was such a strong composition coming in from Onik, right? Again, it yeah. felt like for the very Ooh. first time that Onik was not able to kind of find their win conditions, they were yeah, able to wait. I'll play yeah. with the BMI to get to the wow. backlines and sends. That's why the card is uh, the counter to the E. Yeah, you can bounce out with the battle mirror image. Beautiful plays here from Owl, and you can really see what the Claude can do, right? Once you get that item power spike, just go for these fights because that's the time. Wait, 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 wait. Look at the GPM. Seven, seven, seven. seven. Oh. Game seven? Is that right what it's on? hinting at? Ooh. Ooh. Well, Scripted. <laughs> four oh and seven for Owl. I mean, we ah, have been talking about this seven. guy. But 70 minutes, ah, oh, seven spooky. turrets. Okay, okay, okay. But yeah, we, we mentioned that the last two picks, Claude as well as the Lapu Lapu, they should step up. And we saw how Owl played this game. Activated, once he got the Demon Hunter Sword and Golden Staff, he went in for the kill onto Boots as well as the, the Eve. So he knew his job, and everybody from Blacklist uh, really rode that momentum. I mean, they were trying to ride it as far as possible. I just feel bad for good guy Boots, right? He was doing so well for so many rounds until this game where he finally makes the yeah. first mistake and then it just goes downhill. Everyone has that one game, you know? That's also true. Let's just hope he keeps it that way. Yep. <laughs> we'll see whether that's going to be the case because that's not the only flaw that we saw. Number one, Keyboy going in and out. It did mm -hmm. feel like once once they started falling behind, that they kind of ran out of steam. Mm -hmm. I did talk to Chicken and Zane actually about the Minotaur pick, and Chicken is very, very vocal about how much he hates this hero. He feels like it's so overrated, it doesn't really give much to the team when you're behind a bit, because it's so squishy. You have a good engage source, sure. You have a crazy team fight uh, ability, but you are very squishy. And when you go behind, even more so. You saw Keyboy yeah. just melted down. Boots as well. The Roamer doing the most damage. Well, what a world to live in. Wow. It's not the Diggy. It's not. It's the Novaria. Novaria. Oh, wow. And then Onik, of course. The reason why Boots as well as Keyboy weren't able to do what they're tasked to do. For example, Boots needs to go on to perhaps uh, Wise so that they can secure the Retribution. And Keyboy needs to cancel the Blazing Duet. The reason why they weren't able to do those two things is because of the fact that they were struggling in the early stages. They needed at least to even up when it comes to the gold. But they weren't able to do so. They were so squishy in this game. And the the cloud just uh, yeah. kind of over overtook or they overtaken yeah whatever actually that now is. at seven minutes I got I gotta ask would it more, be more interesting if you go all Save seven games yeah of course of course right don't are we all it. waiting for that don't jinx it. all right we're all yo, waiting for a full yo, seven game yo. whoa I think on is gonna win this one <laughs> on doing it they're good. doing it yeah. the curse I think is you have here. to I think it's uh it's it's the it's the it's over last there game. who needs to do it no, I'm changing up. I, I want to no. see who I have synergy with. No, because something else holds the worst curse. Okay. What? Someone, someone from this table. No. No. It's what? not something it's else. Not on the table. What? What? Under the table? No. Who are you? Not under the table oh, okay. either. Where? Where? It's the one one. Mm. Oh. Still zero percent. Oh. 
She's win right. Rate she so out nerded far. us once again. Dude, she out nerded oh, us one, once one. again. That doesn't win. One. That's one. Not <laughs> ten. That's a, Dude, it's oh, like sorry, sorry. past tense. <laughs> yeah. I won. One. Nice. Right? <laughs> you, you're you really really you know you're lowering it down. It's now a one out of ten. Moonton has nerfed you so much. <laughs> Relax. Uh, I mean, to be fair, they also ner technically nerfed down the Lapu Lapu in its damage mitigation, but it just yeah. feels like, you know, just I mean, raw mechanics, raw mechanics, abuse of the passive. And at the end of the day, I just, it's, it's a beautiful game that we get to witness here. But it is also the fatigue that we need to address. Mm -hmm. It feels like, you know, Onik, the communication isn't looking as clean sharp. overall, as yeah. sharp. And again, Kyrie actually had a significant level lead over Wise. It doesn't justify the fact that he's missing out these retributions. Yes, yes. they're targeting him, but they should be looking to try and 50 50 this Lord. And worse comes to worse, fight it like Echo. Take as many lords as possible and slow down yeah. this game until everybody starts to scale. Yeah, I think that Onik had a, the entirety of Onik had a brain fart in uh, that game. Mm -hmm. Because they <laughs> forgot uh, everything that they needed to do. They forgot the fact that there should be the Lord Dance. Because in the first two games, they knew how to deal with that. But in this particular game, they forgot the control of the long lane. Mm -hmm, they mm -hmm. were getting pulled. Carry was receiving so much damage. Boots wasn't able to pop these ultimates. So yeah, they, it's, a, it's a massive Onyx brain fart. I would say it's more so for the... Uh, I mean, neutral objectives are more of a priority for Onyx than it was for Blacklist. The fact that Blacklist were able to control the game through the neutral objectives because of these little mistakes that they were making. Minotaur not hitting level 4 as fast as Venus. Yue clearing out the wave and dishing damage on towards him as well. Nice try, nerd. He did it. Why aren't you calling him out? No, because no, you failed. He what? did it. All right, I want to touch on what Wolf mentioned earlier, right? Because you were saying that it felt like Onik weren't really... Wow, that's distracting. See? <laughs> yeah, you're right. <laughs> Amazing. Okay. Because I want to say, is it the players or is it the heroes that were, you know, given to them, right? Mm. Because we see what Minotaur, we see the glue. Is it really... Is it really, you know, in yeah, style? The glue's fine. I, I think no, the glue's fine. And yeah. Wait. I'm not done. Oh, sorry, and sorry. And on top of that, it also signifies that Blacklist with first pick has a little bit more to say when it comes down to that drafting phase. I'm punching in my ticket. I'm punching my ticket saying it wasn't a draft. It wasn't a draft? I agree. I don't know. I what about punch you? my ticket, yeah. You're punching your tickets as well? Mm -hmm. Well, you know. It's not a draft. No, I, I mean. Uh, Aeterna has been out nerding us for the quite a for quite a long time now, so I think I'm gonna agree with her okay. to the point where <laughs> it's not about the heroes; it's more about the hero to player kind of dynamic. Where That's what I'm talking about. Yes. Boy needs more ways to initiate. Minotaur is just a one engage kind of guy, right? No, he ain't is. no one engage. It's not, it is. It's it not is. the size; it's it the is. wave of the motion. Nah, nah, nah. And nah, that's nah, also nah. true with boots. <laughs> You guys are going way off tangents here. At the end of the day, I know for a fact what you guys put in, and especially what they put in their MSC coins for when they're making their bets on which team is going to win. The MSC support chest will be available from June 5th all the way to June 18th to spend only 20 diamonds. And you may stand a chance to get an excellent Leo Mord Triumph Eagle. Leo Mord? You? Mord. Up to a thousand MSC coins await you to uh, await to get to you. So purchase the MSC support chest and root for the MSC games now. Use those hashtags: Mobile Legends Bang Bang hashtag See the World and hashtag MSC 2023. Thank you, everybody. At least we were on sync on that. Mm -hmm. But at the very least, I know for a fact that I have to buy a bunch of support chests because I have lost so much already in my predictions. Let's have a look at how the teams are feeling so far. Well, Mental reset definitely is needed for Onik. Gonna be starting it with the ritual. And uh, I think that definitely what you look at the game is a combination of both them being unhinged in those team fights and the fact that Blacklist International just reverted back to, back to what works. It looked very com uh, comfortable for them. We, we kind of we, we predicted the Varia and, and Valentina and then the Pulapo and Claude, right? So that's like a, literally predicting what Blacklist can do. And that's not, that's not bad about Blacklist. Even when their hero pull is so low compared to Onik, the fact that they mastered that kind of playstyle speaks to how they are winning the team fights. 
I w I'm sorry, I got distracted. I was hoping that we could get a sneak peek of what yes, Master of the Basics same, same, and Dexstar are looking at, but they're like, no, 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 nobody gets to see this, but they're going to break it down, right? The micro mechanics that were going into this. It's clear that Onik did have a bit of a brain fart, but Blacklist still could clean up their game even more. It's great to see, at the very least, that we're seeing both Owl and as well as UA, but specifically Owl in this game, able to start coming out of their shell and being, yes, yep. we don't necessarily have to follow this single line plan as soon as the war begins. Yeah, I think that if you think about it, like you said that yeah, Owl just li literally like, you know, came out of shell, spread his wings, and finally what? realized what, what is this is. Yeah. An owl that <laughs> comes shell. out of his shell, yeah, spreads from, its from wings, being, uh, from slither being on the ground. Wait, from what? From being a young owl, you get out of your shell, right? Oh! Wow! Wait, owls are from eggs? Yeah, it's a bird. <laughs> <laughs> you think it comes from bird? Yeah. Wow, yeah. from brain fart to brain dead, <laughs> very, very quickly. <laughs> like, so fast. <laughs> That's a 10 out of 10. <laughs> that is a 10 out of 10. That is a 10 out of 10. That's a 10. Oh my god, that's so hey, funny. I, I, I feel like I'm being bullied here. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, um, I've already shown his, uh, his worth, but I think that Weiss has been, mm -hmm. you know, quite questionable in some parts of the game. Surely he was able to get, what, 2 0 in the first few minutes, but. Missing that second turtle, I think that, that should not yeah. happen. I, I really, like, I can understand. Okay, sure, wow, everyone does a lot of damage there on the very first turtle. Yeah. But you move on to the second one, yeah. and there's no excuse anymore. Yeah. Kyrie already has that level. You already had position, including the fact that Keyboy basically can hold your opponents hostage. Yeah. So it, it just feels that they need to clean up their own gameplay. And a turner mentions a really good point here. The upcoming draft, I feel like Blacklist might actually reposition yourself. Whether or not Navaria is going to get picked up by Oh My Venus once more, hard to say. The problem is in the way they play their lanes. Because I feel like, again, okay, the Turtles, uh, there was a lot of questionable retributions, there were a lot of questionable plays happening around the map, but it all starts in the lane. The fact that Onik have drafted two winning lanes, but they've lost two of their lanes, is a disaster. How is the 1-1 losing to the Claw that bad? And mm -hmm. how is the glue? Level 1 to 3, you should be dominating the Lapu Lapu, losing up against the Lapu Lapu pre-4. Ooh, that discussion between V and Wise looks... Intense. Intense. <laughs> that, it looks intense. That did not. The face you made did no. not look like I that was swear. the word you wanted to bring <laughs> no, up. No, no, no. Me, me and Eterna, we don't need to look at each other. We so got this brain connection. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The so brain she's brain also connection. No, because like that's that's important, right? Mm -hmm. Because coming into the series, people get more and more lethargic. People get more and more emotional. Angry. <laughs> Maybe. Oh. Well, it was an intense discussion. Not really sure what was going on. Dude, here's the thing, right? Being on stage, it, and I, I want to hop on, add on to your point about how being tired kind of shows the real you. Kind of shows that you want to win, you got to do everything that you got. So if you got ideas, you say those ideas. If you have things to say, you say those things. But again, it's about managing yourselves as well. Yeah. Because when you're tired and you want to let yourself loose, that could be good, but that could also be bad if you start losing your own discipline, starting to play with your emotions instead of your head. Yeah. That is See, I'm not always dumb. Yeah. yeah. That, that, I'm actually surprised. Yeah. I'm, I'm stunned at hey, this point. I used to be a coach. That's true. Uh, Bronze medal. Bronze medal. Shout out to Sea Games 2019. Uh, to the Philippines. Okay. You know, yes, <laughs> Edison Manila, yeah. Edison Manila. <laughs> a lot of things happening at all, all in one place in 2019, man. Yeah. Good times, good times. Good times. But living yeah. in the future, it's still, it, it's great to see that the next generation is already coming to a point where they're catching up fast, right? Mm -hmm. Even when we look into the back, the two new rookies are looking yes. fine and they're getting sharper and sharper each and every game. I think, you know, they're past the point of we, we need to overcome our nerves. I don't think that's a factor anymore. And even for the side of Onik, right? Drian, the original yeah. Kage who won 2019, was, is there and giving his support to the rest of the boys, sure. telling him the way that this is not going to be a wash like when he was playing in 2019. This is going to be only the more difficult. Yeah, I think that Jirian still, you know, looking at always communicating with Onik people, on the, you know, because some of them are my friends. Yeah, Drian Only still. Some? some of them, just some. It's like, yeah, is you're cool, the rest of you are kind of like not. Well, no, I cannot. Uh, there's, there's a big organization. Arnik is a big organization, you know, so I know maybe like 10 out of the 60 out there for sure. He's but you're, you're friends with all 10. Of course. Of the ones you know. Of the ones I know, that's okay. right. Okay. That's Don't put me hostage here, but yeah. <laughs> I, I was able to talk to them, and yeah, Drian really. Um, 
contributes a lot, uh -huh. especially with the, the way that the, the morale is there, the way that they're communicating, and of course, like giving out a lot of like veteran um, knowledge to the team. Uh, so they, they play a very important role. Definitely has a lot of knowledge to bring to the table. I mean, this guy is a veteran. He was still playing in the highest level of MLBB up until, I think, Sans. Up until Sans went and transitioned into that mid role, yep. and he was doing it really good. He actually brought the Lapu into the mid lane, Hanzo yep. mid as well. So a lot of crazy picks from Drian. But sometimes, you know, you got to have someone to say, careful, bro, and that's Boots. That's usually what happens. All right. I think it's time here. With everything said and our marshals making sure that things are going smoothly, we are coming up to the next game. Game number six to predetermine Ooh. whether or not Onik is going to be able to hold the championship or Blacklist evens it out to one more game to what we're all waiting for, a potential game seven. It's time for the drafting phase. Do or die here for Blacklist in particular, right? Even though they were able to get that game off the hands of Onik, they are still <laughs> at match points. The and there you go. Blacklist still first pick. Yep. Onik with second. Oh, look at this. Onik did not buy the diggy first. Oh, okay. Okay. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> they, they, they just Fredrin. got bored. This is Fredrin. 10 out of 10 times. Fredrin, get a B. The I agree. For Fredrin, list. lock it in. Or maybe just the Novaria at this point. I think they're all nah, yeah, Fredrin. Fredrin, Fredrin, Fredrin. You snatched the Valentina if you're Onik. Yeah, 100%. 1 1 Valentina. I think that's the better choice. I mean, 0%, dude. Yep. My Valentina. 1 1. Dude. Think leave, about leave the one one. Leave, you know, let, let the man cook. Let the man Yo, cook. Let's see one one is gonna get. No let, more one one, please. Let one yeah. one rest. Yes. Yeah, I mean, I'm 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 I'm, you know, I'm a Filipino, so I want them to pick up the one one. Oh, no that's one right. one. Oh, 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 oh. There you go. Let's go. They'll say no wolf. No. Let's go. They'll no. pick up the cho. So you go Eve and um, the Varia here if you're blacklist. Or one Still. one. No. No, no. <laughs> that's a no. That's a As no. As an Indonesian, I want them to pick one one. Hey. As a Filipino, no, no, no. I don't want them no, to pick no, up no, one no. one. I mean, one one has a personal purify going up against the quad. Uh, sorry, the cho. the cho. It doesn't matter. He has a personal curse. Okay, so, yeah, true. You know but what? Yeah, uh, let me think kidding aside, though. I think the one one is still a pretty strong hero, but knowing Blacklist International, they'd rather go with the quad as the last pick. In this case, you go Eve as well as the Novaria because it just gels well with the way that you're playing the game. Oh. oh no! <laughs> no! Wait, wait, wait! Hundred and two percent! Hundred and two percent! Hey, we saw that production. We saw that. We saw that. Hundred and two percent. Oh, but it looks like there's a fun fact here, right? Onik has used a total of thirty-two unique heroes in MSC yep. 2023. Uh, whereas Kyrie has already used nine different yep. ones in the jungle role. We talked about this, yeah. right? Yeah. You know the what? flexibility that Onik has, the versatility that they have. So it's very difficult to target ban them. I think you go Fanny here, right, with her Onik? Oh, yeah. yeah. So, Fanny would be amazing for them. And, yeah, there you go. Wow. That's, okay, the one thing Wan Wan doesn't do well against is the Fanny. The Fanny absolutely yeah. is... Oh, man. The, the things I've seen in my rank games. <laughs> I can see the PTSD oh, flashing PTSD. behind your eyes, my bro. But I'm, we're expecting to get rid of the counter picks of the family, right? I'm expecting the Kufra to go. I'm expecting, you know, single target lockdowns to all be gone. Yep. The suppressions are already out of the question. So that's already a good start. Yeah. I think you can ban Farsa and the Eve now if you're on it. Unless, of course, you're interested in taking Minotaur? that. But they already have the Valentina. So. I don't see the Farsa, again, going up against Fanny. Maybe Tiny is okay. Yeah, with for that? sure. Right? But Yeeve, I think. Yeeve. No, no, no. How about betting out the EXP laners or the junglers? Because again, the defender could go anywhere, right? Uh, I, feel like that's, I feel like that's more on the onus of Blacklist International rather than no, it is on Onyx. Right? Right? See? Called it Akai Ben. Fair wow. enough. Fair enough. I, I see know the wave. And look, wow. the, waves are, the waves in your head are working out. I can definitely see it. I'm no. not brain dead. <laughs> not yet. Not yet. Not <laughs> yet. <laughs> or not anymore. Okay, wow. Blacklist will ban out the Uranus. Sustain, making it because they did play the split push header like the, the Onyx, the banana split, right? With yeah. the Fanny, it was Ling before, and then of course the Uranus was there. With the ban on this, uh, I think that they might consider banning out. Yeah, the Eve, I think, is still a good ban overall for Onyx. I will choose oh, my own. The the so, yes, full XP and jungle here. So, Interesting, interesting choice, but the Arlet, you do have a lot of anti-CC and the Cho is really going to struggle against that. And heck, yeah. even the final slash is really going to be a big threat to the Fanny now. That's right. Honestly, in this game, Onik, are they interested to get something like a quad? Yes. 
in the cloud would work great to help dive, to help split push, but again, if they just want a flexible pick, it should be the Beatrix. We saw what yeah. CW was able to go uh, do with the Beatrix. I'm expecting Blacklist to ban it if if they yeah. think it is the problem in the last few games. I'm thinking Melissa or Masha here for Blacklist as the bans, just because of the fact that Melissa can be the last pick for Onyx, and of course the Masha being a, a, one of their the menace, but they no will ban out the Beatrix Ooh, instead. Do you pick up the XPD now if you're Onyx? I or think you can hold it, it, right? You can hold it, yeah, I think so. Yeah. Yeah. I think I think actually they want to put the, the, the winning condition on yeah. CW. So XP first, Wait. I would say. Glue is still available, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. so I almost I think prefer the Masha. I almost prefer the Masha. Yeah, honestly. me too. Especially for boots. I that like the Masha. Big. I like the Masha. I here, like you. But the thing, thank you. I like you too. Anyways, uh, I don't like the Masha as much as the glue is because you can actually uh, you can actually purify out of that second the, skill. Uh, the, 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 the anti anti auto attack. attack. Anti auto attack. So it, it's something that they can play with, but I think it's a bit too risky to use that. Leslie or Melissa will be the choice. Yes, right? yes. But if they go Leslie, they have to I go. I called it. The, now you go. Take Grok. my brain and study it. You go Grok if you're blacklist or Teresa actually. Oh. Teresa might be the, the safest choice. It's not, but it, I mean it's a safe blind at the very least, right? Yep. They fine. I have no choice anyways. And then you will look for a mid laner. Eve is still on. Eve is no longer that good just because of the Claude. Mm -hmm. Which means you go, you are forced to go back to the Kagura here if you're Blacklist. And the Kagura doesn't give a good spell to the Valentina. Mm -hmm. Because you only give like a portion of the, the Yin Yang overturn. So it's generally the good idea. Lapu. Lapu. Is it Novaria Mage? And do they pick I up something like a Minotaur I here? Think, yeah, the Kagura just makes a lot of sense, right? It does, it certainly does, but, but it doesn't seem like they want to uh, Minotaur it. Minotaur so. The Minotaur can be stolen away though, that Valentina oh, ult true. is I'm gonna very lose dangerous. It, there you go. Minotaur, okay. I think at that point it was pick your poison, right? They could have gone with the Eve and put Navaria back onto the support position. They could have gone for the Min they could have gone for the Minotaur, which they ended up doing and yeah. giving it over to the uh, to, uh, to the Valentina. But you were saying Wolf? Yeah, Onik might, might go for the split because there's no way for again. Just yep. like in the previous now game Masha number one. Works. Yeah. Masha works. Benedetta or Esmeralda even at a certain point, right? Ooh, Esme against one one is the only thing that you should be worried of. Yeah. But everything else, yeah. But the Masha just makes it... It's just so the good in this game. We predicted it would be picked. There it is. There you go. That would really make sense page? for the Masha. Well, with wow. that being said, Wolf plus Lavelle getting 100% of wow. the predictions yep. correct Analysts. from this draft. Yeah. Analysts. Analysts yeah. tonight. Seven point, seven point. Seven point for sure. I think we all can't wait for this game to begin, but I'm going to go around the table. Which composition do you like? We'll start on the end. Wolf? Of course, Blacklist. Blacklist. LaFell? Oh, you're biased. Mirko, what about you? <laughs> uh, I'm Onik. Oh, you're biased as well? How about you? Oh, I'm the difference maker here, and I'm going to toss a coin. Blacklist. Wow. Okay, okay now we're... Dude. Now I'll go on it. <laughs> now <laughs> All right, now Gideon. Okay. Gideon. Now it's 2v2. It it, now it's 2v2. Tiebreaker. Ah, tiebreaker. Yikes. I I am going to say that there at least is a lot more We're going into the list. game. Uh, I was, I was going to cut you off. I was going to help you out, man. But I mean, we're, uh, we're going into the game of <laughs> game number six. Will the banana split works? Or this time, the Ube prevails again. Welcome to Mobile Legends. Ooh. In Skill. the game, honestly, for the emblems, nothing much here. But Boots, wow, already very early on with Keyboy. Trying to go for the wave. Keyboy's going to help him now with the Jeet Kune Do, Clears it up real quick. Mm, yeah, right now, it looks like they really just want to invade. They want to slow down Wise. And we see quite a couple of teams trying to do exactly the same thing. And now with Amasha, it looks like they, they just really want to make oh, sure wow. Wise, you're the king of the jungle, right? How about you stay there? Yeah, Sans as well now already putting so much pressure onto the Minotaur. And this is the thing about the Minotaur. Early on, you can be bullied so much, and Keyboy wants to keep bullying. Wise has a Retribution, might be forced to use it, and there it is. Retribution used up. Kyrie finds the Lethal Wanderer. Oh. Meanwhile, good snipe from you from downtown. Yep. So the difference now that that, that uh, the mid lane um, the Varya makes is that it has early, you know, early ramp up when it comes to the damage compared to a Roamer. Still, the Roamer will have a higher cap when it comes to like the damage output, but overall, you have to be wary of Yue in the laning stage. Right now, looking at the lanes, looking at Keyboy. Keyboy, again, when he's using the Chao, he's usually just 
mirroring Y is quite a lot. Now looking at itemization here, the one one is going to give a lot of promise here, and Y seeking quite a bit of damage. But as the Frederick should be fine. Yep, should be fine, no problem at all. Thing is, the retribution was used earlier, so it is gonna be. Actually, right on time for the turtle. Even though he's getting bullied a lot in the jungle, he's still able to time it really well. Meanwhile, Keyboy, he's the one who's getting chunked for opening up that bush. Yeah, but again, it kind of feels like Keyboy is pretty familiar with this kind of situation, so he's a okay. He just wants his level four because, again, Keyboy doesn't care about dying as long as he can get a very good setup for his team. Uh -huh. The decision for Monik is to go to the gold lane first because they know that the Masha will win it anyways. <gasps> Whoa, wow, wow. Owl actually just soaks in that damage like it's nothing. Steel leg plates, I presume. Yep, yep, yep. yep. Turtle, number one, Blacklist International strikes first. Yep. Steel leg plates did not go for the crossbow, which typically is the first item for the 1-1. One -one. Great job. And this is Blacklist International adjusting from what happened in game number one. Because in game number one, when the Fanny or the Ling was picked up, Onik went into the top lane against the 1-1, one -one, then tried to go for the purple buff Ooh. trade. Oh, that was close. That was very close. The purple buff trade for the turtle. This time, the turtle for a purple did not happen, and Blacklist definitely have won this, this early game. Yeah, but even though they won, in terms of the goal difference, it's not by a lot. Now, oh my Venus is looking at Keyboy, because again, Keyboy is mirroring wise, and I kind of feel like they're just trying to see which part of map that Blacklist is very strong at, and Kyrie will just attack the opposite. They're just hoping that Blacklist is just far away from the goal lane. I'm trying to give CW space, I agree. Right now he's doing really well against Ouch. the one one, clearing it out with the blazing. No, he actually didn't use it, so he's been shoving these yep. waves onto the one one without the ultimate. So that just that does give us a little bit of a say is what's happening in that gold lane. But in the XP lane is more more or less just a stalemate as we predicted. Yep. Masha versus anyone. Yep. And now wow. Edward as well as Wise is there seeing boots. But Boots is just like, yeet, I'm out of here, but can you get out of there? Let's see. You only use a sprint, now the Tom comes in, Fraser's Brand not able to connect right now, but the way the Dragon does, onto Edward. Now it's gonna be Wise jumping in, Boots falls, first blood over to Blacklist International. And this oh. is looking very bad for Onik in the early game. Oh, for sure. In Blacklist International, this is purely troubleshooting from their end. After what happened in the first game where the banana split was there from Onik, they have adjusted accordingly. Now Al is on a forward position over Chewe. Even Edward is not losing because he went for the uh, Lapu Lapu. All reliable Lapu Lapu anyways. Okay, oh, Venus no. now pops in a bit of fury under the base. Nice! Huh? Bay, battle mirror image, but now the cross middle tank is opened up. Okay. Let's Dude. see what they do. Keyboy is already running away. Now has the flicker as well. Owl oh! comes down, but Kyrie's not able to find it right now. Keyboy with Ray the Dragon, but it's on the oh! wrong side. Kyrie walks in. The Minute Fury comes back alive. Sans picks up the kill onto Owl. Meanwhile, Wise in the bottom side picks up the turtle. Now it's Venus still stopped by Sans. CW. Oh, oh those are the minion. Oh, those shots are. Oh, Sans? Sans? Oh! Oh, these are really, really limits that both these teams are playing with. Everyone nice. is gambling with their lives, I gotta say. Oh. Everyone's taking turret shots. Everyone's jumping around. Yeah. I gotta say, at this point, I'd rather be lucky than good. Oh. Surely. I mean, you can Onik, it was uh, surprising that they weren't losing as much as they did because of that gamble that they did. Still, the turtle belongs to Blacklist International. That's the second turtle. Keyboy gets out of that for sure. And then you get a kill, a very important kill against Owl. Still not gonna be enough. Troubleshooting from Blacklist International allowed them to have this. Owl now, okay. oh wow! Never mind. What a pick, Kyrie finds a random, I would say, pick. Even with the steel light plates, he built up a Hepatocies, I believe. So he has some penetration to work with. That's exactly. how it worked. CW places the battle mirror image in the back. Venus now taking a little bit of a damage. Yep. It's good, because he yep. is able to defend the yep. Tier 1. Fury Hammer and Master Assassin just uh, at the early stages putting a lot of value. Carry likes this casual kind of builds. Like, it was, went for Fury Hammer into the uh, Legion Sword. Mm. At this point, like five minutes, you would assume that he has completed the Hepatocies at least, but he went for the casual items. Wow. Went that's for one Roar. Roar. Yeah, that's why. Wow. You know what? Wow. I saw people making studies of it that you might as well just go straight for the crazy Whoa, what, damage. What? It oh, works! Kai, what? It works! In the world, jumping in, and Keyboy was the one who sieged the turret. 
Keyboy now looking for the back. CW all playing with the wall with the Blazing Duet. Jumps back and Keyboy is here to pick up the scraps with the Dragon ready. He goes in. Now Owl still able to get out with a second skill. A beautiful outplay from Owl. And that's because all my Venus defended the knockoff coming out from the stop guy. Oh, right. Right. Cutthroat, oh, he doesn't even need it. He gets out. Kyrie is absolutely styling in this game. Right now, Onik, they're picking up the tempo. And this is crazy. Keyboy now, even though 0 2 and 2. Boots on the Masha right now, even though it's 0 1 and 0. They're making things happen, man. Why secure the turtle? But Onik, so far, yep. they've been being very, very proactive. Sometimes to their own detriment. This is so black and white. Oh, oh. These teams, can you get the red tree? Wise gets it, the retro was not there, Kyrie. ooh, gets down with the cables there, the appraiser's wrath was not enough from Black Wizard International, but the crowd here, they are loving the displays. I gotta ask you, Will, mm -hmm. on explain with fire, man, for sure. Is this okay? Is this them just not being disciplined, or is this all part of the plan? It's, I guess it's part of the plan. You saw this, this is the tempo that they're playing, that they disrupted the Obe. Unfortunately, Blacklist, it's really black and white. Onyx plays so dangerously, Blacklist going for the 100% or 80-20 play instead of the 50-50 play. Onyx is playing with fire. It could go badly. Oh, oh speaking of badly. Now, and also Sans just coming in. The burst is enough. Owl not having a good game at all. 1-4-1. One, and one. This time the gold laner. And we actually kind of called it the 1-1. One, one. Dude, have you heard about the 1-1 one, one curse? Let me tell you, in 2023, a lot of stuff happened. A lot of stuff mm -hmm. happened. And one of the things that happened was 1-1 one, one, not getting a win-win. Um, that's a three. Yeah. Oh no, that's actually a five. Yeah, I put it at five. Yeah. You're improving, you're improving. Right. Speaking of improving, Owl's got to look at some kind of improvements oh, in for terms sure. of farms. Because right now, he's level 9, CW's level 10, CW 0, 0, and 0. People will be like, that's not a good stat. Like, well, if you're going to compare 1-for-1, yeah. one one, yeah. uh, well, you know, 1-for-1, you know, one yeah, one, the KDA. Right. Yeah, for sure. Really liking Kyrie's approach here, right? He went for, like we said, the Malefic Roar first and then now has got the Heptasis, which kind of feels like he wanted to go for more oh. penetration just because there's a lot of, like, damage mitigation from Edward, for example, and of course, from from Oh My Venus. But overall, Onik, it's just about the kills and, of course, taking out the win condition from Blacklist. Right now, Keyboy and Oh My Venus, both Romer see each other. CW is there. Oh My Venus probably tried to jump over the wall, unable to. And now, CW is just poking around because they have Kyrie with this Fanny. I don't know. I kind of feel like they, they got to go for a kill, but Ooh, look at Masha. Masha on the top. Yeah, Boots. It's this the is split. the signature Masha. The Boots Masha is always on the split. Edward will have to go over now. But it's still going to be the turret. Tier 2 taken away by Onyx. But I do want to just, you know, give a lot of props here to CW and Keyboy because yep. what they were doing earlier was fighting. Oh, oh, no way. Kyrie again. Oh, oh, oh again. They hate Owl. Onyx hate Owl. Oh, my God. Stay in the bush. And Kyrie knows it. The Ooh. telemetry. I mean, they, they understood the interpolation. I mean, coming oh. up from Onik. Is it because I said Blacklist was going to win? Yes, it is. We're going to see here because Keyboy. He's the 1-1, one, one, I mean. He's on my Venus. Boots is there as well. They know the positioning. CW still on that Lord. Fanny. Okay, Kyrie. Kyrie's trying to flank. Famous Spider. Sans able to escape right now. Able to kite away. But CW does a lot of damage right now. Keeping the winner. Drunchy by Sans. But he's away. Canceled away by the knockup right now. But CW jumps in with the Battle Mirror Image once again. And Keyboy gets a deep cool down. They were Dottie Pop. This CW is dodging away from the Astro Spear. I will to play right now. As Kyrie jumps into the back. Now getting oh, taunted up. This might be a mistake right now. As that's a shutdown. I will. One more weakness point. That's oh. the snipe. You and finds it. On a fall. Two, four, one. One. Oh, what a stun coming up. I believe it was Owl who eventually took out Kyrie, or maybe that thought from the energy eruption coming up from Weiss. Either way, there was one hero who was able to stop Kyrie, and now Owl. The CW. Two, five, and two. He's just gonna get that. Free Lord over to Blacklist International. A beautiful skirmish to save what was a bad fight for them. Oh, Sons, wait, 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 Look at it, look at the bottom screen here. Look at the bottom screen. Right now, boots. Very, very low. They're still at the purple buff. Kyrie's looking at it. Wise looking at it. And now, the like fight is going through. We're gonna say that's Cosmo Tang ready. Oh my Venus finds the kill. Kyrie. So able to go in, cutthroat as well. Onto Wise with the Epic War. Does not deal enough damage. That's gonna be the snipe coming down, but Kyrie's able to escape. 
Another kill over to Blacklist, and this might be the game where Blacklist can again come back. Okay, okay, here's the thing. We just don't know who got the purple buff. If Kyrie got it, they got a chance. I think it's CW. Oh, no. oh, oh Kyrie, Kyrie, got Kyrie, got Kyrie. Kyrie got it. One thing I want to say, though, you asked if this is the tempo that you want to play with your Onik. And clearly, that backfired. He's checking all Edward's of the alone. window Edward's bushes. Alone. The boys there. They know this. Too Come risky. On. You know, I, you know what? If I'm on it, just play safe. Because look at the bottom. Look at the bottom. I was pushing. Yep. 11 minutes in. Owl now has Wind of Nature. Wow. So he cannot be one shot by Kyrie. Oh, beautiful. Ooh. Bravest Spider right there. But the way the dragon still connects right now. That's Master Assassin. Edward should be bursted down here. But the bottom lane should fall as well. Cambodia roars in the venue. Dude, okay, 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 okay. We got to compose ourselves. Let's look at the in-game equipment. Even though Owl is 2, 5, and 3, with, yep. the, with items he has right now, can he do something? Yeah, definitely. Now he's not going to be one shot. You know, remember in game number, uh, it was game number one, he had the early Wind of Nature, but he lacked the damage. This time, stuck for the Corrosion Scythe. Clearly, though, Chewe is leagues ahead of this Owl 1-1. But there will come a point where it will be all equalized. Ah. You're looking at the 18-minute timer. That's what they need to survive to. Did you see that? I mean, again, Black Mesa International already setting up for that buff freeze, but CW went in to the... Oh, oh, what the yes! Kai! What we what? Know nature! Why win no nature? I mean, the win of nature what? does that. I mean, no. you can negate damage, but how fast is it, right? How fast no. is your reaction time? Because when Kyrie comes through like that, uh, yeah, man. What the heck? Ooh. That's illegal. That is illegal. You're illegal. Impossible. Well, he did have the red retribution once again. Okay. Right? Now, looking at the situation, Kyrie wanted to kill Edward. That's not the marksman. That's not the mage. Kyrie does not care. Right now, Onyx looks like they're going to back off a bit. What a kill. Like, how can you even we react fast You need enough? the replay and the slow-mo. Yes, a slow-mo replay, please. How we want to see what happened. Oh, there you go. Beautiful production. How can you even react to that? This is slow-mo. Slow-mo. Okay. Now we're watching Kyrie go What? Yeah, he oh gets my it. God. Okay, we're back. Yeah. Nice slow-mo. No, Kyrie really knew where, where to place the... You, you know the only the, the wall slash the only walling. There's still cables. There's still cables onto the wall in the Philippines. They call it walling, oh, which really? I don't think it's a it's a bad it's a I bad name for it. But yeah, maximizing that and of course the cutthroat was there. The retribution, you know, and of course the items that he had back then was Malefic or Heptasis and Hunter Strike. Okay, they got the purple one going now. CW is okay building that push in the mid lane as well. This should be a good Lord Dance for Onik. Wise already spotted out. Venus as well. Owl is not spotted yet. Meanwhile, the bottom lane though. Edward forced to back away right now. He's bouncing the Bravest Fighter. They're going to go for it right now. A lot of damage plays. Let's see what Agent Zero can do. Goes in for the stun, but Boots is able to go in all the way. They want to commit onto it right now, but Owl gets knocked up by the Lord. Now the way the Dragon comes through, but Saz is there as well. When the Dragon locked up down right now, CW comes in with Blazing New Web. Saz again. Minute Fury, Flicker in. Who gets it? It's Wise! But look at the team fight. Look at this. You are running away. Now it's going to be Venus who's taken down. That is a disaster for Blacklist. 3 4 Zero. Does the Lord save them? It will be up in what six seconds or um It's gonna go bot, it's, it's gonna, gonna go, go bot. bot, it's not it's gonna, gonna go work. Bot. Not in the mid. Nice. Onyx, that is a disaster for sure for Black. They don't have the wave clear. This is just Novaria. Oh, they gotta let that Lord go. They gotta let the Lord go down. Why are they going for it right now? It seems like they want to play with the minions because the mini wave in the mid lane is not enough. They can clear it down below. Three seconds for Owl. Time to be in just right now. The top lane, the waves are pushing in as well. BOD being bought by Kyrie. BOD being bought by Kyrie. I need to repeat that exactly. sentence. Holy moly. He's in it for the kill. The fact of the matter remains though, Edward held that. We can see through the replay, crucial play coming up from Edwards to prolong that. Harry had to tra traverse and spend a lot, but my oh my, Keyboy once again yeah. with a kick. Additional damage coming out from the from the Lord, of course, helping him out out there. And of course, Sans dealt the damage too. Now they found oh my Venus, but the Lord belongs to Wise. And that's the only saving grace mm -hmm. for the side of Blacklist International. Dude, he, he, even, dude he even popped the win of nature. But there's no saving you at that yeah. point because 
The yeah. Lord swings mm -hmm. are two damage. And, and Sans had uh, stolen Minoan Fury. Still, you convert the damage, right? Sans is packing up a pun punch. Again, Valentina can take out gold laners at the latter portions. Now the crystal is there. Look By the way, one. you can see Onik just you carry wow. had so much skills during the you Wow. Know, uh, okay. Okay, crossbow tank ready for Owl, but I don't think he wants to take it now. That's already a lot of vision, and they yeah. get forced out of their own jungle. Exactly. Okay. <laughs> no damage yet from to Edward. I want to see what items Edward has here, because Antikurus for sure, but let's see. Okay. Anti First, oh. yeah, Antik Dominance, that's it. Yep. Antik Very Dominance. important. And right oh. now, looking at the situation, CW, look at the damage on Twice. Twice has to go back. The entirety of Blacklist International, they're grouping up. They want to make sure that it's not easy for B-Boy to pick anyone off. This is very, very crucial because even though it's a 3-2 for Blacklist, this is a best of one. Losing this game means losing it all, means being number two on it now. Wow. 5,600 goal lead. Boots is conquering one side of the map. And I kind of feel like Keyboy is just waiting for his time. Wolf, did you get to see it? How many Sky Guardian helmets does Boots have? Because <laughs> that is going to be crucial if you want to deal damage. One, okay. One for now. Does have the Twilight Armor. He needs that... Actually, doesn't need that that much. No, he just the passive. No, 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 no. I think no, it's for no, Yue no. and uh, out, what, I don't maybe. know. For all ins, I'm, I believe, all yeah. Ends, yeah. Yeah, just to make sure that he doesn't get bursted down because, again, sometimes... I mean, honestly, even going up against the Frederick, that's quite a lot of damage. So mm -hmm, mm -hmm. just making agree, sure that you can, you can handle it. The Lord now has spawn. This should C be a free Lord, though. CW is wishing it away. Now, Blacklist. I kind of feel like they want to contest. This but Lord how? Dance. How? How? Sans is owning them away. The mid lane is yep. being pushed in as well. Boots is cutting the waves already. And they can play the long game. Remember, but no. Wise is walking up. Sans wants to go for the Mini Fury right now, but it should be a free one for Kyrie. He finds it. Turtle with the dragon was also used up by Keyboy onto Wise just to secure it even more. Owl yep. buys the Wind Talker with 7,000 gold lead. 18 yep. minutes. It's an evolved lord. Can the, Blacklist defend? The problem with that, like having a like having a one on who's struggling is that you don't get your items fast. And not having the trifecta of the attack speed items, you have the Golden Staff, the Corrosion, and maybe the Wind Talker that, that sums up to 80% more attack speed. It means that you're not as fast when it comes to your Tiger pace. The fact that Owl only got his Wind Talker in this point in the game, his way leagues behind the farm of Onik, that meant that he didn't have the time. But look at this, Onik. They, they want all of the lanes to crash together. Right to now, attack. right now, Onik, they're doing a concealed play by Keyboy. Keyboy goes in, He's can he catch? Bending on a few skills right now. Venus on the base, that's gonna be Boots also jumping in. Minion Fury not saved up right now. Sans! To the flicker forward, but no damage on the base. It's still gonna be Boots targeting down. Ryan oh! on the back! Built on the ruins of Blacklist Demise! The new Kage! Emerges atop the sky. Saber to moment. MSC 2023 champions. On The champions now. It's not a Philippine building grand finals. Kind of wanted the championship, man. Now, you know what? It's over for us. We got to go to stage. We got to feel what the players are feeling. We're going to throw it over to Mara and Robbie.
ปียนรบอาเมซีชนะปีบอลมาไปไปอเนกอินโดนีเซีย are the first two time MSC champions in history the sky kings are the new kings of south east asia ว้าวนี่เจลกติปีอารบอนในตัวของการตัวบานเปียนเจลกติปีนักนกประวัติศาสตร์รบมบาลเลเนแบงๆนึ่งจีสไนกรันโปรจามาซีอาเกเรบอยงพบได้บ้า You can see the camaraderie right now Onik going to Blacklist International giving them hugs This is the true form of the champions They have dominated MSC 2023บาจะเคยทาออนิกตัวบาลเลเชนี้ปัจจควัดกอตัวตัวบานเลยแกควบตรออย่างชราหายบานตัวทัวการจับได้ก็โดยที่เอาตัวการบลักลีกได้เฮียนี่เฮียกูจีสไลกันเปิดประกอบบาน And now let us also honor the first runner up of MSC 2023 Blacklist International They have fought long and hard To reach this ultimate battle, your brilliant gameplay and determination is recognized. You may now take your final bow. บ่าเนื่องจากนี้ยิงกับบอลเก้าสุดสายยังคลังจุดฟุตบอลเลนอินเทอร์เนชั่นอลฟังได้ได้กวาดบอลทัวร์การโตสู้อย่างจูดำลองการประกวดเนื้อเวียดนามรอดมวยนี่ฮายนี่คือเชียร์ไว้ได้กวาดตัวตัวบอลบ่าปัจจุบันเอาเก้าสุดสายเหมือนแต่บ่า And now make some noise. For the new kings of Southeast Asia, Onik Indonesia. So go out, Onik w i m a Now to commemorate and officiate this moment, we would like to welcome Mr. Lucas m a n Managing Director of Moon Tony Sports, and His Excellency Cheya Chan Boribo, Secretary of State, Ministry of Information, and President of EFC. Please make your way to the stage and present the champions medals to the players. But the only for Nigeria is so to a cast like a young guy to pull what the mirror about. Look, Lucas, now manager, managing directors of Moon Tune Esport, Nung Adam Chi Chan Boribo, Ronnie Katika, Kosuk, Porabin, and Chi Protein, and Akamatika Subsai, Nung Porabin, Nak and Akamatika, Chi Chip Chum Kaprakut, Kayla C. Game, Luk T. Azia Kane, Luk T. Sams of Peep of Naiba. Mr. Lucas Mao and Your Excellency Cheya Chan Boribo, you may now give the medals to our champions. Ba s o k r o n c h u n Team Manager Riggs. s o m h o o i Oh, Nick Boy, t h e a t m a Coaching Analyst Adi. Now to award the finals MVP, please welcome Sophie Go, Moonton Regional Esports head to the stage and present the award. Ba, you come and present the award for the MVP. The crowd, the soul swag, the Sophie Go. Multi Regional Esports, Mokan, Stake a b o u t Yung Pong Dai Ba. And now, announcing the finals MVP. Who do you think it is? The finals MVP is. Oh, 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 oh,
the ground, Keyboy the Agnia! Keyboy is the player who has made the biggest impact and contribution in the entire series that ultimately led to the team's success. Keyboy, congratulations! Keyboy, come on over here. Tell us what's going through your mind right now. Describe your emotions. The champion and the finals MVP. I think Kairi, the MVP, bang. I don't care. I just want to win. And now you have won. Congratulations, and this is your moment. Go up to the trophy. It is time to claim your trophy. The trophy is yours. Keyboy, receive your mock check first. And we will take the photo up with your excellency, Lucas Mao and Sophie Guo. The Sky Kings have proven that they are the strongest in Southeast Asia. And now this is their moment. They're holding their trophy. It is time. Thank you to our VIP, Lucas Mao, His Excellency Cheya, Chan Boribo, and Sophie Guo. Everybody, make some noise. For Onik Indonesia, raise your trophy in three, two, two one. one! Wow, how about that goal? That Onik, that two cheers, that crack. My boy, that crack, that crack. Bro, what does that about? I'm this. Be, be, snap, be, boy, my boy, boy. Poor K, two cheers, that crack. No, but bro, crack, boy. The Sky Kings have conquered all and eliminated everybody who got in their way. Everybody, go! 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 go. All together now. On it! On it! On it! Cup 2023 has come to an end. We thank everybody for your support. And of course, MSC 2023 is powered by Mouton, supported by Aces ROG. On behalf of all the organizers, the production team, all the talents and everybody who participated in this momentous occasion. We thank you all for supporting Mobile Legends Bang Bang MSE 2023. <laughs> Once again, my name is Mara Aquino. My name is Robbie. Signing off. See you guys at See five. You. Good night.
ground for kings. We're here to show the world that we're the chosen one that brings the heat, the passion, the heart, the soul, and the fury. Show it all, let the world see we are legends. Stepping on the ground, no time to waste. Striving to conquer, face the foes, make grace, be the challenger.
machine Ain't nothing can stop our restraint We are a force to be reckoned with Destiny, kingdom, and love Battle like Atlas, winning of madness Count us for practice, that is match as We are the heroes here to slay Never back down, never oh. restrain Match by match, day by day, determination and will at a time.